Hello, guys, girls, and non-binary pals. Today, I'm playing some Destiny 2 The Final Shape. I've had a day. I'm in the mood for shooting things. So I figured you might as well come with me. Uh, why not, right? Also, you're kind of facing off to one side. That's better. Um, yeah. So, I've already done this campaign playthrough on one of my characters. You get three. There are three classes. I have one of each class. I like the Hunter the most, but I've already finished it on that. So, we're going to go for my second favourite class, which is the Titan. If you want to think about it in D&D terms, we're talking about a Rogue. And then we're talking about a Barbarian. The Hunter is like a Rogue. And the Titan is like a Barbarian. And then the third of them is called a Warlock in Destiny. But that's sort of like a Sorcerer. Since there's no like spell book that it comes from. It just comes from sort of inside. But yeah. That's sort of what we're, what we're looking at. And this is such cool design. I love the fact that they've done all of this with the sh with the line work in the typography it's so this is this is graphic design this is not illustration this is not game design this is graphic design this is this is my shit and i really fucking love it so uh yeah this is what we're gonna do um uh we don't need to have any lo-fi music on anymore so we're gonna get into this shit Obviously, spoiler warning up top, if you're planning on playing this and you don't want to get spoiled by any of the story, deal with it, I guess. It's in the title. I can only, I can only do so much. So this is the one that I've already finished it with. This is the one that we're not going to do today. This is the one that we are going to do today. As you can tell... I like to have female presenting characters. Mainly because when you go into the Crucible, which is PvP, the 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 sort of more slender frame is a smaller hitbox. Also, the armor just looks more suited to it. Like the 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 male presenting characters are just sort of like a big chunk. And it doesn't look good. It just looks kind of crap. And like this looks so much better as a barbarian than just one hunk of meat so we're gonna go with this instead now obviously you can level up a lot of your uh, armor and weapons and stuff the weapons you can transfer over between characters but you can't transfer over armor that's for a hunter to a to armor that's for a titan to armor that's for an exo uh what's it a warlock rather so like all of the progress that I've made leveling up my hunter's armor when we've been when I've been doing this campaign, I can't move any of that progress over to this by transferring the armor over because they're two different classes, so it just won't work. But the weapons, on the other hand, now the weapons we certainly can, and that's what I've done. You fucking fuck! You would raid me, wouldn't you, Giddy? How fucking dare! Hi, everybody. I've just been. Telling, <laughs> I've just been telling stream about uh, Destiny 2 and about the differences between the classes and how I'm about to get started in this campaign expansion playthrough story thing. I've already... Hello, Mars. I've already uh, finished it on my Hunter. This is what my Hunter is. Um, I am not doing my Warlock today. Warlock, so if you think Hunter is sort of like a rogue in D&D, right? And a Warlock is like a sorcerer, right? This is like a barbarian. So I've already finished the this campaign expansion, like Act 1, playthrough with my Hunter, who is like the rogue. I love the rogue. I love the Hunter. The Hunter is so good. It's just... Mwah. However, the, the, the Titan has got to be my second fave. So you can transfer the weapons over between characters, but if it's a, if the armor is specific to that class, which they all all armor is only be, able to be worn by one class, 
there's nothing transferable. Then I, I, I've leveled up all of my weapons doing the campaign with my hunter. I've then moved those three weapons over onto my titan. I, I can't move the armor over. So I'm sort of, we've got this difference in power level, but it's fine. So let's get started. Normally I play with music off, but the music is so fucking good that I've turned it on. Long ago, the traveler came to the soul system. It brought a golden age to humanity. They explored, they built, they thrived. Until the collapse. A terrible calamity caused by the traveler's oldest enemy. It brought the people of Seoul to the brink of extinction. When all hope seemed lost, the traveler saved humanity by creating Bye, Giddy. Safe journey. With the traveler's light. Thank you again Ghosts for the raid. Guardians together protected the last city. You fucking giraffe. From the forces of darkness. No matter the cost. But we soon learned even that was more complicated than we thought. Our enemies wielded the light, shaking our faith in what we once thought we knew. From old conflicts grew new alliances. And just as our enemies learned to wield the light, we found a way to leverage the darkness. In that darkness, we rediscovered the being responsible for humanity's collapse. The witness. It wishes to create what it calls the final shape. Our universe perfected in the name of salvation. Everything calcified into eternity. We've tried to follow the witness into the Traveler, and every attempt has failed. Until now. Vanguard Scout Crow wished his way inside. The paracausal bond he shares with his twin sister will guide us safely through. Now. Our leaders prepare a strike force to enter the Traveler, to confront the Witness. That's our role, the tip of the spear. Every battle we've fought has brought us to here and now. It's time. I'm trying not to talk over these cutscenes because they're really epic. Also, this isn't cropped. I have a, I have an ultra wide monitor. This is the size and shape that I'm seeing. If anything, it's expanded on the sides. Chills.
The witness nears the final shape. We're initiating Operation Ahamkara. Now. The Traveler cannot abate it much longer. <sighs> the portal is unstable. Still getting chills. Ikora, the Guardian. So cool. Oh, I've got to decide which one I want to do. Uh, oh, race to a higher level of challenge in a legendary version of the Final Shape campaign. What What does everybody think? Do you want me to do the regular or do you want me to do this one? I, I, do you know what? We'll do a poll. Let's start a poll. Uh, normal or legend difficulty. Poll live now. It's only live for one minute. If you don't say what, then I'll have to flip a coin. It's 
We've got one vote for normal, one vote for hard. you got about 10 seconds left. Are you going to pick? Pick now. Do you want me to do normal mode or hard mode? Hard mode it is. Hard mode it is. Holy fuckballs. Let's do this. The little friend guy? What friend guy? Who do you mean? Oh! I know who you mean. The stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that the guys are trying to figure out who they are in the, in the dream. I know who you mean. Okay, so, uh, I guess this is, this is the start of the actual story. That's my ship going down in flames. I'm now inside of the Traveler. This is my Titan, and that hand cannon they're holding is my exotic hand cannon, which is called Thorn. I fucking love Thorn. Thorn's so cool. So there's different rarities of weapons, right? So there's normal, and then there's uncommon, and then there's rare, and then there's legendary. And then this is exotic. This is exotic. This is Thorn. I mean, look at that. Drags, you, you got, uh, you came in with the raid, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Thorn. It's so fucking badass. It's my favourite weapon in all of Destiny. It's been here since the very, very first Destiny. Like, before they even added extra weapons, this was like... Yes, I 100% kidnapped every single one of you. Just so that I could show you this fucking cool weapon. But, I mean, look at it. Look at it. The story behind it is that there was somebody who was an amazing guardian and everybody looked up to them and they were a beautiful shining beacon of hope and love and light and all of that. And then something corrupted them or changed them or they just saw the world differently one day and their beauty and light and, and empathy was changed into something wholly different. And the hand cannon that they carried with them, the revolver they used that they used to call Rose, was twisted and gnarled with them and became this, Thorn. And so it is an exotic rarity hand cannon. It's fucking cool. It can... Uh, every bullet sounds like this. Which is so cool. Every enemy you kill, it, they drop like a little soul. And if you pick up those souls, then it heals you and it also... Over you overloads your um you are yet in the threshold. your magazine by Whatever four bullets. You and the pale heart so you can end up with like forty bullets in a nine bullet hand cannon. It's so fucking good. So fucking good. The you will you will hand see hand. in in Go. in in practice how it works. It also uh it penetrates at every target. So it will fire through one and into another. That's a sphere of Get fucked. Get fucked. In a resident ship. Destroy it. Ah, the darkness unraveled and it's projecting something. But if the damage comes up yellow, it means I've hit the critical point. We have taken income. Headshot. Headshot, but baby. Something strange with them. A concentrated source of light. Woo! What's behind me? Oh, there.
Get wrecked. Hard mode my ass. So there's a lot of this. There's a lot of like, kill a person, pick up a thing, take the thing to a place. That's very, very common for Destiny. There we go. Oh, fuck. There's a fucking guy just appeared behind me. Uh, how do I get back up there? Oh, right. I was here. I don't even have a grenade up yet. It's taking a while to get my shit back. See, he gets tangled if I put my shield on. These are these are abilities that we've had for a while in Destiny, but it's like the, there's a whole other system that's going to unlock for this. Spoiler, but yeah, uh, we're gonna fuck's sake, man. See, this is this is this is legend difficulty. This is what you asked for. You can't even fly across a, a gap without getting shot. Right. So that just means that we need to shoot them first. To get them the fuck off me. Get, get absolutely fucked. Shoot. Scans are inconclusive. I'm getting conflicting readings on age and material composition. See. The thing I like about Hunters is that you can turn invisible with most of your abilities, and that's the way that I've built out my class. But like, I... You can't turn invisible with a Titan, you just have to tank it. Not, sure what that not my playstyle. I like to it run and gun. Scion, but its genetics are Woo! Love a finishing move. Fleet. Nezarek, Rolk, even Kallus. They were just the beginning. It's just the sound of the sound of this. Weapon is OP and instant kills, but I've low HP. Right, exactly, right. But the the only reason that it's like that is because um, is because we're on legend difficulty. I mean, with a hunter, you do actually have a lot less health than you do as a titan. But like, look, I get I get eight. I've got I'm up to eight bullets now in this, and if I kill another one, then I'll go up even more and. You see the green thing that appears on their body? That's the soul from this gun. I love the finishing moves, man. I love them. So now I've got 13 bullets in a gun that should only have 9. It's a brilliant weapon! Okay. I get a little overexcited when it comes to Thorn. I had a friend who got me once for my birthday... Um, a 3D printed, hand painted version of Thorn. It was honestly one of the best presents I've ever had. But we fell out, and it took her like two years to get the the thing to me. Like after my birthday, so I was just like, "Yeah, do you know what? I don't think you're a friend anymore." Like if it takes you two years to give somebody their birthday present, then it's no longer a birthday present. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, get fucked, man. Get off me. Oh, I remember this. This whole thing at the start. You have to try and find all of those black nodes and shoot them. And they're, they're hid pretty well, actually, at the start. Let's put down a rally banner so I can get full ammo and everything. Alright. Super! Get annihilated, bitch! Is this gonna go or no? Oh, I have to shoot the thing, don't I? 
These guys are annoying. The, um, the like, robot-looking guys called goblins. This guy. See that white tether that he just had? That makes the other guy immune to damage. So I have to kill the goblin guy first so that I can kill the other guy. And sometimes that's just inconvenient, you know what I mean? Yeah, get wrecked. Take this icon of light or whatever it is. See that? I was going to shoot the head off that guy and I couldn't because the. And it's happened again. Another fucking guy has come along and made him immune. Piss off. Not interested. Oh, we've got an invisible guy. Get off me. There we go. Whoa. Okay, where's the other one? I don't know where the other one is. I can't remember where it was from the last time I played this. There's like another black thing somewhere. Where are you, you little bastard? Usually it's in view of where you're trying to hit. It might be like over here on the edge or something, or... Where is it? There it is. I told you it would be in view of it. Right, there we go. We'll shoot it and then we can move. Great stuff. You. You have to keep moving. I have not been able to reach the vanguard. Even my bond with my brother is faint. We'll find the others. We have to. So Ghost is the little robot companion. So this guy. This guy right here. Like this is called Ghost. The little robot guys that go around with you. They're the ones that revive you and all that. You can just punch people, yeah, for sure. Um, and then, uh, what do you call it? Um, the person that was just talking is Queen Mara Sov. She is... There's like... So if you imagine... Imagine in our solar system, if you went past like a, an area of like, like an asteroid belt, basically, there's like hidden there is called the Reef in this fiction. And that reef is filled with an alien species. This is like centuries in the future, of course. Um, and they are called the Awoken, who are sort of like a... They're like a higher, ev a higher evolution of humans, basically. And they're all blue-skinned and all that. And Queen Marisov is the queen of the reef. And her twin brother is the crow, who is uh, one of the vanguard. The vanguard are like the... Uh, they're like the, the, well, I mean, it's, it, they are what they sound like, to be honest. They sort of rule the guardians. They're, I'm a guardian. Every other player is a guardian. And we are the people who sort of go around the solar system trying to fix shit. Uh, and try and fight a, a losing battle against all these alien species that are trying to kill humanity. Um, so, yeah, it's sort of that in a nutshell. Right, let's get those bitches in tangles and we can come in and kill them. There you go. Get your shit wrecked, motherfucker. Got it. I don't think we can win this fight. Oh no. Yeah no. I definitely can't win that fight because I don't have my thing yet. Uh, I need my transcendent ability and we've not unlocked it. Ah uh, no leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Uh, goodbye. This is much harder on Legend difficulty. 
pushing back against me, trying to exert its will over, over everything. I will hold the portal open as long as I can. The fate of all things rests on you. God, as it always fucking does. Hurry. The fate of all things always rests on me. That's kind of the game. Right. You get tangled. Look at that web of fucking immunity. I can't figure out who's immune to what. The hell is going on up there? Get out of it. Right, he's in a bubble, so I can't hit him. Okay, take that guy's head off. Hey, 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 leave me alone, you little bastard. Set me on fire. Just want to make sure there's nobody down there. So there's like, there's light and there's dark. And light is, you know, synonymous with good, and dark is synonymous with evil. And the basic premise is that there was a a big orb, like a big white orb thing that's like a spaceship that sort of just arrived on Earth after we found it on Mars. And um, it brought with it a golden age of evolution and technology and life and happiness and joy. But then the, dark, the forces of darkness that tracked it across the universe here, um, they came to and they ended our golden age of life and love and harmony and all of that. And essentially we ended up having to fight for our lives and the whole earth is reduced down to one of the last safe cities and that's it. Um, and we as guardians are given the power of like light magic essentially but we also can like be reborn if we die so that's our that's our sort of responsibility essentially we have to try and fix the universe or like our solar system at the very least um for the sake of all life everywhere because without that darkness will overtake everything and kill everyone and the witness is trying to take the power they're trying to take the power of the Traveller, uh, is what they call the, you know, the, the God thing. The God Orb. It's called the Traveller, for want of a better name. It never speaks, and we've never heard it speak. Uh, right, I'm just going to go fucking super on these assholes, because this is pissing me off. Hey, get absolutely fucked. Stop attacking that guy. Stop locking on. That's better. Oh, I didn't want you to lock onto the immune boss. I want you to lock onto the guys that I can actually kill. Alright, now he's not immune anymore. See, I know what I'm doing, but the fucking game doesn't. There you go. Okay, arc on a fly. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh dear. Yeah, that would be a good idea, to be honest, Lex. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're not the hero that we need, but you'll help them. Oh, fuck, I've been slowed. No, I don't want to be slowed. No, I can't get out. No. Oh my god. He nearly blasted me off the fucking edge. I hate it when they do that, man. That was, that was nearly insta-death. And this is, uh, if you look just underneath my health bar at the top, in between the health bar and where it says Icon of Light, you can see a little symbol of a ghost with a line through it. That basically means that I'm in what's called a darkness zone right now, and I can't, I, I'll just have to restart the whole encounter if I die. Uh, no progress will be saved if I die. So I have to complete this whole thing without dying, or... Or do it again. Um, and this is, as you can tell, it is quite a pain in the ass. Hey, get fucked. There you go. <laughs> oh, 
I think I would have found this a lot easier if I was uh, a hunter. To be honest. Uh, Alright, there's another one. And then where is the third? There we go. Always in view of this thing. And then this appears and I have to go up here. So there's a lot of this. There's a lot of this. Coalition will protect the city in the vanguard stead. Tell him that we will join you as soon as we are able. Tell him. Tell him that I. You're right, Queen. Oh yeah, you get more. You get more loot if you do it on hard difficulty. So if I'd just done this on regular mode, then I would have only got one of these boxes. So instead, I get twice the loot, which is nice. It is nice. Um, yeah. So. Oh. So oh fucking hell, they're the transcendent ones. I can't I can't you shoot them. Lost. The ones with like these glow this glow about them with the red oh for fuck's sake. With the red bar, you can't kill them yet. I fucking love the graphics in this game, man. Yeah, you should you should always get more stuff for doing it hard. To be honest, hard mode is hard. The good thing that they've put into this though, um, in recent updates, is the ability to find a fire team where you don't have one. So if you don't have someone to come in here and play with you, you can just look for one. This whole sequence is so fucking creepy and scary. It's like... The sun will it will explode. We'll, I'll snuff out all life in the universe. Every star will die. And you'll be left on your own. That's basically the feeling that you get with that. I fucking... Oh... That's why I love this expansion so much, because it just gives me the, the fucking heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Look at these graphics. Alive? Is this... This is... Guardian, that vision. Burb. I think we're inside the Traveler. Can I fall off this edge? Oh shit. No, I can't. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall off. Because the thing hasn't spawned yet. <laughs> Look at this.
so beautiful. This. I just, I love how it looks like roots. It gives me real, like, Venom from Marvel vibes. Like the black goo latching onto everything. I also have to try and remind myself that Titans don't have double jump. Hunters have double jump. They you like, hup, 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 that kind of thing. This has a boost, like a jetpack. So, like, I can do that. I can't go boing, boing, boing. I prefer boing, boing, boing. Look at that. Fucking huge ghost. No calm signals from the enormous soul. thing in the sky. This Zavala, whole place Zagora, is beautiful. Graphics are Nothing. stunning. We're alone. I love this game. And like, look at the little details. Like they've got like, this has grown out of a tree. It's a person. Look at that. Oh my god. All of the like, like. This doesn't even need to be here. It doesn't do anything. And yet it's gorgeous. <laughs> Grass? The air? It's not what I expected the heart of the traveler would be like, but it's beautiful, isn't it? And yeah. So familiar. Look at it. Every horizon line. I, if you ever, if you ever need to, uh, hang on, I don't know, it's, there you go, um, yeah, it, it, if you ever want to have a look at truly stunning artwork, just, just painting, drawing, all of that, I, I recommend that you have a look at the original, um, the original concept art book for the first Destiny game. The artwork for that is mind-blowing. How they just came up with it with, like, barely any reference. It's... Oh, my God. It's so breathtaking to see how talented some concept artists are. If I if I had a... If I had a choice of what I would do, like, for the rest of my life, it would be a game concept artist, honestly. I would love to be a concept artist for a living. And you can say, yeah, but there's nothing stopping you, Jackal, but shut up. <laughs> yeah, get fucked. I hate these bird things. They're always in the fucking way. Right. Okay, good. They're gone. Famous last words. God damn it. Hey. Get wrecked. Evasion. Get out of here, goblin. I know your game. You're going to make everybody immune to damage. And I'm not into it. Scratch. Wiz these fucking so they're called wizards. These uh, these creatures, they're um. Is that actually I I like the fact that they're called wizards because canonically they are female. And I like the fact that they don't call them witches just for the fact that they're female. You know, like how they do in Harry Potter and all that. It's like. What, so I can't be called a wizard just because I'm a woman? I, you know, that's bad. That's that's a bad, bad thing. Um, but yeah, like, I... Ooh, I've got a darkness. Yeah, I, I like the fact that they went that direction with it. Um, I also hate the little bastards. Because you get any damage on them and take their shield off and they go and hide... Uh, behind cover and you can't fucking shoot them again until they come out from cover and by that point 
they regen their, their armor. The, the AI in this game is so fucking irritating. Okay. Yeah! So now I can actually hit these guys and do damage to them. All the red glowy people. Uh, and this is the prismatic, like, transcendence thing. It's a whole new, like, power system in this expansion, essentially. But before, if you wanted solar abilities, you were limited to your solar class. If you wanted uh, arc abilities, you were limited to your arc class. Now they've basically combined all of the abilities into one prismatic thing. So instead of having to choose between only arc, only solar, only void are the three choices, and then your darkness abilities, then uh, now you can combine all of them. All six different variants you can have in one, and just pick and choose which ones of each you want. Like, I want the grenade from this one, and I want the melee from this one, and I want the super from this one. And it's honestly the best expansion that they've ever done with that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the only problem is is that they've not fully unlocked every single ability by the end of this campaign. So, like, my hunter doesn't have the super that I want them to have, but they do have everything else, which is okay. It's just like, eh, I'd rather you have the super and, and then I deal with all the other things, like not having the best grenade, you know? But, yeah. I, 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 I see what you mean. Uh, I understand why this game is popular, but it also creeps you out with the amount of expansions it gets. Right, well that's the thing, right? So they they wanted to make... They wanted, basically wanted to have complete creative freedom so that they could put out as many expansions as they wanted to. But because they were... Um, Activision were the ones that were distributing Destiny. They basically bought the rights to their own game. Uh, Bungie did from Activision and so now they publish and distribute their own game that they develop and they made it free to play and they now put out like it's got to be like 10 expansions per year which is crazy so you just get the annual pass and you get like the big chunky ones and then the little <laughs> mini ones that they do and there's raids and the strikes and there's dungeons and there's crucible and iron banner and Trials of Osiris, and there's so many different things. Like, you legit can do whatever you want to do and miss, like, half of the game out, and you'll still be full of experience to to, to enjoy, you know? That's, that's the deal with this game, is, like, you, you pick up the expansions, sure, it gives you more story, but the rest of the game is so chunky with, with stuff to do that it's, like, you'll never be, you'll never be want for things to do and it's only gotten better it used to be very samey where you would just do the same strikes over and over again and then the nightfall over and over again and then a raid every now and then and that would be it and now it's like no you don't need to do that you can do whatever you want there's so much oh this is gonna hurt this is gonna hurt Oh. Okay. What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I so I don't really have a great deal of experience with The Sims so much. Um, I've never really played a Sims game. It doesn't. It's not my thing. My sister used to play it a lot. Um, I was a console gamer and she was the PC gamer and she played that and like SimCity and and that was that and uh, the only the only thing that we both played was like SimCity because I remember playing SimCity 3000 or something. Ow! No, leave me alone. Right now that you're there. Give me a moment, and I can get my shit together. And... 
There we go. Lovely. Thank you so much. Gotta love a super. Gotta love a super. Oh. So we, so yeah, so so in Destiny One days, there wasn't crossplay. You couldn't play crossplay. You had you were stuck to your own console, and I don't think they even had it out on PC initially. Then they brought it to PC and they brought out crossplay. But before crossplay was a thing, pro, cosplay, crossplay. But my friend does cosplay. Um, before, brilliant. He's brilliant at, at cosplay. Crossplay, on the other hand, is a different story. So, um, before they had crossplay, you had to, uh, you had to basically just stick to your own console. So I loved Destiny that much that I bought a second console so that I could play it again from scratch. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and I got 100% achievements on both. So I got 100% achievements on... Xbox, then I bought a PlayStation and got 100% achievements on that, or trophies. Um, that's how dedicated to this goddamn game I was. And in Destiny 1 hours, I think I got 1,600 hours, and then uh, across the two games, and then Destiny 2 has been out, and I've gotten something like 400 hours on that. Um, but I've still managed to get 100% achievements on it. Yeah, before cosplay was a thing. <laughs> yeah, cosplay and crossplay. Hey, man. My, my, my brain hasn't engaged. Um, yeah, so... I've got 100% achievements on this and on Destiny 1. Only on Destiny 1 I've got it across two different consoles. Um, and one of those was like... Complete a full raid without a single person dying once. And raids are like next level difficult, and that's a rare thing to ever happen, even if you're trying not to, right? So we had to cheese the way through it. So the best way to do it was instead of having the full six person squad, like you're supposed to do raids with, instead we went in as three people in a six person raid, and we just leveled that motherfucker. We fully owned them. And you can't even like, you can't even like go through the encounter and fail and then it reloads the checkpoint and do it again. Because that, that technically counts as a death. You, you die when you fail. So we had to do a full, unimpeded, perfect run from start to finish and uh, not a single one of us die. And it was, it was hard, but we managed it and we managed it in, on both consoles. I even got a, I got a PlayStation Pro, um, and I gave my friend my old PlayStation 4 so that he could um, play it on PlayStation as well with me. And like, I think I even bought him the game just so that we could play together. Right, I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to super. This is the transcendent thing. So that red bar at the bottom underneath the yellow bar. The yellow bar is my super. And this red bar means that I can kill transcendent enemies like that. And these blades on my arms are my superpower. Get off me. 
Careful. Love a finishing move. If you get them down low enough, then the little yellow circle appears above their head. And that means that you can do a finishing move. Uh, and they're all different animations for them. Some of them look so sick. See, he's fucking immune because of a goblin that I can't even see. How's that fair? Get the fuck out of here, goblin. No one likes you. Hey, Lucy! Welcome. How are you doing, Lucy? I just decided to do a surprise stream. So I was having a bad day and I decided that I was going to take it out on some aliens. And figured I would uh, go through the campaign again. So we voted and decided that I would do it on legend difficulty instead of normal. And that's what we're doing now. I've already completed the uh, expansion campaign story on my... Uh, on my hunter, which is like my the, the one that I main. So now I'm doing it on my second favorite class, which is my Titan. Which, I don't know if you've played Destiny before, Lucy, but basically a hunter is like a rogue in D&D. And a Titan is like a barbarian. It's like sneaky versus tank. Go. You know nothing about Destiny? Okay, cool. So because I'm doing it on a higher difficulty, I also get two of these loot boxes instead of just one. So I've got a bunch of cool shit. Um, so this is my this is my Titan. Right? I love doing it on the female presenting character because they always look sick as shit. Um, so these are their stats. The higher the number, the faster it recharges, or the more stat you have, basically. So this one's your mobility, so you'll get a 16% increase on the base, etc. And this one's my damage reduction. I've always maxed this out because when you're a tank, you're supposed to be a fucking tank. So 30% damage reduction is just ah, chef's kiss. This is just, the, for no reason, I have these on. And it is purely because of the, what do you call it, the the attack that I do that keeps people tethered. These legs allow me to do that. So I do it, because it's cool. Uh, but there are other exotics that I could use, right? So some of them look really sick. Like this one looks really sick. Look at how cool that looks. Um, but you're only allowed to equip one exotic armor piece and one exotic weapon. Uh, in any slot. So if I wanted to put the helmet on. It's like you can see it's greyed out. I would have to take this off first. Uh, and I would be left with this armor. And then maybe I can put on a chest or something. Or These are really good. The feedback fence. So these arms basically like if, if anybody hits me with a melee attack. Then it will build up a charge over a short period. And then um, when I do my next melee, it will discharge that power back into them. If you think like, um, I don't know if you saw the Black Panther movie. But in, in that, he has a very similar ability where like his vibranium armor like charges up for every attack that someone does against him. And then he like smashes it back into them. So that's basically what this does. And they're very cool. And they look very cool. And it's all very cool. Um, and yeah, and then there's like other ones as well. And blah de blah But uh, I love this exotic more than anything. So this is, this is the exotic that I love. It's called Thorn. It is an exotic hand cannon. It's... There's so much that I could talk to about, talk to you about it, but I would be info dumping, and I need to not do that. Um, 
This is our artifact. So every season you get an artifact and it basically gives you these things that will buff your weapons. So we're going to go for a hand cannon and we're going to go for a scout rifle, of course. I might get a submachine gun later, so I'll get that one as well. Um... Do, 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 do. This this tier doesn't really do much for me, so I'm just going to go for those. Uh, do I want this? Yes. So this one's really good because I use Thorn, which is a kinetic weapon. Uh, and we'll go for that. With a strand weapon, actually. No, I don't want that. Do I? I don't want a strand weapon because strand weapons are shit. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, dick. And then I haven't got any more unlocks. Okay, so that's great. Uh, but we've got some of these now. So I can start infusing them into my armor. So you can see it says here, upgrade module. Uh, an upgrade module basically means if you get a piece of armor that, or a piece or a weapon that has got a higher power level than the one that you've currently got. So the power level on this is 1900. And I've got a piece of armor that I've picked up that's 1939. I can infuse this into it and it will make the one that I'm currently wearing this power level and destroy that piece of armor. So this is only rare armor. It's only blue. I don't give a fuck about it. So I'm going to do this and now I'm more powerful. And basically each one of your pieces of armor and your three weapons, they each have their own power level and it averages out to be what this is. And then you also get like a bonus for having how many levels you've got on your artifact. So I've got a plus five power bonus just from my artifact. It gets very technical and a bit nitty gritty, but after a while it starts to make sense. And basically we're just going to be buffing my character until she's a fucking menace to society. Um, so yeah, that's basically, that's it. Yeah, big number good. Uh, because the thing is that the the enemies also have a power level. So you're trying to surpass their power level. Um, and the higher your number is than theirs, the uh, easier it is for you to kill them. This was oh, here the we old go. Vanguard command center. Oh, I can't jump. But it's changed. Light and dark are welling up here. More than I've ever felt before. I sense a cutscene. Like you could reach out and pull all that power to you. Control it. Could you? Yeah, you do, Lucy. So the other thing you can do as well. <coughs> oh, commune. Here we go. Yeah, there's the cutscene. The other thing you can do is you can change the look of your armor. So it doesn't have to stay this way. If you've unlocked another cosmetic type of armor, then you can change the one that you're currently wearing to be a different look. So there we go, we've unlocked Prismatic. The line between light and dark is... it's gone. It, it's gone. Guardian, you're... you fused light and dark into harmony. How? Right. Okay. Prismatic snare. So that's just a grenade. There's my barricade. I want that barricade. Don't want directional control. I want strong initial burst of energy. Arc melee. And charging with your... F charging your fist. Release to... Um, no, I don't want that. Dash forward is what I want, and then this one will change to be this, so that I've got a light and a dark, because that's a dark ability, and this is a light ability. And then we've got these fragments, but I don't have any others unlocked yet, so that's fine. Uh, and then I've only got these two, so let's go through them. So, critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attacks with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short time. Great. Great. And shatter or defeat targets with abilities or stasis weapons to create a stasis lance. And then you can throw them at targets. Uh, I 
I don't give a fuck about stasis, so that can get fucked. Don't really care. So, But I don't have any other aspects to change it with, so I can't change that. Well, surrounded by combatants, you're more resilient. Great. Uh, powered melee hits against targets makes you radiant. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't make much difference. Increases the size and damage of the burst when you shatter a stasis crystal. Or frozen target. Again, doesn't really make much difference because that rarely comes up. Uh, void abilities create... Uh, oh, I can dismiss. Yeah, get, get out of it. I don't, I don't... Yeah, I don't want you to keep telling me about... Yeah, I already know. Yeah, stop giving me the tooltips. I hate tooltips. There we go. Uh, okay, so your arc, solar, and void abilities uh, deal increased damage to targets afflicted with darkness debuffs. Okay, great. Uh, and finally, picking up an orb of power grants either amplified restoration, frost armor, woven mail, or overshield based on these super thing. Okay. Uh, so, based on your equipped super. So, for my equipped super, I will get woven mail. So, I'll basically get... Uh, any non-precision damage will be greatly reduced. Great. Uh, oh, I do actually have some of my other things. These uh, other prismatic targets. So this is good. Um, basically, if you kill them with a grenade, then you get melee energy. And if you kill them with melee, then you get grenade energy. So that's really good for that. Radiance, I don't care about. Uh... While you have an elemental buff, your class ability regenerates more quickly. We can use that. That's really good. I'm going to keep that. That's okay. I don't really know if I care about that. What are the other ones again? This was good. Yeah, there you go. Uh, melee final blows start health regeneration. That is just the best. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, because uh, they're like, but what if players want to remember every single armor piece so when playing PvP they can figure out your stats in the middle of combat? Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? Yeah. So, so let me show you my armor, right? So this is, m this is my armor. This is the way that it looks, right? So you can go into the customization thing or you can do it in, in each armor set individually. But if I wanted to, then I can, like, go into this and I can change the ornament on it. Um... Uh, but I can also, like, like go through... So you can see all of the locked ones. These are the ones that I haven't unlocked yet. But if I want to, then I... This is not just on the def default for, for this thing. But I can, like, right-click on each of them and just go through and see what they each look like. So you can see that there's, like, a good variety of what you can look like. Personally, I just like this. Um, also, I don't think I've got any more strand abilities, so I kind of think I want to change this out now. I know that I've already leveled it up, but I don't think it's going to do me any good, because it's literally just the the Drenger's Lash, but I don't have Drenger's Lash anymore. So, we'll go, we'll swap that out. And then do we want to use the Feedback Fence? It's really good. Feedback Fence is really good. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll go for that. We'll go for that. Okay, so then if we look at this, so you can see that I've got the same thing on all of them anyway. But, um, yeah, this one, I've got this uh, extra ornament. So without it, it would look like that. But with it, it looks like that. It's not very, it's not a big difference, to be honest. Um, but it is very, it is very good. Very powerful. And I need to level it up, and thankfully I've got enough to do that. So now we can do this. And we can put on increased grenade throw distance, just because. Because, why the fuck not? Um, yeah. And that's extra resilience. I don't want to change that. This one, though... Could actually change this. Grants. Class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now you can see that it's filled up. Filled up the bar. Looking fucking good, right? You don't want to wear a weird mismatch of ugly stuff just because the best stuff I got at the moment. Right. Exactly. Exactly my point. Yes, bruv. We're stronger than we've ever been. We can use this. Let's go. The transponder signal isn't far. Yeah! The signal's coming from... 
Right. So this is a bitch of a fight, even on normal mode. This killed me so many times on normal mode. And now we're on hard, so we've just got to be careful, I guess. Get the fuck off me! Ya bitch! Thankfully, it's not a darkness zone yet. I can die now and I will save all progress. Get out of it. Diamond Lance. Oh, look at this. They're frozen. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay. I want, I want you to remember, this is still the first mission. The first mission takes this long. We've been going for over an hour. Yeah, there's been some explanation where I've stopped and talked about this, but like... Jesus, this, this, this goes on for a bit. Right. So, yeah, if I go into my Transcendence thing, then basically I'll end up with, like, a, a damage buff and I'll be able to kill everyone in red. It's like a different... It's like a slightly different shade of red. It's not this red. That's just the red of a regular guy, but it's... Honestly, it's, it's a nightmare for colorblind people. Um, although there are colorblind settings if you need them. All right. Yeah, get out of it. Son of a bitch. So in a minute, there's going to be a boss that turns up, and I'm going to have to kill the boss, and then it's going to be a darkness zone, and I'm going to have to kill a bunch of other guys. So yeah, Thorn, Thorn does really high damage, and it goes through whatever you shoot into the target behind it, and it also drains their health over time, and if you kill them, then they... Um, if you kill them with it, then uh, they spawn like a... Uh, a green orb that then over, over like reloads your weapon, so you end up with more in the chamber than the chamber can hold. Normally, um, so Thorn is just incredibly overpowered. They did, but they did nerf it once. They completely nerfed it into oblivion because people could use it as like a sniper rifle. The range on it was ridiculous. Um, but they, yeah, they just. Uh, See, that's the sort of shape of the witness. The yeah, so they they nerfed it into oblivion because it was too much. It was too overpowered. And people were using it as like a sniper rifle. And I'll admit, I won. I've won games of uh, I've won games of Trials of Osiris with it because it was that fucking good. Um, and Trials of Osiris is hard. You have to win. So it's like it's like ranked play, basically, like PvP. Uh, against other players and it's a 3v3 team in a small arena and you get like a few rounds and you have to win like best of whatever but then if you if you want the top tier of stuff you have to win nine games back to back with no losses in that time and every game that you win you get put in front of a, a higher level team like another team that's got to a similar level as you in terms of like, um, in terms of like uh, the number that they've won back to back. It's honestly it's so fucking crazy. But with Thorn it was so easy. That's why they nerfed it. Right, we're just gonna go super, I think. Get out of here. I don't want you here. You don't belong here. You look like a dickhead. There we go. And here it comes. I'm going to get fucked. Get out of it. No. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. See? I'm coming for you. The bosses know how to kill you. The AI is ridiculous. And these fucks, these little bat fucks, 
they like scream at you if they get close to you and it uh, it stops your abilities from being able to be used. So you can't use your grenades or your melee or your shield or whatever. Ah, no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! No! For fuck's sake! Do you see what I mean? See what I mean? This, this whole mission, I've managed to get 330 kills in a single mission. That's how long this mission has been going on for. And it's Halo physics, so you try and jump up on something and it bounces you the fuck back. And I'm doing it solo, so it's that much harder. Okay, right. Okay, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Get off, get off. Ow! I'm stuck, I'm slowed. No, no. Okay, there we go. So there's another there's another um, exotic piece of armor that's really good. It's uh, it's a helmet, and basically any enemy that hits you with damage gets highlighted in red, and your return damage to that specific creature or or enemy um, is amplified. So you end up causing basically revenge damage, which is really good sometimes, especially in PvP. Because, like, if you, if you get killed by them or, like, they hit you regardless, then you're just like, do you know what? Fuck you and your whole thing. And you just go and fuck them up. And it's really good. And I really enjoy it. Uh, don't come for me. Right. Get wrecked. The one. Trying to get this fucker down. So see how he's losing health over time because of the form. Okay, get lost. I'm slowed. I'm slowed. Okay, there we go. The effects in this game are so good though. Like the slowing thing. That's great. You could tell that you're slowed. It's incredibly obvious. Because of the effect on the screen and stuff. Love it. I've got things that I can pick up here. So I'm going to hopefully still have this in a moment when they arrive. There we go. Get fucked. Get out of it. Get off me. I don't want to know. Get back, you bastards. You gotta be careful with these things as well. So if they're carrying these on their backs, then basically it'll tether to them and they'll get like an overshield just for being in its proximity. So you have to like destroy them so that you don't accidentally buff the enemies around it. Right, so I think this time we'll take it down with the machine gun. And then when it gets close to dead, then we'll hit it with the super. And that's going to be how we finish it, because without doing that, um, I think that the ads that show up are going to just uh, fuck up our whole day. Right, so, we can just, if I just focus on these guys first and get rid of them, get out of it. Yeah, get, oh, no, 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 get off me, you bastard. Right, I'll get a couple of seconds of respite, and then that'll happen. Love that. Okay. Right, let's get my shit done. Got my super, come around the back so I can get my health up again. And now we fuck him up.
Oh fuck, I didn't kill him! I was supposed to kill him! One thing I do like about this is that this is the old tower from Destiny 1. Like, the whole point of it is, like, your memories come to life inside of the witness. Look at this witness dickhead. Inside, inside of the Traveller, all of your memories come to come to reality. And this is our memory of the, the old tower, which is lovely. No! Oh, son of a bitch! I couldn't even fucking shoot. It wouldn't let me shoot. God damn it. Now I've got to do that whole thing again. Still on the first mission. Okay. Rally banner it is. Get my shit. <clears throat> Jump in. Kill these bastards. Get blasted away by them. Ow. All three of them simultaneously blasting me across the fucking map. Get off. No one likes you. Right, okay, here we go. I'm one of those, I'm one of those weirdos that played Halo solo uh, on Mythic difficulty, and and like, I got annoyed over it because it took so fucking long just to get from one end of a map to another without dying constantly. Could have made life so much easier for myself. Every Call of Duty game that I get, I play it on veteran difficulty, which is like the top level for that as well. I'm a lunatic when it comes to difficulty levels. Oh, fuck. They're the prismatic guys. Okay, right. We're going to reload. I hear a thing coming for me. There it is. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not... Right, I need to get to this. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Can right, there you go. Love it. Okay. I need to get this back. Got it. Come over and trigger the boss. Throw that shit down. I think my strategy of speed running the boss through his health is not working out. See the little blue bar at the bottom of there? Uh, health bars. That's the that was the overshield here thing. Don't don't fucking trap me again, you prick. I'm not into it. You gotta ask consent for this shit. Am I doing uh, art fight? No, I heard about it. I didn't know what it was. I asked what art fight is and was told today uh, in Giddy's stream. And uh, it sounds like something that I would sink all of my time into and I have too many responsibilities to be able to do that right now. So I, I am... Uh, respectfully declining because I know that I would never leave it and I can't afford to do that. Uh, like, we're just about to restart doing the university's uh, essay journal again and I've got a bunch of essays to read. Uh, I need to be doing that this weekend or at least before Tuesday. I'm the lead designer so I need to be coordinating the other two who are new editors. Um... And that's just sore. And then I've also got the social media stuff that I need to do for the university that's coming up. Once I get the case studies through. Um, I've obviously got D&D &D and all of the art and planning that goes into doing that. And then, yeah, it's just... It's, it's, just, it's just me saying, do you know what? I would love this. Uh, but I would hate myself for loving it. So I need to say no. Uh, because otherwise we're, we're all going down together. Because <laughs> I'll bring you with me. <laughs> I 
Absolutely, I would. Right. Get out of it! I'm not interested in your bullshit. Fuck off, you prick. See, that's the thing I like about that grenade. It's like a ball of electricity that just pulses on the ground. So it's like, uh, it's like a deterrent to any enemies to be like, if you come through here, you'll take a lot of damage. And if you stand here, you'll take even more. Strand abilities are a pain in the arse, though, which is what this guy's using, the green. So the green strands, if they hit you, then they, like, string you up. This is just a projectile that hurts, but, like, the other thing that he does when he spins out like that. If that hurt me, if that hit me, then I would just get strung up in the air and I wouldn't be able to move and he could just easily kill me. Oh no! See that's a that fucking blast. I was behind cover and he still managed to hit me somehow. It's bullshit. Right. No! Move! Move! I need to use my melee to get out of there because my character's got no momentum. You can't build momentum while you're already in the air is the problem. So if you've if you've had a really bad like um, takeoff before you jump, then you can't speed up. It's impossible to speed up. So in that case where I was like stuck there in midair, I knew that he was about to one shot me and I couldn't afford it. So you have to just melee your way out of it. Because my melee will, will actually send me forwards. But then it, it uses up a charge of your uh, powered melee, so you have to wait for it to load again. You can see on the bottom left, there's uh, there's like three squares underneath the red bar. One of them is like, sort of got a, a translucent line across it. That's That's my melee trying to recharge another one of its charges. Right, I need to do this. Oh, it's fucking... Look at that. It fucking arced around the corner. Absolute bullshit. Bullshit move. You hear me? You fuck. There it goes again. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Fucking bullshit merchant. Right. I've got the advantage. Hopefully I can finish this. Look at how little his health is. If he still kills me now, I'll be fucked. He's so fucking annoyed. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, he killed himself! Yeah! Woo! We take those. Yeah, that sound was the traveller screaming in pain. Doesn't give you any sound when I try and move my cursor. And what is that noise? It's coming from over there. This makes me so happy. Oh, you gotta get better boots, Crow. I could hear you coming a mile away. Now, Aldrin, <laughs> he could sneak up on a fella. You're not Crow. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. How long has it been? A life.
lifetime. I love Cade. The kid told me a few guns were on their way. Everyone loves said Cade. The Vanguard would send their best. Oh, he's so well, good. good to see you two. I finally have someone to talk to about Crow's stupid haircut. Come on. <laughs> I'm guessing you have questions. And I won't say I have answers. But let's talk. I like Crow's haircut. <laughs> Shut up, you sycophant. <laughs> Absolute knob end. <laughs> oh, I like Crow Circuit. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> well, where to even start? I died. You <clears throat> probably remember that. Not great. Partly my fault. Lesson learned. Let's not dwell. And after that, nothing. But not a bad nothing. <laughs> a peaceful nothing. I think I felt her there, too. My ghost, Sundance. She was part of me. Or I was part of her. Like we were two cards shuffled back into our deck, whole again. And then there was, well, there was pain. Separation, something pulling me out. I woke up here in this body alone no ghost no way to use the light and what could make this traumatic experience better than finding my killer waiting for me but we talked it out because we're adults he seems nicer these days yeah pretty low bar i'll admit <laughs> because we got bigger problems bigger weirder problems crow said this was all inside the traveler but i already knew It's in pain. Pain I can feel. Somebody's up in that monolith with their hand on a knife. Crow calls it the witness. And what it's doing out here has a name too. The final shape. It's the end of everything. So I figure, might as well try to stop it. Yeah, boy. You gotta stop that shit. I love Cade 6. Cade 6 is the best. Right, so. <sighs> My character is a guardian. Every player character is a guardian. We're all guardians. We lived our lives and died, and then the Traveller, which we are currently inside of, this enormous white orb thing that was found on the far side of Mars in the lore, the Traveller created the ghosts, these little robot things. This guy. This guy is called a ghost. And those ghosts revived the dead people that we once were, with amnesia of our lives before, with a new purpose, to become guardians in protection of the light and protection of the solar system, etc. Right? Well, they were led, the Guardians were led by the Vanguard. And the Vanguard are basically these three people, one of each class it began out. It began with, uh, a Titan, Zavala, uh, who was played by uh, uh, Lance uh, Reddick, uh, the, the lovely man who was in uh, John Wick and died um, in the last couple of years. Um, a lovely, lovely human being. Such an absolute tragedy, but he played Zavala. Uh, now played in this expansion by Keith David. 
you'll recognise his voice. He's in everything, Rick and Morty included. Um, so yeah, so Zavala was the Titan, and then Ikora is the Warlock. She's great. Um, and then Cade Six, this fella right here, Cade Six was the Hunter. But Cade Six uh, went after the Crow who was the twin brother of that queen from the reef that I mentioned earlier, right? Just a, a separate faction altogether from the vanguard. Different people. Not necessarily bad, but not necessarily good either. They had they served their own purpose back then, anyway. And the crow was sort of a, a renegade of his own, his, own, his own path and choosing. But very much... Uh, under the rule of his older twin sister, Mara. Queen Mara. So. Yeah, hello again, Mars. So. Um, the, the crow became corrupted by power. The crow wanted power and wanted to rule. And wanted to not take over Mara's place. But to rule his own place. And basically take over the solar system... Uh, because she wouldn't. And he got his own faction of evil. And he became kind of twisted and corrupted himself. And this guy, Cade, who was always the laughy, jokey, not take his job seriously kind of guy, went after the crow and tried to fight him one on one. But he got cornered and they destroyed his ghost. Remember, this is the ghost. This is the ghost. This is the thing that resurrects you when you die. If your ghost dies, then you will have a final death when you next die. That will be the time that you finally die and you can't be resurrected. Because your resurrection ghost is not there to do it. So Sundance, his ghost, got shot, killed. And then he got shot and killed. And everybody in the community thought that this was... An incredibly bad move because everybody fucking loved Cade Six and how dare they take away our favourite guy. He was always the one with the jokes. He was always the one with the with the um, comedy. Um, and they didn't even get Nathan Fillion to voice him in the final uh, in the final expansion where he died in it. They got um, Nolan North, the same voice as the voice of the ghost. They got him to do Nathan Fillion as Cade Six, and it was a terrible version. You could tell that it was different and it was not good. Other people liked it. I hated it. So he ended up dead and we were all like but wait, now there's no Hunter Vanguard. So then the Crow who had killed him in future expansions became this oh, he's, he's actually an alright guy and he's got amnesia of the time that he was evil and so now we're going to trust him again and we're going to make him a guardian as well and he's going to be a hunter. And he's going to take over the vanguard position that Cade 6 once had. So it's like, hang on a minute. You're going to get the guy who murdered our favourite guy and put him in the same exact position as him? That feels a little fucked. Even if you're a reformed murderer, you're still a murderer. And you probably shouldn't take the same job of the guy that you just murdered. Do you know what I mean? That feels a little bit backwards. So now he's back in this expansion. And everybody's happy, and they got Nathan Fillion to voice him again, and everything's cool again, I guess. But we've still got Crow, and now we've got Cade, so we've got more Vanguard than we know what to do with. I know I said it already. So there, you're up to speed now. You're up to speed. I just wish it were under better circumstances. It's, it's good to see you too, Cade. I never thought. Hey, it's all right. I get it. This is a lot. And as much as we both want to catch up, we ain't got that kind of time yet. We've got to get out there and find Crow. I was expecting him, not you, and that ain't a good sign. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We can save the celebration for later. Guardian, we should... Can we talk for a minute first? Just you and me? Okay. I'll give you two some fires. Last I heard from the kid, he was out on patrol. Called in some sort of darkness anomaly. I'll scout ahead. Catch up with me when you're ready. All right, my dude. Wait, let me just have a look at these. I'll make sure I'm getting the thing. 
Armor charge, you take less melee damage while you have armor charge. Taking melee causes you to emit arctic bolts that jolts energy. Assuming your armor charge deals more damage based on the number of stats consumed. Yeah, okay. Great. Talk to Ghost. So, Kane, I looked him over while you were talking. Scan says that's really him. There's a few readings I can't explain. He's made of light, like me, like the Traveler. Ghosts are guides, conduits for the light. Cade might not be able to wield his as a weapon, but if he's like me, maybe he can share the Traveler's light, like we do. I'm not sure. This is new. But look what else we've gained. I can feel it. The way the light flows through you. Freer. Harmonious with darkness. A full chromatic spectrum. I've only experienced something of this magnitude once before. When the Traveler created ghosts to raise guardians. When I was born. We're going to need everyone to save it from the witness. Cade's got a lead on Crow and Glint. Let's start there. Glint is Crow's ghost. That's the name that he has for his ghost. Temptation mission. There's normally like 12 missions for every campaign. So you'll do like quests in between and stuff, but essentially it all comes down to the missions. So we just do them. And you see you've got the find and invite on the top right. Yeah, that's... That's where you can get other people to come and join your game. And play with them. Okay. Uh, feels a bit strange being back on this side of the comms. Just like the good old days. Now... Last transmission I got from Crow was just before you showed up. You said he and Glint were scouting ahead. Right. He called in some sort of anomaly, said he'd sniff around the perimeter. Personally, I prefer a little more direct approach. Burb! I ever tell you about the hunter vanguard before me? His name was Andal Brask. He was my mentor. Great shot. Terrible gambler. Still, we had this friendly little wager about what was inside the Traveler. I told him there's nothing. So, of course, Andal says, well, then I'm betting on everything. <laughs> everything. Uh, lucky guess. Come on, get over. The inside is a composite of the outside. You're going to see some things you recognize, and some things you don't. Treat it all as real. Unless it ain't. I can guarantee you the Shadow Legion up ahead are as real as they come. Do you know what's a, a dumb design flaw in your shields? It's having a critical hit point on the outside facing part that makes it go shrink and uh, knocks you out. Like that. Well, I have that on your shield. If you're going to make a shield, just make a fucking shield. <laughs> no need to make an energy read into the on the outside of it, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's these bastards. I've got to go... I've got to go transcendent. Thank... Hopefully, the bullet velocity in this game is very slow, so if you want to avoid something, you actually have time to move out of its way. And you almost always shoot for the glowy bit, because the glowy bit is usually the crit point. It's not always your head. So this guy's head glows, but his chest glows so much more. And he debuffs me whenever he hits me with that. So I can't do any of my abilities and stuff. So see now I can't do any of my melees or grenades. Just briefly. I'm 
frozen, so I can't move. And he hit me anyway. Listen to him laughing, the fuck. Hey, you prick. Get over here. Yeah, I'm going to humiliate you. There you go. Get wrecked. I think that guy's a prismatic guy, so I need to do my thing. Yeah, they are. Yeah, get absolutely destroyed. Love it. The birth of our vision. Burb. That can't be a coincidence. Let's follow it. Yeah, so I've I've completed all of this today. Um, on my other character. So I know how far I need to go with it, but... Oh god, it's going to be rough. Doing it on uh, Legend. So we go here so that we know that we don't go here and for fuck's sake it doesn't give me enough boost to jump. I love it when that happens. Right, so yeah. This is why I like double jump on the uh, hunters because that would have been easy to span the gap but with a titan you only get a short distance. The immune until you hit a couple of crits and then it's down. And this guy walks in front to protect the other guy. The AI in this game, I'm telling you, is ridiculous. They are very clever. He's fucking freezing me and I can't do anything about it. Oh my god. It's not fair, man. Well, you have all the cool powers and I don't. I mean, <laughs> ignoring all of that. <laughs> right, yeah. So. Get wrecked. Full on. Shoot the tanks on the backs of these guys because they're all flamethrowers and that's a gas tank. Shoot the heads on these. See that? Gas tank, gas tank, gas tank. Get your shield down and then it's all crits. Crit, 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 crit. These locks control that barrier between us and Crow. Hey, any ideas? <sighs> I was never good at right. puzzles. So, so this needs to go to right them. to, like clockwise to. So, we need to kill some Scions. We need to kill two of them. So, there's one, and there's two. Now, when we go to the clockwise part, here we go. This will turn by two. And hit that, and then lock That's unlocked. It. Do you see any other dials in the area? <laughs> Affirmative. So Great stuff, you. right? Great stuff. We love that. We love it. It's so good. Very clever how they've done this. Crow has no one to raise him if he falls. Glint, this ain't your fault. He's my guardian. Oh god. My we've got a we've got a person. And you're his. I know you want eyes on him. But you need Fucking to stay reload already. Out of Come on. Until help gets there. Uh no, oh for God's sake. See that grenade ability? Ruined me. Couldn't do anything with that, and yeah, and now I've lost my prismatic thing, so I've got to go and get it again. It's a hundred percent bullshit. The slowing, uh, the slowing grenades—they're always bullshit. Right, you get fucking wrecked.
So they get confused when they go through my barrier. So you want to kind of like drop it right in front of them and then tempt them into walking through it or drop it directly on top of them. They just shot my grenade out of the air. See how it's up there? That's such fresh bullshit. Alright, get wrecked. Pick up Tangle. Uh, right, so I need to go anti-clockwise three and then clockwise two. But we need to get some of these guys first. Okay, so Psionic Insight times one. And then that's three. Okay, great. So now, yeah, anti-clockwise by three. And I'll get the first one, great. And then I need it right two. Uh, oh, I've got Sionic Insight times two. Great. Lovely. Got it. We'll just machine gun our way through these guys because they're taking the piss now. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, it says esteemed centurion. I thought it said steamed centurion. Like, why would you steam a centurion? That's just bad. This is like me saying um, before cosplay was a thing earlier, when I meant crossplay. Fucking shield, get out of it. See how he's hiding behind a rock to keep away from me while he waits for his shield to regen. Absolute bullshit, man. They're too good. They're too clever. Some of the bastards even uh, regenerate because they've got their own ghosts. Like, that was a whole expansion that uh, the bad guys ended up getting light like they were guardians. What the fuck is that shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a hydrate. Thank you, Tats. Thank you, Tats. Thank you, Tats. Right, I need to kill three of these bastards. So that's... Yeah, that would be right. So I've got two. I need one more. Yeah, they're going to respawn. I'll just get one of them. And it is clockwise. So we go here. Right. And then I need two more. There we go. And then that's counterclockwise. These bastards are going to kill me. No, don't do it. 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 Asshole. Get off. Oh. Hey, Geo. How's it going? Uh, so chat voted and decided to make me do this on legend difficulty. So I am soloing this campaign story, which I have finished earlier on normal mode on another character. Now I'm doing it on my second of three characters. Um, on legend. I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh, so it's one, two, three. So I need one more of these. And then counterclockwise. And then this should unlock it. make of that bird that led us to Glint? Well, it seems pretty obvious to me. I think it's pretty obvious to you, too. The real mystery is why nobody wants to say it out loud. I will. A traveler. It's helping us. I don't even know if that Discord link still works, to be honest. It should work. Pretty sure I set it as a permanent link, but every time you go back to it, it always is like... Do you want to make this permanent? I'm like, I thought I made it permanent all along anyway, so why the fuck aren't you doing it? 
I don't know, man. Feels bad. It does work. Awesome. Thank you for confirming. Um, uh, right, so, which way am I going again? Yeah, that way. Great. Have any of you played Destiny before? It's quite fun, really. It's like, it, there's a lot There's a lot to it. It's it's definitely a shooter game. But it is also very much a platformy game. And you can do shit like this. Right? What other game can you, like, d stand depressed in the rain and swing a swing? Or this. Like, look. I'm fishing. I'm fishing right now. And I got a head. I got a weird skull head. Right. And now I'm with an umbrella in the rain. And now I'm uh, patting my cock. I didn't say anything. You said it. Oh, now we've got to kill this motherfucker. Yeah, well, I'm going to try, aren't I? Oh, fuck. They're already swarming me. Okay. A lot of the stuff in Destiny is essentially behind a paywall. Like dungeons and most raids and stuff. Um... But there's a lot that you can get from it that is actually free to play, and if you do, do if you do decide to end up getting the uh, the annual pass, then you'll get like ten expansions worth for it. So, like in that year, and it means that you get the battle pass as well. So all of the level up and uh, and like uh, sh good cool shit that you'll get from that. So there's some there's some stuff in there, you know. That, uh, that, that proves the economy of it. More bang for your buck. More bang for your buck, that's what I say. And it's the summer sale right now on the PC. So, uh, on Steam. So instead of it being 85 quid for this uh, this expansion and the full annual pass of other expansions, um, it's 67 pounds. So. But if you just wanted the campaign on its own, then that's um, that's normally 35, but now it's like 27 because of the discount as well. Right. See this guy with his fucking ground pound? Fuck off, man. Yeah, you're behind a fucking immune shield, aren't you, you little prick? Because of that big orb thing in the middle. Well, in this case, I'm going to go over and shoot this one instead, because fuck you. Look at these weird fuckers in the air. Kill those bastards too. Okay. Let's go for it. Oh, he's a fucking... he's a prick. There we go, right, got him down now. Don't need to worry about him slowing me down when it comes to killing this guy. And he blew me away. Gotta love it. Alright, let's just do this. Jump around enough that he can't hit me because the projectiles are so slow. We've nearly got him down to half health, and then the more orbs will spawn when the time comes. There we go. There it is. Okay, but fuck off though, mate. Yeah? Yeah? Fuck off, mate. Get off me, mate. Mate! Bruv! Bruv! Nobody likes you! Get out! 
Do you know what I mean? Like, why the fuck are you hustling me? I'm just here trying to live my life. In the pale heart. Let me live it. You bitch. So this guy's crit point is the big old booster pack on his back. Uh, but I've run out of heavy ammo, so I can't use my machine gun anymore. And then more Grims come out of the fucking woodwork and start shooting me. I've only now finally looked at what they're actually called. Up until now, I've just been calling them bat things. They're all called pillars, these, uh, like, mini-bosses. Pillar of denial, this guy is. You can see by the health bar at the bottom. Nearly just landed in his fire, didn't want to. God for health shields, there we go. And then I think I'm going to use my uh, super for his last his last throw, throw of the dice, you know. Oh, he's fucking frozen, he doesn't need a prick. What the fuck is this bullshit? I'm the only person that's supposed to have superpowers, not you. Alright, get, get fucked, both of you. Oh, that guy must have died because he ain't here anymore. Oh no, there he is. I'm like, how could he have died? He's just like run off the edge or something. Oh shit, I'm gonna die here. Got down to such a slow, slim amount of health there. Get out of here, you bastard. How's there another one just showing up? The fuck? What is this bullshit? I just killed your friend. And now you're duplicating. Like an absolute fuck. Out of here as well. Not interested. Okay, there we go. Right, now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna charge the bastard. Yeah, bitch! Now I'm supered and I'm swinging a thing. Great. Super smashing great. We've got some uh, good loot. My question is though whether these arms are actually doing anything for me. Because I don't think I'm being uh, targeted all that much. Uh, Mask of the quiet one. Gain ability energy when you're damaged when critical heal on kills. Fist of Havoc grants no shield. Arc melee damage, create a sunspot, Ward of Dawn. So none of those are going to do me any good. None of those are going to do me any good. More orbs from supers. It's kind of meh. Spheromatic trigger, powered melee kills and finishes unleash explosions. Okay. Gain an additional grenade charge. Fine. Use one ability to briefly improve your other abilities. Okay. Steadily reloads your auto rifles and machine guns. Mag, don't really care. And then legs. S reload, stowed SMGs and layers instant ready. Bonus damage on airborne shoulder charge. And faster sprinting and chain melee damage. So it doesn't really do all that much. Doesn't do all of that much. Uh, yeah, and that used to do really well, but it's not really doing a lot at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at my collections. So these are the ones that I've unlocked. Yeah, this is this is the one. This is the one that's got the the like target the people that hurt you, highlight and defeat those that harm you for an overshield. 
So I think I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, and then we'll swap this out for that. And we'll put this bad boy on. And then we can just sort of level it up a little. With all of our resources. Don't have any enhancement prisms. That's fine. Uh, currently my resilience is at 67. So I should need more than that. Uh, that's not going to do me any better than 72 though. You only get any bonus when you hit every 10. Uh, you've got to take your kiddo to return something she bought accidentally. Yeah, that's fine. Um, increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on defeating an opponent. That's not that bad. I don't mind heavy ammo. We like heavy ammo. Improved target acquisition for strand weapons. Rapid kinetic final blows create an orb of power. That's good. Yeah, that's good. We'll go for that. And... Appearance. I haven't unlocked this, but that's what it would look like with it. So that's cool. Um, but what was the what was the other one that the others were? It was tide smoke, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. There we go. So that's what I look like now. One question about this one-eyed mask: How's the depth of perception? Well, listen. I don't have great depth perception myself, so maybe it's no better than mine. But it does highlight the enemies in red. So maybe you can see pretty well. Who's to say? Who's to say? So this will probably help with my health. Because anybody that... Um, hurts me, will be targeted, and if I kill them, then I get an overshield. There we go. Oh dear. Hello. Didn't want you there, but never mind. See, this guy's glowing red. If I kill him, I get an overshield. Now he's not glowing red anymore, because it's been a while. Now he's glowing red again. Okay, so now I've got an overshield. darkness zone here, so... Okay, but what does that say about you, though, Tats? Relative height doesn't mean that one is actually tall and the other one is actually short. It just means that you can both be short. Do you know what I mean? I hate Cyber Geo on this one, but... You're the 6'3", friend. I mean, I'm 5'11". Maybe a centimetre shy off that. I'm 183 centimetres, I think. In the morning. Because you, you obviously have to, you have to measure yourself in the morning and at night, don't you? And then take the average. 
because uh, your, your spine compacts during the day. Like compresses down to be shorter. Just from the day's use. Surrounded by giants. I'm not that tall. I'm, I'm like average height. That's like they used to say that, like, what's his name? They said that uh, Napoleon was short, right? For one, that was propaganda, just put in a newspaper. Um, of, like, uh, Wellington looking at the guy and saying. You're an odious little man. Blah, blah, blah. But... Oh, hey. GG with the... Uh, with the... Lose, losing 13 pounds. That's very good. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, uh, that's nearly a full stone. Uh, it's 14 pounds to a stone. We measure in stones. Um, I don't know why Americans don't use stones. Because it's the same system. It's pounds, pounds into stones. It's just the next measure up. We just stocked up pounds for some reason and we're like, yeah, we're good with this. We're not going to use the whole system. Um, yeah, so... So, yeah, they were like, Napoleon's really short. No, he wasn't. He was average height for his day. We've just grown taller as a species over that time. Right, we're just going to finish this off. Tell that mad lad of a fucking enemy doesn't even flinch when I'm shooting him dead in the face with a fucking machine gun. Right, so these are things that I can now start to use. Void melee, shield throw, thermite grenade. Okay, right. So we want to look at these. Because it's, it's basically replacing this. Um... A burning line of fire. Or a pulse grenade. I prefer the pulse grenade. However, this. This is the thing, isn't it? Void shield bounces off surfaces and rebounds and hits everybody. But it's not as powerful as the super. Which is really good. I'm going to change that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. These are really good supers, but you can't use them yet. Which sucks. Yeah, I don't have anything that's higher than 1900 at the moment. Uh, you also don't work out... Well, look, I... I do um, martial arts twice a week. That's it. Twice a week. Did it yesterday. Um, and our friend uh, B is my training partner. B, who is in the D and D campaign. Um, so she's my she's my training partner at um, the martial arts club that we go to. Um, this must be it. And right. yeah, we uh, Cancerous. we did a bunch like a of life. our next belt, and then we did a bunch of a belt that we've already done. Because every time you have to, every time you have to grade, you have to do all of the previous belts as well. Jukado. Um, I'll explain it after this. There's a lot of talking. It's in my mind.
That's Queen Marasov, and that's the crow. Uh, yeah, so I do Jukado. It's a mixture of Judo, Jiu Jitsu, and Aikido. Um, and it's very practical. It's a martial art that's designed to be like uh, something that you can actually use in day to day life. But compared to the other martial arts that I've learned before, they don't teach you a lot of the elements of those other martial arts, like like the vast variety of kicks that you can do if you want to. There's, they're very limited. They just go for the ones that will definitely help you when you're cornered. But they don't go into all of the lovely ones, like, uh, like they don't kick you in the head. Oh, I want to kick people in the head. Let me kick them in the head. It's not part of the thing. We are flat to embrace Prince Aldrin's stay. The Great Crow, Dominion of the Reef, the Awoken, and all the stars beyond. But he chose pain. Crow believes he is resisting temptation. I forget which way I'm supposed to go with this. Which way do I go after this? Only oh, around here. Can cure his heart. Yeah, G Fuel is short for Gamer Fuel, isn't it? It used to be called Gamer Fuel. Here's the crow. Hello, crow. Crow? Crow? Quiet. Listen. Big old statue. I've seen these veiled statues before. You have too. It's whispering something, but I can't quite make it out. Stop listening to it. I told you to wait outside. This place is... I don't know what kind of effect it's going to have on you. He's right, Glint. I don't care. He doesn't get to make those decisions for me. We're supposed to be a team. Guardian and Ghost. That's how the Traveler made us. I'm sorry. Don't ever leave me behind again. Promise. I promise. Let's set up camp outside. Kate's not far. Of course he isn't. Tell me you got the drop on him at least. You and the Guardian both need bitter boots. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get lucky this time. The Crow's character design is very cool. Do love it. Yeah, I mean the... The thing with the energy products and stuff is... I... I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of the like ingredients that they'll put into these things, taurine and aspartame and all of that kind of shit. And I don't like the flavor of them that much to do it. And usually they don't give me energy anyway, because if they're like caffeine based, caffeine makes me go to sleep. I've got a spicy brain, a spicy brain that does not respond to caffeine the same as other people's do. So, if I were ever to have, like, one of those high-energy drinks, it's probably packed full of caffeine and I'm just going to go to sleep. So what's the point? Unless I want that. Unless I want to go to sleep. It's hard to describe. Hello. It's like... Victim and murderer. Darkness are Both hunters. Of the He's now doing his job. Here. Before he died. Infection. Festering. You said it spoke to you. In the dark. Tempting me. The witness knows what's in our hearts and minds. It promises to make it all real as part of the final shape. Listen. 
Whatever the witness is doing to the traveler, our ghosts can feel it too. And it's spreading. Ikora would know what to do. Oh, don't worry, kid. We'll find her. Even if we have to blast our way through. I don't think it's that simple. Sometimes it can be. Let's just get our bearings again. Refocus. Yeah, I hate Mountain Dew, to be honest. Do 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 Speak to Ghost. What a relief to see Crow and Glint again. That cave we found him in, where the witness tried to possess me. A malignant place like that inside the Traveler feels blasphemous. That wasn't just darkness. It was reshaped by the witness. Corrupted. No wonder it could project itself there. At least out here, the Traveler's light still protects us. As much as it can, anyway. Michelle? Don't Michelle? Worry. It's not as bad as it looks. The witness barely left a crack. We take hits and we get back up again. Right, Guardian? Listen. The other spot of the location nearby that hmm. resembles the Io Cradle. Sounds like something that would be of interest to a warlock we know. What's, ooh, what's crazy? I was thinking this earlier. What's crazy is that you can customize the shell of your ghost, and every single one of those customizations has got different cracks going through them to show this. So they must have gone through every. Every single previous iteration of ghost designs and applied cracks to every single one of them and then coded it that at this point in the story the cracks appear and a different version of the shell comes. It's very fucking cool but Jesus Christ must they have put in a lot of effort. Right, so now I've got to listen to the broadcast. The helm signal. Mara, we can barely hear you. I'll try to boost the connection. Crow? Okay. Does this reach you? She can't hear us. I'll keep trying to clean up the signal. Mm. The portal remains unstable, and your enemy has barred the way behind you. The abominations you encountered are of the witnesses making. This is but a fraction of the power it now wields. Using stolen light. It has created a new army in opposition to the one the Traveler raised. Stewards of the final shape. No matter. The Coalition convenes to devise a method of dispelling the Witnesses' interference. Keitel and Misrax have promising theories. Once this desperate attempt to slow us is left broken, we will rejoin the attack. Let my voice send you now, in flight, to strike down the Witness and all its followers. Go. With hope and with vengeance. She's Shakespearean, this one. She never fucking... She doesn't ever give you any kind of conversation that's not... Go now on wings of speed to the demise of evil and the... Balance of the universe, etc. Just like, what the fuck? If you're... If, so, if you're uh, aiming to collect those points, Geo, we do actually do um, predictions on this channel, um, where you can uh, like use your channel points to bet on an outcome, and if that outcome comes to pass, then you gain back double what you bet, and you can very rapidly accrue channel points, gold coins, as we call them here. And then you can spend them on stuff. So you could make a custom magic item if you like. Or a uh, or a, send a health potion. And the party will get it in the D&D campaign. So if I do this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll go start a prediction. And we'll say we'll... Uh, Luke die in this mission.
Uh, and you can predict within the next 30 seconds. What? What, what, what? What, what? I came across some wreckage when I was scouting earlier. Dismissed it as another anomaly until Ghost described Ikora's ship. No one was inside. Already predicted so that I'm gonna alive. die? We just have to find that's her. rough yeah, man. That's always How dare you. Said than done. I'm sending you some coordinates. Why can't you predict the points? Out for something that resembles the cradle on IO. We'll start there. I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Oh, I've got to get uh I've got to get the key and I've got to put the thing in. You can't predict Certain European countries aren't allowed because of gambling law? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. So if you want to join in, then you need to VPN to a different country? That's fucked, man. This whole mission took me so long to figure out earlier. They don't explain it very well, but uh, yeah, basically if you kill them with certain things then you get that and if you kill them with other certain things then you get something else. And one will open a door and one won't. You just mean I can't because then I can't call the winner. Alright. Right, this is going to beat the living shit out of me. More of the witnesses abominations. Careful. I... Did a prediction in Giddy Giraffe's channel when we did the Pokemon tournament that Russellino was going to win the whole thing because I knew all of the prep that Russellino was putting into it and I was like, oh, you're definitely going to win this. I don't need to know. So I put every last channel point into it um, that I had. Ow! Ow! Every last channel point into it. See what I mean? Okay, well, there you go. There's your money back. Fuck me. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. There you go. Well, yeah, you've won some points then. Jesus Christ. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, I bet that Russellino was going to win... Uh, and I put all of my points into it. All of my points. And Russellino, of course, did win. And I ended up getting like 50k points out of it. Or 80k points. Um, which put me at well over 100,000. And that was back when uh, VIP was 100,000. Uh, so that's how I got VIP. Was by gambling. Get off. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you fucking do it. Get off me. You're coming up on the coordinates of that wreckage. Fucking explosion. Sign of Ikora. Or her ghost. Nothing yet. Yeah, 500,000 is expensive. I mean, the thing is as well is that uh, 500,000 is because um, there were so many people that were already... VIPs, and you only get so many slots uh, per channel to be able to give VIP out. Um, so Giddy was. Uh, there. Giddy wasn't able. Up ahead. We know Ikora abandoned her ship. Well, two did open up Maybe because uh, us elite. Maybe so. But going it alone isn't worth the risk. Elite motherfuckers I became uh, moderators, didn't they? She's got the two sharpest hunters in the system to back her up. Oh, yeah. It doesn't if you're the only one that does and the prediction. Oh, that sucks. It depends on the pool. Gonna have to get more people to bet. That shield creates concentrated light. Yes. You can use it to power those wells. Shield. Get fucked. Sounds like you've been reading Ikora's future. Get fucked. I always try to learn from the best. There's an overshield. Love an overshield. Okay, 
Okay, so now I've got the uh, light that that thing dropped. And then the light goes onto this pad. But if I kill it with weapons, then it goes into darkness. And I will get the darkness thing instead. So, yeah. 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 I mean, Giddy, Giddy spoke. Apparently, Giddy talked to Blood about me... Like, the likelihood of me being a mod before they even approached me about it. And apparently they both agreed that I would make a good mod. Um, and I was like, well, you didn't say anything to me about this. Um, and they were like, well, no, but you were good. So. And I'm like, dude. Uh, where do I need to go now? I've lost my way. Find a Korra's right ship. Okay. Uh, I've forgotten which way I need to go. Through this way, I'm guessing. Now phone automatically changed your name to all caps. Hey, man. If, uh, if that's just because of the whole Jackal Tats thing, then yeah. Yeah, that's More right. That's, that's appropriate and accurate. Zebu Arath's followers again. Of course oh. they'd answer the witness's call. Well, I'm glad somebody's been paying attention. Um, well, Lucy, I was made a mod while Giddy was uh, forcing me to drink whiskey. So, Giddy was, Giddy was on the beer and was saying that we should match drink for drink. And so I was matching drink for drink. Only I had whiskey and she had beer. And of course, that was not balanced in any way. And by the end of it, uh, she then came up, out with the thing, and I was like, well, look, I've never brought up the idea of me being a mod in your community, Giddy, because I I didn't want to, you know, be the one to suggest it. If you wanted to make me one, I would be honoured. However, at the same time, uh, I'm fine without it. I don't really care that much, um, whether I'm mod or not. Uh, I don't even know if I would make a good mod, because I've never done it before. And um, she said, well, well, here's the answer. I'm just going to make you a mod. Yeah, forcing me, Lucy. Thank you very much. Are you saying that I drank it of my own volition? How dare you, for one. I've never been so insulted. I'm such a pure, innocent boy. As I'm sure you are. Go. Oh, no. Back. Get back. Uh, you were doing the social part of modding already anyway. Uh, like answering questions, greeting people, etc. Yeah, I know, man. I mean, it's like I was doing the thing of, like, doing the question of the day for people when they were entering the chat and stuff. And I wasn't necessarily, like, banning people initially when she made me mod. But then when people started taking absolute fucking liberties, I was just like, Hey, guess what? <laughs> we're just gonna fucking deal with this shit. Uh, and then that was that. So, yeah. Um... Uh, it didn't become a question for me. It was just sort of like, oh, so you're going to be a cunt. <laughs> Guess what? You're not going to do it for very long. Um, and yeah, that was that was how that ended. Uh, you like to race Giddy to shout outs and ad breaks. Yeah, uh, shout outs I struggle to get uh, before anybody else has already done it. Um, I try and do the polls sometimes before other people. But again, I don't know how well I can get that in the time. Yeah, I know you're over there, bird, but I'm coming over here so I can get this first. Because I know what's about to happen. Um, yeah. See, look. Look at this. I'm going to do this from back here so I don't immediately die. You get the shout outs like maybe a third of the time while you're active at least, your favorite part. Mm. 
where it sends you home early, I'll probably stream a bit, but not as long as last night. Well, I think this is like... So this is like the second time that Giddy's ever street, uh, raided me. First time was uh, session one of our D&D campaign. Um, and she started like giving me shout outs more and more lately. I don't really... I'm still uncomfortable with it. I still hate it. Because it's like paying someone a compliment, you know? I don't like it. I don't like the compliments. Do not give me the compliments. It's like saying, hey, this is a good streamer. I endorse them. Ah, no. Ah, not compliments. No, please, no. Okay, right. So... So this bit. This is the bit that I was stuck on for so fucking long. <sighs> right. Okay. So I need to remember which one of these goes in which order. I think this is first. So I need... Where's the other thing gone? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I, I know that they go, I think they go clockwise around. Is this one right? Fount. No, that wasn't right. So that one's number two. Okay, so this is number two. That's number one. So I need to get to a point where I've got the shield, the Aegis shield, which is behind this door. And I need to get that by getting this first. And, uh, yes, we will allow, we'll allow, uh, we'll allow the phrase cunt. Um, fries with your sausages or garlic bread. Why not both? Hello, sorry. Yeah, no, you can call you can call me a British cunt. Stupid automat. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. Okay. So, yeah. So I need this, and then I drop this into here. Then I kill one of them with the shield. Then I take the things from the kill and put them into that, and then I alternate in circles around uh, clockwise. <laughs> Bloody. Bloody hell. Okay, right. So I've got this now, so it drops the shield. Then this goes in here. Then we go... Oh, no, I did it in the wrong one. No. That one wasn't number one. This is number one. Okay, right. Right, I need, a I need to find a knight. Kill the knight. Take his orbs. Put it into that one. Okay, there we go. Love it. Didn't even read your message, but I didn't see the message. <laughs> Yeah, I'm murdering. I'm doing a murder. Oh, there we go. Uh, I need the shield again. Right, hang on. Let me scroll. Next time I shout you out, I'll just say this streamer is trash. Don't follow him unless you like British cunts. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Yes. Accurate. Shield! Need the shield! Get a bastard. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's three out of four done. You were gonna CP it for me? CP. Copy paste. Oh. 
I've never seen that as CP before. I don't know what CP is. Clearly I'm not down with the kids. You know what aggravates me? When people like, um, say, cut and paste. When they clearly mean copy and paste. Those are two different things. If you're cutting and pasting, you're removing it from one place and putting it somewhere else. You're not copying it and making two of them. You're still keeping one. Copy pasta. That's the wrong kind of pasta. Um, and yes, I love Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is my jam. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Notice how he doesn't say... Um, Boil them, mash them, stick them on a pizza. Tats. Ha. Use this melee ability to swing a blazing hammer that scorches your target and deals damage in a cone behind you. Yeah, baby. That's what we want. Uh, and then this one. A grenade that creates a wall of stasis. Crystals to block damage and freeze targets. They can be shattered for damage. Hmm. Do I want that or do I want this? Suspends targets. Suspending is good. Suspending is good. It's a countermeasure. It works well. <laughs> Tat's getting angry. Uh, not a sound but the wind, he said. There are no goblins near or my ears are made of wood. Yeah. There are no goblins near, or my ears are made of wood. Hey, Sally! This is definitely Ikora's ship. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, let's take a closer look. Commander, Guardian, I hope you're both Sally, do you like my, uh... You found Crow. Do you like how sad I, I look? To I'm gonna go and cost. get a drink real quick while I look real sad on this. You know I'm not one to be moved without evidence. How did you put it, Zavala? Scientific obstinance. But there is an uncanny sanctity to this place. I feel an impulse. I seek to commune with the Traveler myself. I sense if I reach out, that it will reach back. If not here, where? Find me. I'll be at the cradle. It's just how I remember it. Got a little lemon Fanta. Love a little lemon Fanta. It certainly sounds like good food to have on toast, Tats, which is essentially what you've got there. You're just putting stuff on toast because it ain't pizza. What, another charming gunslinger with roguish good looks? A high vulgar. But it definitely has your humility. No! Leave me alone! I need to get away. Forget how lemon Fanta tastes, but I know whenever I drink it, I liked it. Well, look, um, it uh, what do you call it? Um, it's like bitter lemon. It's it's bitter lemon. It's like cloudy lemonade. It's just cloudy lemonade, basically, but Fanta's Fanta's version of it. It's not like Sprite. Um, so like. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Glint, how many times did you revive me? Five, six, twelve. But who's counting? Not bad. If you can't be efficient, be persistent. Yeah, it's basically just cloudy lemonade. The the do you know the interesting thing about Fanta? It came about because of the Second World War. Um, the Americans refused to export Coca-Cola to Germany for reasons, of course. 
and so they came out with a new drink, a uh, new drink called Fantastischen Drinken, um, which then got shortened to Fanta. Uh, and Coke has bought the rights to it, and it's now part of the Coke family. <clears throat> Fun facts. I love a fact. If you're not getting facts in your life, then you need to come to me more often because I have facts. I have facts for days. I love them. And yeah, uh, oh, would you look at this. Would you look at this? It's like it's not even like carved from the wood. It goes with the grain. So this like grew with the wood. I love that as a design choice. That's amazing. So good. Oh. Ow! No! Leave me alone. Right. Gotcha, bitch. Another fact is I have to get ready for work now. Oh, well, have a smashing day at work. And um, I hope that you don't have to deal with the uh, outcome of a flood or a storm again. That sucks. And um, I hate that you had to do that. But it's hoping that you don't need to do it again. Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay. So I just need this to charge to get the super so that I can then fuck the guy up. But I can also do this to shield myself from everything. And then fuck these guys up instead. Because I keep the shield for as long as I don't super him. It's like locked. And I get the overshield whenever I kill someone that's just hurt me. So, I can spam this on all of the enemies, get a load of overshields, and then fuck the big guy up. Uh, right, so I've got this now, so I need to put it on here. I have all free time in the world for me. Yeah. We love free time. Right, get absolutely fucked. You bunch of bastards. Hey, asshole. How do you like them apples? That happened yesterday, by the way? What happened? What, you had to deal with the flood thing? Not the smashing, but the bitching. Ow! No! Leave me alone! Look at that fucking sh grenade that I just dropped on me. Mm. Okay, love it. Right. Okay. We're just gonna fuck some of these guys up. Because we can. Super's gone. But I want that guy dead. No, don't kill me, please. Right, so just wait for this to charge up. And then we can smash a bitch. He just glitched around the corner. This is why we want to clear out as many ads as we can before we get onto the D DPS stage, because otherwise we get completely surrounded by all of these cunts.
And if we take a little bit of damage off him, then our exotic helmet means that we get a uh, damage boost on him. Let me alone. somewhere guys oh my god it's so fucking painful legend level legend fucking legend boom see now the thing is i'll be giving all of you shout outs but for the fact that you all know each other and are probably followed to each other so i don't really know whether it's worth that. Uh, let me alone. Oh my god, I so nearly died. Uh, also, it cuts out the sound to the game when I uh, tab out of it. Uh, uh, but those people in here who are mods, please feel free to shout out whoever the fuck you want. So long as they're cool people. Nothing against the cool person. Boop. Why? Why you do this? Get absolutely taken apart, you prick. Have fun with your day, Geo. Don't die killing the boss solo. Breathe. Jesus, that was that was something. Uh, yeah. So, creating a thing forward. Let's keep going forward. Hey, when we find Ikora, if she's Ikora strong, I'm sure she's fine. Oh, that's good. Right, right. Going um, But not really what I'm worried about. I was gonna ask if you think she's still mad at me for what? I made a promise, then I broke it. I died. That's heartbreaking. I promise not to die. <sighs> it's like... You can promise that as much as you want, but whether you can actually fulfill on that promise is completely out of your control. And the fact that he feels bad about it... Speaks to his character. Ready, Guardian. The witnesses forces are heading your way. Ah, no, ah, no, ah, leave me alone. Ah, no, leave me alone. Ah, no, ah, leave me alone. Okay. Get away from me. Oh my god, so many of them. Exactly, right? Well, then the thing is, is that um, they're guardians, so they're supposed to be immortal. <laughs> but if you go into danger and someone shoots your ghost, then you can't be resurrected anymore. Uh, hence, he had his final death. And that's like... That's bad juju, man. <laughs> you can tell someone you're not going to die, and then you go and get your ghost shot. That is actually on you at that point. <laughs> Out.
just managed to get that kill off to get me some health. God damn it. Yeah, just fucking die. I can't kill you with the melee like I'm trying to. Don't do it! Got him. Hey you, get fucking fucked, you prick. Okay, right, now. He's dead now. She's dead now. Whoa. Whoa. Get confused, motherfuckers. Give me an overshield. Okay, right. Fuck me, man. Okay, right, there we go. Hey! He's got, they've got like similar voice to the, uh, the bad guy that Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who fought again, the Tim Shaw guy, the one that she called Tim Shaw. He's got like that sort of voice to them. I wonder if it's the same voice actor. <clears throat> I never knew that it was Peter Cullen who did the voice for uh, The Predator. Peter Cullen, the same guy that did Oct Optimus Prime. He fucking took my super away and now I'm fucked. He took my super away and now I'm fucked. That's the problem with tormentors. If you get too close to them, they just hit hit you once and it completely removes your super away from you. So you lose all of your energy. Do you know how long it takes to like get a super? About that long when you've got a rally banner. Ha! Ah. Alright, here we go. Get ready, Guardian. The witness is right, first of all, fuck all of you. That's, that's the first, right? Second of all, fuck you in particular. I'm going to run up here, turn around, and smash you in the face. Now, you can get absolutely fucked, and so can your friend over there, and so can your friend down there. Ah, no, 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 no. So hard to get moving when you're stuck in the air, right? It's not like an observational comedian, right? Do you ever get that feeling when you're stuck in midair that you want to move forward but you can't? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Anyway, I saw a guy on the tube today. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Great. All of these bastards come out again. Ay, 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 ay. Don't be chasing me, you prick. Right, for one, nobody likes you. I don't want to make the bad guy self-conscious or anything. Or make him feel bullied. Because that's not cool. But at the same time, I am trying to murder him. So I feel like bullying is sort of... A lesser evil? Do you know what I mean? Like, if we went to court and it was... Um, murder and also bullying. It wouldn't be like... Attempt, you know... Uh, accused of murder in the first degree, but also bullying? It's like, no. no. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Lesser priorities, right? Lesser priorities. Right, you're going to spawn in now, you prick? Hello? You're not spawning in? Huh. Weird. 
And where do I need to go again? Defeat the witnesses' forces. So I've got to kill all of them. Well, where, though? See, it's pointing over here. There is no over here. There's nothing here. Hello? Oh, there. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Hey, Cora. Oh, shit. No, they are still here, and she's still up here. Right, okay. Great. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done. But have you considered? Fuck off. Yeesh. God, we've been going for three hours. Bullshit how he can just arc his attacks over everything like that. Oh, yeah. Killed him, didn't I? Oh yeah. Is that all of them? Surely that's all of them. Please let me just finish this shit. She's right here. I just want to talk to her. You let me talk to her. Is there still an enemy here? Hello. The last of them. Hey, it was just one random guy. Don't you just love it when it's one random guy we that's not stood Cora. there or talking to you at all? If Ikora zend out, she might actually get some answers from the traveler. Yo, Ikora. Hello, Ikora. Hello, Ikora. Hey, Ikora. Wake up, Ikora. Ikora. Thank you, Ikora. Guardian. Ikora. I thought that maybe here, maybe. The Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there? Sort of guidance. That once did for the speaker. I close my eyes and I open my heart and mind. I think I heard it screaming. So did we <clears throat> when we came through the portal. This place. We know. The witness infecting the traveler. Darkness combined with light. I wish Osiris could see it. He was always ready with a hypothesis. But here's mine. Here we go. The witness brought darkness into the traveler. Everything you see here inside it is a physical manifestation of a thought made real by the light. Your thoughts. Mine. The witnesses. It plans to weaponize that light, reshaping reality outside the Traveler into a perfect stillness. A great silence, never changing, never dying. Imagine your greatest triumph, or your most profound regret, immortalized as a part of a universe where nothing exists except by the witness's consent. It chooses what your eternity will be, and imprisons you safely inside it. This is its promised salvation. This is the final shape. The witness sees itself as the god it wishes the Traveler was. And although the Traveler resists the witness's corruption, it and everything we know will eventually succumb. I always warn Zavala 
not to put all his faith in the Traveler. To save some for the rest of us. But maybe faith in the Traveler is exactly what we need. If light is powerful enough to destroy the universe, then light is powerful enough to destroy the witness. Oh yeah. Come back safe. All right. You'll have to excuse me. I was just having a bit of a snack. It's been three hours, and I haven't eaten in that time. This is creepy as fuck. I just need to, to acknowledge the fact that this is the stuff of nightmares and it is exactly what I devised personally during an art project in my degree doing graphic design was hands wrapped around hands wrapped around hands protruding and making like the branches of trees and stuff and even the body of a dragon. And I say dragon loosely. It does look handy, right? Boom, boom! Um, but it looks creepy as fuck. Yeah. It looks creepy as fuck. Anyway. Uh, so I need to go down to here. We're having a nice little cookout here. Yeah? Got, uh, got a nice little stove on the campfire. A few little benches and a tent, maybe. Oh, so, oh, it's just is lovely. There anyone else with you? Look at it. Not Got a TV and a radio. Soon. This isn't quite up to his standards. Hey. I did my best, all right? Given the circumstances, I think Big Blue will forgive me. Will you? No. It's too much. It's just too much. It's one thing for the witness to look in our hearts and minds, to conjure up our memories, but this... Hey, Cora, come on, look at me. I see you. I know this is hard. It's tough for me, too. Tough? What do you know about tough? You are always running off to play renegade, leaving me and Zavala to shoulder all the responsibility when... when we were supposed to be a team. I know. I'm gonna make it up to you. Is this uncomfortably close for a stranger to stand next to two people having a hug? Hi. 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 Don't get ahead of yourself. Hi. 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 You hi. still have a lot to make hi. up. Hi. Well then, hi. we better get started. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it was definitely uncomfortable because the moment they had the chance, they left. <laughs> Cora has always had a strong connection to the Traveler. I love, I love, what? Hello, hello, what? That's why she's mm? never needed the faith Zavala has. She hasn't sought guidance like this for a long time. But this place makes you reassess what faith means to you. Yeah. Ikora said our memories reshape the landscape. Like the Ascendant Plane. But here it's pure. Mm -hmm. It's not a recreation, it's a reimagining. Yeah. That's why the witness is here. It wants to weaponize the traveler and transform the universe into a fixed state 
based on what it believes we deserve. The witness thinks purpose is a static idea. Its promised salvation is a perfect ending it chooses for us. That sounds more like obsession to me. You yeah. can't bottle life. You can't pin its subtleties in place. It's wild and very imperfect. Like the light, it shines out in all directions, shadows and all. Commander Zavala would agree. So true. Come on, Guardian. We've got a fire team to reunite. Okay. All right, Ghost. I have faith. I believe in you. Right, so we've got to listen to this. Scans are conclusive. Your body is a construct of light. Even if you aren't able to wield it as a weapon. Well, I guess I need my ghost to do that. Yes, but still. This is nothing short of a miracle. A miracle that could only be made possible here. In this impossible place. You sound like Zavala. Next you'll be Can saying I? that the Traveler brought me back for a... Can do the mission now? It Can do the mission now? Give me a better explanation then. I don't have one. All I got is my hand cannon. No golden gun. No ghost. Can I ask you something deeply personal? Shoot. What did you see when you died your final death? Well, that ain't fair. No, it isn't. You've got Life two ghosts in the living room. So bright, it burned me all the way up, but I didn't feel any heat. What are you talking about? Actually, not with my body because I left that back there. You actually have two ghosts in your living room. Being one with the traveler, but I call it home. No pain. No fear. No vanguard paperwork. That's him. I mean that's quite something. She was shining there too. Right, okay. I legit thought you were talking about your house being haunted for a moment, and you weren't talking about the, like, destiny ones. I was like, are you okay, Moss? <laughs> Is everything alright? <laughs> no judgement. If there's a green and a white ghost in your living room, then, you know, uh, that's fine. Yeah, so my sister told me about a time when a light bulb exploded next to her head. And the light bulb was in the socket, but the power was off. And, like, there's no reason that the bulb should have exploded with the veracity, you know, ferocity that it did. So, which one so the she was pretty convinced that that was a I'd have liked to see haunting try, kind of a thing. But the Guardian will and then there's, point. you know, other experiences as well and stuff. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Get murdered. Well, these are going to be ghosts in a bit. Riggedy wrecked. Hey. How salvation. They really believe this much Ruined in the witness's you. plan? The witness is offering them exactly what they want. An end to suffering. There you go. That seal is pyramid technology. The witness's forces are likely nearby. Let's see if we can get the jump on them. Maybe oh, the glyph touched. It's this whole deal. I've got to actually, like, remember what glyphs they drop. And there's, like, four distinct symbols. Um, and I have to remember exactly what the symbol is. 
and then match it to the uh, selection that it puts out in front of the door. Yeah, this is much better now that I've got this um, this one on, this uh, exotic helmet on. So, you see this? This is the symbol that we're looking for. I see it as being the black triangle at the bottom, so I, uh, I call it the arrow. Because it looks like an arrow pointing up. So, that one's arrow. And there's also triangle, there's wedge, uh, and there's like a cross shape. So, it's sort of just go with that. Okay, so you see them all here? So, yeah, that's like the cross thing where it's like a ghost in half. There's the triangle, which just looks like a PlayStation triangle to me. Uh, and then this is the wedge, but this is the one that we want. And that's a very satisfying sound that it just made. So, yeah, we investigate. And we move on to the next thing. That statue. We've seen these before. On the moon. Europa. The Black Garden. It shouldn't be here. Not to change the subject, but I finally got a Vanguard signal. You're welcome. Zavala needs to be our priority. Past the telemetry. I love the fact that this here is mirrored on both sides by the absence of the same statue shape. That is fucking beautiful and creepy in equal measure. Let me just go that way. Okay, I can't get my sparrow out. Okay. You used to call it a Zoid bike because it sounded a lot like Zoidberg from Future Armor. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Can't catch me, can't catch me. Bang. So many of them just died with a single grenade. That was amazing. Reload. Take forever about the reload, please. There we go. Many there are. Endless shanks. On their own, they're not that bad, but in the swarms that they come in, fuck me, they will destroy you in seconds. Get lost. Right, uh, so there's no glyph that I need yet. I just need to shoot this, and then I can kill the enemy that appears, and then find the glyph. Oh, glyph touch thing. I've been touched by a glyph. Also, the ship here will take me out with the cannons at the front, if I'm not careful. And I'm pretty sure there's another ship that spawns in at the same time as that one does, so... Got to be careful on the flank from it as well. Yeah, there it is. Carve my way through. So the third one. Right, 
so killing that guy is going to give me another thingy bob. Uh, I've only got one bullet left in that, so let's just fire that one out. So yeah, killing this warder will give me the glyph that I need. What's annoying is that this servitor has got really high health level. And it will give everybody around it immunity. So I need to kill that first or I can't kill the other one. So it's a lot easier to take the shield down if you match shield energy with the gun that you're using. So the shield energy was void and this is a void weapon if you look at the purple symbol on the, ma the machine gun symbol on the bottom left. Right, triangle. It's just straight up like 100% PlayStation. They, I think I think Bungie actually has a partnership with Sony. They have like a, an exclusivity partnership where you get like early things from them, basically. Like if you're playing on PlayStation, then you get early access to most of the shit. Why? Why pull me forwards, you cunt? God damn it, man. I was behind a shield for one. Why does the ability go through the shield? That's not cool. Strand is so overpowered, man. Get lost with that. Not interested in your bullshit. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you try it as well, you prick. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. Right, I'm just gonna fucking try and send it on this. Oh, I can't because there's a boss there. Damn it. Reload already. Okay, alright. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you here? Why'd you run around, you fuck? Okay. Get out of here, you asshat. Nobody likes you. Oh, good lord. Right. I'm just going to go for it. There we go. Got the right one. Look at that. So fucking elite that I also stood on the right pad while killing that guy. I'm so good. Okay. Uh, yeah, look at all this. Look at all the hands. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, it's creepy. It is creepy. There is creepy. Hey, Zavala have anything nice to say about me at my funeral? Me always gave the best eulogies. No, not a word. Seriously? He wasn't there. Wouldn't come out of his office. Uh, I get it. Sometimes grief's a uh, locked door. This prick, a fucking witness, listening in on other people's conversations and grief. Asshole. Right. Okay, yeah. bad boy out, because I've got some long distance now and the thorn won't reach very well. Gets these energy shields off easier as well, because it's the same shield type. It's a solar weapon. It's basically fire. House salvation again. Right on top of us. Okay. Scratch my name. Oh, this is going to fuck me up real bad. I remember this on normal. This was rough even on normal. 
got to be super careful with this. Especially since it's a darkness zone and I don't want to have to do this whole fucking thing again. Campaign missions are not normally difficult, but when they just fill you into a tight corridor with, like, an enormous amount of enemies, it's, it's hard for it not to be difficult, do you know what I mean? Right, get the fuck out of here, you prick. It's asshole servitor making this bastard immune. And it takes forever to reload, because I'm not a hunter. So, um, me and another friend, we became, I, so I met, um, I met Rachel through Call of Duty. We were playing in infected mode. Uh, infected was great because you're like, there's two teams and one team is zombies and the other team is humans and the zombies have to try and infect the humans by either meleeing them or thro throwing, uh, throwing knives at them. And we just, for whatever reason, neither of us normally had our mics activated in in Call of Duty lobby. But for some reason, both of us did that day. And so we ended up getting into a conversation, decided to get into another game with each other. And so we just added each other on Xbox. And when the Destiny, um, when the Destiny, uh, what do you call it? Um... Beta, that's the word. When the Destiny beta came out the first time, we were both interested in playing it. And so we just happened to both get the be the beta. And I also happened to know a uh, uh, one of my friends uh, was a kickboxer, right? He was my kickboxing instructor. We ended up like adding each other on Xbox. And we ended up uh, playing on the beta with each other. So, Rachel and Dean and I became really close friends. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm dead. So, we became really close friends. These guys just explode. They go towards you and then they blow up when they get close to you. Just like Suicide Shank ro robot things. Anyway, so we got really good friends through um, Destiny. And we ended up being the fire team. So, then when one of us had a birthday, it was Dean. We, uh, Rachel and I decided to get him a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a ghost. <clears throat> a ghost. But it was one off like Etsy where somebody had put like a... They put a, um, a Bluetooth speaker inside of it and like LEDs and stuff. And they 3D printed it so that it looked exactly like a ghost. It was so fucking good and the quality was incredible. And we decided that we would chip in together with each other and make big birthday things like that forevermore. We became friends and we stayed friends for a few years, but then Dean just fell off at one point. Dean just fell off. Um, just started playing with his... Uh, even after I'd given him my PlayStation and bought Destiny for him on the PlayStation. So like, you know, £300 out of pocket on my end. Um, just for a friend, just because he was a friend and I wanted to play with him on the PlayStation as well as the Xbox. Um... He just fell off one day and decided that he wasn't going to play well, or even speak to me. He was just ghosting me one day. And so I decided, you know what? I don't need this kind of rejection again. I've been rejected by too many people before. I'm not going to let it happen this time. And so I was the first person to just fuck off and leave. So I was just like, if you're going to ghost me, then I'll ghost you first. Fuck it. Can't be asked. Don't know why you're doing this, but it's hurtful that, that you believe it to be okay. So I just fucking decided, no, I'm not doing it. Um, so yeah, I uh, I went in a different direction with it. And then Rachel one day, when it was just uh, me and her that were friends at that point from the original fire team, the three of us, um, she told me that she needed to not be my friend anymore for the sake of her mental health, which is an awful, awful thing to say to a person. Um, what an awful, awful thing to say. Uh, so yeah, she's a, oh, just the worst kind of a human being. But um, 
Yeah, so the, 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 the problem was that I had gotten a tattoo to commemorate our friendship because it was the first real, like, true friendship born naturally uh, that I'd had in my life and I wanted to commemorate how great our friendship was. But I didn't want their names because I knew that there was a likelihood that at some point we were going to fall apart and I therefore didn't want their names. So instead of getting their names, what I got was a symbol, a drawing, a picture. But that picture, um, I didn't want it to be of their usernames either. Because one of them, uh, uh, one of them was something dragon and one of them was something solid. And I was like, okay, well I don't want, what would I do, like a rock and a dragon? That feels weird. So instead of doing that, I went with what my username was at the time, and my username was Nurse Shark. So I got a pic a photo like a picture of a Nurse Shark, a diagram of a Nurse Shark, because they're a real species. Uh, it's what I got my username from, because uh, you know I'm a nurse, and I wanted it to be not just Nurse, because that doesn't sound menacing at all online. I wanted it to be you know somewhat menacing, and I thought, well, I'll add Shark to it then. So I did. So I added Nurse Shark. And so that was my username. So I got a tattoo of that. Pixelated. And that's what this is. You can see it better in the webcam because it's far away. But when you see it up close, it's actually pixelated. It's uh, it's in squares, right? So it's pixel art of a nurse shot because it's gaming and all that. Uh, pixel art, right? And, um, yeah. The... Uh, Uh, that's how I ended up with a tattoo that I no longer re feel resonates with me as a person. Um, and so I want to get it covered up with something else. Because, yeah, although I understand the whole thing of, well, make it your own and, you know, it is now your thing and not their thing, it still leaves a bad, you know, aftertaste in my mouth. Whenever I look at my right forearm, I'm reminded of the fact that two people who I loved for greatly... Um, both abandoned me. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm not I'm not in the mood for keeping that tattoo around anymore. Because those people were pricks. And um, for whatever part I had in it, um, I don't think that it warranted their response. So yeah. Fuck them. Um, but, you know, if they ever apologised, I wouldn't be against saying hello to them again. I just don't think I could be friends. So they had an issue with the tattoo. They didn't have an issue with the tattoo. Uh, it was um, Dean um, just decided one day to not talk to me. No idea why. Just decided he wasn't going to talk to me anymore. And so I was like, you know, deep into rejection uh, sensitive dysphoria. I was just like, hey, I'm not going to let you abandon me. I'm going to abandon, you know, like by by doing this bullshit that you're doing today and ghosting me as he was doing at that on that day. I was like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, do this first. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not let you hurt me. I'm gonna just walk away. Uh, and that was, that was how I dealt with that. Whether that was appropriate or not, I was in my twenties and I was uh, not as mature as I am now. I probably could have taken it now if he, if he even had even told me that he didn't want to be friends with me at that point. I probably would be okay with it. Better than I, better than I would be better now with it then uh, I would have been there. I'm going to say that. Uh, so anyway, that was that was that whole situation. And no, Rachel said that she didn't want to be friends with me because I was bad for her mental health. So, you know. Uh, that's a real asshole thing to say to any person so she can get fucked. Um, I don't have any time of... Uh, you know, I don't have any time or energy for that shit. So fuck her. Um... But yeah, that was that was how I've now got a tattoo that I no longer feel has anything to do with me. Yeah, basically. So she ghosted me for a while. Uh, and then when I asked for an explanation, she said, I think that I could still be friends with you, but not best friends. I need to keep distance from you because I can't have you in my life. You're bad for my mental health. Um, and that was that. And so I'm like, excuse, excuse you, fuck you very much. Uh, 
Uh, but you know, what am I, uh, what am I supposed to do? Other than just move on with my life. So now I've got this tattoo on my arm that I don't want anymore. So I need to find a way to get it covered up. Uh, and I don't really know what to get it covered up with. To be honest, it, um... Uh, well, it was her mum that was telling her to do it. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know what to get it covered up with, because it was already a cover-up. It had a star underneath it. It was just a star on my, like, right wrist that I didn't really ever care that much about. It was just the first tattoo I'd ever got. Um, and I don't know what to get it covered over with now. I've, I've got a tattoo on my left forearm now. Um, and that's the D&D tattoo. That one's the, the, the six stat blocks. So it's, um... You know, strength and dex and charisma and all of that. Uh, but it's very patchy. It's like, it's healed... It healed really poorly. And like, the day that I got it done... It bled so bad that the the tattoo, like, second skin, like, plastic dressing that they put on, like, thin film dressing, that just, it bled so hard that that came off immediately. Because there was nothing to stick to but blood. Um, so, yeah, so that did not heal well at all. And um, I've not gone back since to get it touched up. Because, uh, for one, I kind of feel like... You know what? D&D campaigns don't come out perfect. They're often patchy and they're often, you know, uh, a little imperfect and in, uh, unpredictable and impractical and stuff. And people make stupid decisions and all of that. So, yeah. Got a spirit animal. My spirit animal is an octopus and I've got that on my arm. So that's, that's here wrapped around my arm. Once I'm not being shot by everybody, I will show you proper proper view of the tattoos. Right, the moment that that guy dies, I get surrounded by bombs and enemies again. And I don't want to be stuck there. So I'm going to try and kill the other adds and get closer first so I can get behind cover. I also want to kill that fucker first, the servitor. Yeah, so my spirit animal is an octopus because they are solitary. They learn by watching. They, um, they're intelligent, but uh, sometimes they need to observe others to get what they need. They, um, like for instance, they, um, the giant Pacific octopus was dying out, uh, because the females weren't learning how to take care of themselves while they let their young feed, uh, for the first six months. And so they would, they would die, basically. They would starve to death over the six months that their, uh, young were growing. And um, they took some of them into captivity and showed them how to not die that way. And uh, it worked. It actually worked. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it was certainly not easy for them. But then once they took them out there from captivity and released them back into the wild again, uh, all of the others witnessed them doing this new activity, um, this new behaviour that they'd been taught in captivity and they started copying it themselves and so the giant pacific octopus is actually doing a lot better now. I don't know if it's back to good because it's, you know, I'm not a marine biologist but uh, it's, I don't keep up to date with those things but you know, it's, uh, it's still good. Don't, please don't, oh for fuck's sake! One second in the open and I immediately died. And now I've got to do that whole fucking thing again. Right, well before I get started, let me just show you the tattoos. Okay, so, so that's the, uh, Alexa, turn on the light in the study. Okay, so that's the shark. Alexa, shut up. That's the octopus. 
Yeah, so that wraps all the way around. And then this one's the D&D uh, &D tattoo. And then this is the red hot chili peppers. And then I've also got this one. Uh, which is... Uh, it's, uh, it's... I mean, you've probably heard of it. You've probably heard of it called a sugar skull or candy skull before. But uh, they're often called calavera skulls. Um, which is also, they're all a misnomer, they're all the wrong name. Calavera is the, um, it's the Spanish word for skull, or skeleton. Um, so to call it a calavera skull, you're basically calling it a skull skull. Um, but it's, it's basically, it's like, a, it's like a way of commemorating the dead, uh, and li remembering them in a, in a, in a good way, in a happy way rather than in a in mourning um yeah so the so the so so the idea basically is that you on the day of the dead the dia de las muertos which is like all saints day in spanish cultures and hispanic cultures latinx cultures basically you um you will uh celebrate the lives of those you've lost by like having um uh, you create altars almost called ofrendas and you'll put like photographs of those people that you love and that you'll leave offerings for them of like food and stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the basic idea is to try and invite the spirit back so that you can celebrate their lives together with them on that one day. Um, but the whole tradition of that came about by mistake because it was... Um, it was actually a different thing altogether. The guy that actually came up with this, um, this design, he, uh, he, it was the turn of the, the 1900s that he was at his peak. He, uh, his name was Posada and he is a, uh, like a folk artist. He's like a folk hero artist in Mexican culture. And he was doing, all of his, all of his basic, like all of his socio-political commentary that he did in the publications and like the broadsheets that he used to sell these cheap, cheap uh, newspapers, basically, all of his artwork that he did um, uh, was uh, what do you call it? Was all like commentary on other people, and it was all skeletons, of course, calaveras. And he did this one of them who Diego Rivera then uh, was really inspired by and made uh, famous in one of his frescoes. Um, but he named her something else. He called her La Calavera Katrina, which is like the beautiful European. Katrina was, uh, Katrina was like this uh, Mexican slang for uh, a, a woman who was trying to appear European by wearing pale makeup and European clothing like trying to deny their heritage, their culture. And so by calling her Katrina, um, other people have taken on the same name and she's become this other thing. Whereas uh, Posada had called her La Garbancera, which means the chickpea, which I think chickpea was the European slang, actually. I think Katrina just means beautiful person. So yeah, that's it. Posada was making the European commentary. Diego was just saying... Ah, she's gorgeous. Um, and so, yeah, she ended up being this view of beauty and it became a, a heritage culture thing where people now paint and adorn their faces in skulls and paint actual skulls and fake skulls and all of this shit. Uh, and it's just a very different thing. But yeah, he did steal the whole fucking idea. Uh, yeah. But, you know, people do that all the time. There are no original ideas in art. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that, I guess. But you probably already knew most of that. Um, so, so the idea behind that, I got. No, I know, I know, I know. Uh, the idea. I know you're not calling me a bitch. Uh, uh, if you did call me a bitch, I call you a bitch back, bitch. Um, <laughs> no, the idea is that like. I wanted something to remember people that I have lost in my life that I care deeply about, but also 
that I don't want to have just, you know, you know, like a lot of people go for the morning thing where they'll have like a feather or a quote or like two dates like from and to or I don't know, they'll have like a picture of a tombstone or whatever and it'll be RIP grandma or whatever like that. I'm not against those, but it's not my style, and I would much rather remember them with joy for having known them in the first place than um, mourning their loss and feeling upset to have lost them. I prefer the fact that I knew them at all, you know? So I've got uh, one of the flowers on my tattoo is a red carnation, which is... Um, a symbol associated with the love of a mother and it was uh, that one's for my godmother who died of a brain tumor and then uh, I've also got a daisy uh, and the daisy is a symbol of um, innocence and um, often associated with kids and that is because it's for my nephew who was um, five months, I believe, old when he passed. He was uh, he was very premature. He was 25 weeks of 40. Um, so got a, got that one for him. Um, and then the other one was a work colleague of mine who uh, took her own life. Um, and. I wish that she'd not, obviously, but uh, the symbol of a person who attempted but didn't go through with it is a semicolon. You know, a, a full stop with a, a period with a, a comma beneath it. So that's um, that's often used for like a tattoo when somebody wants to symbolise that they attempted suicide but didn't go through with it or wasn't successful, and it's. It just marks a pause in their life rather than a full stop, right, a period. So I got that as part of it, as like a teardrop on the outside edge of the tattoo. Um, just just there. Um, and it's uh, that's because that's what I wish that it had been. I wish that it had been a pause in, a pause in her life rather than a, a full stop. But, you know... It's there. It's there so that I can. It's there so that I can remember all of them fondly and remember the memories that we made together and the time that we had, etc. And, and just be happy, rather than sad. Misty passed at birth. My uncle passed at four of cancer, and my aunt, who died, I think, to uh, close to birth. Yeah, it's there's. It's a beautiful thing to get. I think. Um, to remember a person for the life they led than for the than for the hole they left behind, but I understand it as well. I understand it completely. Um, that mindset of like I miss you, I wish you were here, instead of I remember you, we had a great time. Uh, you know, I remember those times. It's a, it's a diff it's just a different mindset, and everyone mourns differently, don't they? And everyone gets tattoos differently, for sure. This fucking captain running away from me like a coward. Hey, I died like twice already, captain. If I'm willing to come out and face you again, then you need to stop being a little bitch and just face me, you prick. Look at him running away from me. I'm running into like headlong into battle with these pricks as well. Right, I'm going to tether you so you can't fucking leave. There you go, you asshole. Have that. Absolute dickhead. Yeah, so I've also got a... I've also got a Maltese cross here. So that's, a, that's called a Maltese cross. That's a symbol of nursing. Because obviously I'm a nurse. Uh, hopefully not for much longer, but it's been 12 and a half years now. Um, what else? I've got a scorpion here, like at the top of my neck, sort of like right there. And then below it I've got a big tattoo of a, of a tiger fighting a dragon. 
That is because I went to kickboxing. I did kickboxing for three, four years. And some of the friends that I met there were some of the best friends that I've ever had. And so it was a way of remembering the fact that I'm, I, I made those friends and the time that I had there because it was a good period in my life. And it was also a period where I went to kickboxing to get away from an abusive relationship. And it gave me the confidence to stand up and say, I'm not going to be bullied by you anymore. This is a this is a bad and toxic situation. And I'm not going to be bullied by you. And I'm not going to have to deal with you anymore. I'm, I, we're breaking up. And so I've, I've broken up with them. And so that's that. Uh, and it's like a, a, it's a mythology behind martial arts of the fight. Um, because you can't be all tiger and you can't be all dragon. The tiger represents uh, strength and the dragon represents power and the tiger fights forward and back and is rigid and the dragon is fluid and fights in circles. But if you only ever do one or the other, then you'll either be too direct and never have any direction in life and only follow in one straight line or you'll keep going in circles. So you have to have a little bit of both in your life for you to have balance. Um, and that's why I've got both of them there. And then I also have a phoenix on my left hip, which I don't think I should be able to show you. Can you see that? Just about to see that. So yeah, I have a phoenix on my hip, and that is for uh, this whole like 15 minute period has just been an intermission about me talking about my fucking tattoos and my life story. Jesus Christ. Play some Destiny, Luke. Um... Yeah, so the, the, um, I apologise for anybody who's probably skipped this far ahead if you're watching a VOD, um, to get past the tattoos, because we're still talking about tattoos. Um, yeah, no, so this, uh, basically that was because I'd been through a very dark period in my life and I managed to pick myself up and carry on and get past it. And so I felt like a phoenix reborn. Rising from the ashes of a of a terrible life before it. And again, grateful for grateful for the uh, grateful for what I have now, uh, and remembering the thing that I had before, but not wanting it ever again. Because I have bigger things. You love phoenixes. Uh, as someone who hates being touched has so many tattoos. Listen, I have. I also have a very high pain threshold. Um, and I do martial arts. So, you know, there's like... There's like times where I will just know that I need to get something done. Or know that I need to do something. And I will just grit my teeth and deal with it. But it will also mean that I have no spoons for the rest of that day and a few days after. And the tattoo that I've had before where I... I've had a couple of tattoos now where it's taken eight hours to get it done. And for eight hours being touched and having to stay in one position and not being able to stim. Because it would move me and my body and mean that I get a, a janky tattoo that's wonky. That was fucking hard. And that's why I wait like two years in between every tattoo because I just need, I need the energy and the motivation to actually go and do it. Because otherwise I would just fucking want to kill myself and everybody around me. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That's, uh, that's a little bit of, uh, why it all came to be, I guess. Right. I'm getting sick of you, Captain. Fucking around and trying to kill me. Get absolutely fucked. You got no idea how I'll let's start? Well, look. I, I just like to go with... Try not to go with the meaning first. In my opinion. Because I... Like, I ended up getting just silly tattoos as my first tattoos. And a small, simple, like, bit of line work you can easily cover up. One of my next tattoos is I'm going to get a... Um, so, because I'm asexual, right? One of the symbols of asexuality is the Ace of Spades. 
because it's a single indivisible symbol. It doesn't need any more. It doesn't need any less. It can exist on its own, right? Hence the ace. Uh, and obviously ace in asexual. Um, so there's multiple layers to it, right? So because of that, I was like, well, I want to get a tattoo for asexuality. But I also don't know if I want it to be that on the nose of just getting the ace of spades. Because that's kind of... Meh. Everybody does that. So what could I do? So I brought it up on the first night that we were at Amsterdam with the university. And there was a bunch of me and uh, other artists. Um, a bunch of me? Uh, a, there was me with a bunch of other artists that were all my friends. And they were all like um, illustration and graphic design people. And so I knew that they were all talented. And when we sat down to dinner, Half of the table, all of the all of the illustration ones, all picked out uh, a sketchbook and a pencil from each of their pockets that they've been carrying around with them all day and hadn't said a damn thing about it. So they all pull out these fucking uh, sketchbooks from out of their pockets, and I just bring up this subject of like, um, all right, I've got wedge and arrow, wedge and arrow, wedge and arrow. So they, they, I bring up this subject of. Oh, yeah, no, I'm thinking of uh, getting a tattoo, but I don't know what design to get. Um, I wondered if I could get you all to come up with just a, a simple idea. Like, it doesn't have to be a fully fleshed out tattoo design, but it would be cool if I could get a tattoo that one of you had designed. Because I can't think of how to design it. I did end up designing the... Um, the hey, oh, I just bought my microphone. Uh, I did... Uh, sorry for your ears, if that hurt. Um, yeah, so I did end up getting the... Uh, thingy in the end. The the D&D tattoo was my own design. But, um... But I did want to, um... Get them to design this, right? And one of them, Steve, who is one of the players uh, in my D&D campaign, um, who you obviously know Mars, because uh, he's the uh, place Victor. Um, so he got his sketchbook out, and he decided to just draw a full-on spade, like a like a shovel, and just wrote the, the 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 words over it. You dig like letter U, and then dig, um, as like a joke. And that was his idea of just doing a gag. But I immediately fell in love with it and was like, oh yeah, no, this is a hundred percent it. I'm, I'm definitely getting this tattooed on me. Um, and so now I'm going to get that. And I want to get it in the black line artwork that he designed it with. Just like black lines. But behind it, I want to get... Because uh, there's like a really talented uh, watercolour artist in Nottingham. Which is not that far away from me because I live in the Midlands. And I really want to go and get the, the tattoo done there. And have the colours of the um, asexual flag done behind it in watercolour. Um, and then have that over the top. And I think that that look, would look sick. Get out, 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 get out. No, don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's that's where I'm going next with my tattoo. You don't need to do anything in particular, Lucy. You don't need to go deep and meaningful. It doesn't need to be something that has great power and, you know, represents some big part of your life, but... Maybe there is something like that that you have thought of that you would consider getting done. It's really your, you know, it's all on you. It's your, it's your, it's your call. It's your choice. No one can force you to get anything tattooed, but at the same time, it's a very cool thing to do. And when you do get it done, it's fucking addictive, is what it is. You have a frog because frog, exactly. What's funny is, Mars, that there is a character uh, in the backstory for this game called Aldrin.
It's the text, do it scared? Do what scared? What am I doing? Right, wedge and arrow. Set all of these off. I mean, it's a good fight. Any more info on this other Aldrin? I think Aldrin is the name that the crow used to go by. The crow is the, like, hunter character in this campaign. Aldrin Sov. Aldrin Sov. I don't know if it's Aldrin. I think it's Aldrin. But it's pronounced basically the same. This guy's a real bitch. I can't fucking kill him very easy. He's also aggroed because I've taken off his armor. So he's running at me. Yeah, and his his ability nullifies my my abilities. Yeah, see him fucking running at me, sprinting full pelt. Like fuck off, dude. Eh. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. I can't be doing all of this again. It's taken too long to get this far. Please don't. Here he is, here he is. Fucking, honestly, this is so fucking hard, man. Sally's gone to fight the boss single-handed. Good luck, Sally. Godspeed. Where are you, prick? There he is, there he is, there he is. Yeah, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, good lord. What are we at now? Four hours. Four hours. This because I'm doing it on legend difficulty, man. Here he comes. Get fucked. I need heavy ammo, man. I need heavy ammo, but I don't have any heavy ammo. I've already used it on the others. And I can't get through until I've killed this fucker. And if I die here, I have to restart this whole thing and I'm just gonna pull my fucking hair out. Especially since these guys are so cheesy, the way that they kill you, it's fucking irritating. See if I can plant a grenade at his feet. No, I can't. So if I get up close enough to him to do my melee attack, then he will 100% hit me and nullify my ability before I even get to him. Because that's just what he does. And if I get too close to him, then he'll do a grapple attack that will give me three hits that, uh, that 
drains my health essence and I just die, basically. It's like suck, suck, suck. Like it sucks my health away. You can hear him trying to do it behind me. Like an absolute fuck. And if I get close enough to him to do my super, well that's even worse, because then he'll just fucking fuck me up even more. Because he'll take the super energy away. No. Bye. Okay, right. I am actually going to do it, but only to do that and then run away. Do that, and run away, and do that, and then again, because I'm actually getting some good hits in with that, I think. Had to melee my way out of that, or he would have fucked me. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. The key is to try and get him right at a point where one of these trip mines might be able to explode in his face and then shoot the trip mine. But the problem is that the oh fuck, the angle that I need him to be at to get that off is never the right angle, and it's really hard to do it while you're running. So like, see, I have to shoot that angle, right? I can't at this point because he's be it's behind the rock. Like they've covered every single part of it. I can't even get, like, a nubbin on the end. So close to dead. Oh, that was close. Okay, right. I could just get that. Shit. See, tried to get it. Couldn't get it. Got it then. No! You fuck! Now I've got to do the whole thing again! Oh my god. I'm going to have to keep my uh, heavy ammo for that guy because I can't do it otherwise. I'll have to kill the other guys without it. I can't believe that, you fucking fuck. I was so careful and you were so nearly dead. Absolute shitlord. Fucking shitlord. I hate them. They are the worst enemy that they've ever put into this fucking game. Because they're just trolley. All they do is troll you. 
Like, oh, you thought you had abilities? Guess what? You don't now! Oh, fuck you, you prick. Okay, right. Can't get any range with my fucking thorn from here. We can do this, 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 we can do this. Like I said when I got to this mission, this was a pain in the ass when it was on normal mode. Doing it on fucking hard mode is not exactly what I would call joyful. I mean, I don't even get a radar. You see the top left? I'm supposed to have a fucking radar up there. You don't get a radar on uh, legend mode. I should have a radar constantly. Don't have one. It's okay. We can deal with this. I'm a big boy. Fuck my life. Oh, get fucked, you asshole. So a tracer shank is like a sniper robot, basically. And it has no critical spot. So you just have to plow damage into it, uh, and that's the only way you can kill the things. Regular old damage. Nothing special about it. I tell you what, I could super them. I could super them, couldn't I? Because this at least this super has projectiles. Give it a go, since we're this early into the encounter anyway. Might as well, right? It's arrow again. Okay, we've got arrow. guy going hiding again. A bitch. Get off me. You could tell that you've gone into an encounter for too long because the music stops. We're not quite at that point yet, but Jesus fuck is it close. Like we got that in the last part I think. Or maybe I'm just going deaf to the music because I've been in it for so long. There you go, get fucked. You prick. And there's more heavy ammo down. So that's good. Let's start getting rid of these so I don't need to run into them later. That was my downfall. I should have just gotten rid of them. I can fuck off. I can fuck off. You can fuck off and you can fuck off. Sometimes it comes down to a single pixel that you can even do the damage with to the to those trip mines. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay, good. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. The good thing is, if you do a finishing move on them, then you can kick them away and they'll blow up where you kicked them to. So that's pretty fun. Okay, there we go. 
go. This fucker running away from me again. Get back here, you prick. There you go. Get wrecked. Get riggedy wrecked. What? How did that kill me? Are you fucking kidding me? How was that an immediate death? Jesus fucking Christ, man. That killed me. Oh my god. I hate this mission! Oh, why well, I had to do this on Legend. Yeah, get wrecked, dies, exactly. Fucking fuck. I would clip that one myself, but I... My heart isn't in it right now. <laughs> I just want to fucking finish this mission. <laughs> Please, God, help. Right, okay, good. Done. Got those down. Now, this fucker can die, and then this fucker can get destroyed. Now we gotta go f kill some more bitches. Look at all of them grouped together getting immunity from the fucking dude. I swear to god these are controlled by humans because the AI in them is so fucking devious about how to live and stay away from shit. Oh my fucking god. Get off. Okay, right, now. Projectiles! 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 And projectiles! <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I've only died five times this mission. Only. That fucking dreg was still back there, you prick. Throwing grenade at me from over the top of the rock. Look at that prick. Resilient. Yeah, my ass. You're only resilient because you're hiding like a coward, you cunt. Right. Grenade. Get tethered. Got ya. Fucking got ya, finally. Okay, so killed. It's a it's a dead uh, it's a dead ghost. That's what it is, it's a dead ghost. Hmm. 
fucking swear to God. You fucking clipped my rage. <laughs> I respect it, Mars. I respect the hustle. <laughs> I respect the fuck out of you. <laughs> Get off me. Do not kill me. There we go. Dead. Great. I was just spamming the button to do that. I wanted to finish that guy so fucking much. Getting clear of some of them. No, you fuck off. Fuck off you. Fuck off you. Right, it's dead ghost. I gotta remember dead ghost. Fuck off. Right, you waited, didn't you, you prick? You got your health back up and then you came out. No, I hear you, you explodey bastards. There you are, you bastard. Thank God I could finish him because he was about to kill me. Wait, can I? I can get that one. Oh, that's got rid of that one. Good. I'm going to try and get this one from over here. Hopefully this won't kill me. Great. 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 Okay. So this whole area has been cleared apart from that one up there. Good stuff. Look at this. No mines. Just... Oh, for fuck's sake. There's more... If this one kills me, I swear to fucking god. Okay. Right, there we go. Lovely. Lovely. We're doing God's work. For all these fucking trip mines, they're gonna slow me down. Because they only slow me down, they don't slow the enemies down. Like the explosions, they actually cause the enemy damage. Um But the actual like the slowing ones, the ones that cause like a big white cloud. Those, those only slow me down. They do not slow the uh, the enemies. They're like immune to it. God damn it! That's the bullshit. He managed to run behind a tree in the time that the grenade took to get to him.
don't you fucking think about it. Fucking grenade coming in from over there. Jesus Christ. Not cool. Not cool, man. Oh, they're dropping so much heavy ammo for me now. If only I had all of this earlier. Oh, what wonders we could have achieved. Right, okay. Projectile. Projectile. Melee. Okay, keep that guy alive while I get rid of all the rest of these shits. I heard another one. Where are you? No? Maybe that was just the send of that one dying. Okay, so I've got dead ghost and arrow. Dead ghost and arrow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh fuck off. No, 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 no. I'm not dying here. I ain't dying here. Not again, you bitch. Bastard. Thankfully, there's a finite number of these enemies. They don't just keep coming. Or I would be fucked. I am pretty much fucked, but you know, not as bad. Fucked is not the same as fucked. It took all that just to get his shield down, that's it. Right, I'm just gonna fuck you up with this, because I'm getting sick and tired of these fucking captains. Give me some of this ammo. We're getting somewhere. I think we're actually getting somewhere. It's been four and a half hours. Not four and a half hours on this one mission. Don't know. Uh, you made me think of to Discord. Let me. We'll get. I'll get through this mission and then, as a rest bit, I'll bring it up on Discord. Um. Can I shoot from here? Oh, that's one. Got it. There we go. That one? There it is. 
Last one. Last one. Last one. Another one. Point in the same direction. Normally they'd like go backwards and forwards. Drew it because it popped into my head around the spade tattoo idea. Oh yeah. Got that. Okay, right. And then there we go. Okay, I think we are relatively clear. I could be wrong. Yeah, I am wrong. There's a few around there. Although I don't know whether they just spawned in or what. Need to get rid of that bastard, because if he does that to me again, I'll die. Look at all of these trip mines that have spawned. Oh no. Wait, need to go from back here so I don't kill myself again. That one. And that one. Oh. Okay, right. So it was Arrow and Dead Ghost, right? Arrow and Dead Ghost. Fuck me. I need to do this from over here or I'm going to die. Okay, so Dead Ghost. Arrow. You know what the shitter is? If I get those wrong and I misremember them, I have to do this whole fucking encounter again. Just because I got the wrong thing. I need, I had to kill both of those uh, two shanks again. And every single cunt around them. That's the shitter of this. God damn it. I fucking hate this encounter a little bit. Okay. Where has he gone? Where are you, you bastard? Hello? Hello? Oh, there he is. Okay, right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Where are you? Where have you gone? There he is. Take a good view of his shoulder as well. His shoulders are weak points. Fucking finally. Oh my Jesus Lord. That took so fucking long. Fuck. 
Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Woo! Fuck me. Fuck, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck me. Oh, yeesh. Alright, let's let's get this fucking mission over and then we can do that. Look for some art and watch that clip and then uh, get back on with it. I'm determined to finish this at the end of stream, but it's probably going to take me all fucking day to do it. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's just see if that was any good. What was that? Aspect Unbreakable. Uh, press to, uh, hold to summon a void shield and block a portion of incoming damage, gradually draining your grenade energy and granting an overshield over time. Increasing the grenade input or running out of energy releases a frontal blast. What's this one? Uh, arc energy increases your melee range and damage for a short time. And that one is shatter or defeat targets with abilities. Okay, so that one can swap out for that. Uh, and now I can trade in a grenade for an overshield. We love that. We love that. Uh huh. Yeah huh. We look to your commander for leadership, but he is made fragile by his doubts. Push him to fight the inevitable, and he will break. Let us lift the weight of suffering from his shoulders. Okay. You lift that weight, mate. Zavala cultivates a life in the shape of loss. Costs rendered in service to your traveler. His reward is silence. His god has nothing to give. When the fallen took his son's life, mm. the traveler would not return it. But we can. Mm. With its light, we can do anything. Geo! In exchange. You didn't miss much. I literally was stuck on the same fucking mission for like an hour. This is where he lived with his wife and son, isn't it? We were defending it from the Oh my god, I lost my shit on it so many times. Hello as well. The fallen will not defile my family's memory. Guardian, honor them with me. Defend my homestead. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm dead already. God damn it. I forget it's legend and I'm getting swarmed by enemies. I can't just stand out in the open and do shit all. I actually have to get behind cover and shit. It's so different to how I normally play. Normally I'm a hunter and I'm getting invisible every time I kill one of these bastards. So I just walk around invisible all the fucking time. It's, it's very easy, <laughs> I've got to tell you. It's so great to be able to just walk invisible around all the enemies. But, uh, I'm not invisible, so I can't do that now. I'm just a tank. Just a tank. Why the fuck are you telling me to turn back? Fuck off. I'm in the battle. Get the fuck off me, you prick. Nice are killing these captains when they don't have big old fucking shields. Right, I 
Can't do anything with him until I've uh, got some some of that fucking prismatic energy shit. Uh, where is it? It's up there. I'm off to slit a gizzard. Da -da 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 -da. That's better. Forgot to activate it. I'm losing my mind. Help me. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Right. Now there's going to be a big ass fucking robot that comes and tries to kill me. Speak of the devil. Get wrecked. Where did this other fucker go? There was another fucker that went up here. Where did you go? I can get fucked. Okay. I do like how, like, whenever you have, like, Zavala, for instance, who is the... He's the NPC over here who's, like, bunkered down and taking shots. So this is supposed to be his farmstead where his uh, family died, his uh, wife and son. Um, he is actually shooting the enemies. It's nice. Like in Call of Duty, they just sort of, in the campaign, they just sort of stand there and occasionally they'll fire a shot, but very rarely. And more often than not, it's not effective. So it's like, he's actually taking shots. Oh my god, he's being useful. Could you imagine it? So, this guy's got three damage periods. Uh, you have to break the front off it, and then you can get to its crit spot. That's here. And then it just starts firing fucking missiles at you, like it's this. So you have to just sort of head glitch it, where you... You let it see you enough that it can fire, and it won't move around. But not see you so much that it can actually get a shot and hit you with it. Oh, he's moved, he's moved, he's moved. I need to go. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to get on top of this fucking roof. So he's firing, but he's hitting the roof in front of me. Get off. Fucking explosive, bastards. Exploder shank, they're called. Fucking vandal sniping me from over the where? Over the where? <laughs> Fucking... You clipped the Obi-Wan thing? For fuck's sake, man. I respect it, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> right. Okay, right. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. God damn it, I need to reload. God damn it, I need to reload. Nope, oh, okay, I've run out. No, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, no, 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 you see that? See how his fucking high his body went? That just like, I went in for the... He's supposed to stay static here until I've slammed him down. But he was trapped in among the trees. So the moment I went in, he just fucking launched up and landed over there. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> oh, that was class. Jesus. Oh no, 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 no. You leave me the fuck out of this, you prick. Right, 
Oh, no you don't. I hear you, you bastard. Get off. See, that's what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to stand there. Okay. Machine gun go burr. No, 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 no. Don't fucking slow me again, you bastard. Oh, fuck yes, fuck this, fuck you. Oh, you god damn it! Oh! The overpowered ones. There are fucking six of them and they're swarming all around me. They've all got the slow move. So, like, if they, if they hit me with their grenades, then it basically freezes me in place and I can't fucking move anywhere. And then they all just come in and swarm me and eat my ass. And I did not consent. Oh. No, 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 no. Fucking ship shooting me as well. Okay, all right, get off. He's coming as well now, is he? Alright, well, let's just get up here then, I guess. Hey, you bastard. Guess what? Shit for brains. Strung you up like a kipper. Yeah! Get riggedy wrecked. Go on, blast the faceplate. Faceplate off. There we go. Got it. No! No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Getting surrounded. You're not my friend. Leave me alone. If you want to be my friend, you better fuck off. That was hardly even passable as a Scottish accent, but you know. We do what we can while we're being shot by cunts. Oh no! Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. There we go, got it. Okay, right. That's stage one done. Again. Again. Again, again, again. Now he's gonna move over there, and I'm gonna have the cover of the house again. Again, again, again. I'll not be made a fool of. I'll f fuck you. I'll f fucking Jesus Christ, Miles. I I respect the hustle. You you honestly you do me a favour because so. We went and uh, I was with, uh, you know, at the end of the uh, stream, when we did the last session on Thursday, when we raided into RB Romero's stream. RB Romero uh, gave me a shout out, and it automatically went to just a random clip. And that random clip was a very lackluster conversation that I was having with stream, telling them what my favorite Spanish phrase is. Which is, yo necesito una crema para el sal pollido en mis pelotas. But for some reason, I said it so slowly and like in a grey tone that it just came out 
really fucking unfunny in the clip. And I was like, for God's sake, why the fuck is that the clip? For fuck's sake, I'm dead again. Um, why the fuck would that be the clip that comes up with? That's just really fucking bad. And, uh, and yeah, it was really fucking bad. And I was left wondering, like, why do I have such awful clips? I've done a lot of fun, funny things and shit. Why the fuck am I not seeing any of them in the clips? So I went through and deleted, like, most of my clips because they're all just a bag of wank. And then Tats gave me a shout-out earlier in her stream. And the clip that came up was the only one that I had left, which was a fucking clip about, uh, what do you call it? Um, the pizza that I ate at the subathon. We had a forfeit for my subathon on my birthday a couple of years ago, where um, I was trying to raise money for Stonewall, the uh, LGBTQ plus, uh, you know, support and... Just, just basically, it's just a support charity for them, really, isn't it? it just, it, they do a lot of good work for them, but in a lot of ways, um, it's like advocacy and support and shit. Uh, well, anyway, they. Um, so I was doing a sub uh, subathon for them, and one of the forfeits was if somebody donated, like, uh, if they, if they, uh, what's the word? If they donated, like, gifted five subs. Um, or, like, donated the equivalent of £25, then, because that's basically what that would equate to anyway, then, um, uh, I would order a pizza, I would order the everything pizza. So the everything pizza is basically, um, you order a pizza from a restaurant, but you have every single topping that they have in that restaurant on the pizza. And, uh, that was what I ate. And there was, like, Four different kinds of chicken, and there was pineapple, which I hate on pizza, and it should not be on pizza. And um, the person that had donated it, they demanded that I get double pineapple on it, so I did. And I had olives, and I hate olives, and I don't think they had anchovies, but they had like, you know, I think there was tuna and stuff. It was just fucking awful. There was like over 20 different toppings on that thing. Should not have been 20 toppings on a pizza. And the clip was of that. Was of me with very short hair. Because uh, it had been buzzed off at that time. Two years ago. And I was just showing the camera, look at this. Look at this awful thing that I'm eating. Uh, and that was the clip. That was the clip. That was the clip. It was me just going like, guess what? This is what I'm eating now. And it's fucking awful. Uh, and yeah, it was fucking awful. Got to tell you. It was fucking awful. Um, it was... Like, if you imagine, like, half an inch of bread. Right? Half an inch of, like, base. Now imagine a full inch of topping. Like, an, no joke, an inch of topping on top of that. Like, full thickness topping. Uh, with all of the different types of chicken and pineapple and all of that shit, right? And it was so greasy that the topping like slid off the base when I was trying to pick it up. And you know how you like fold a pizza down the middle so that it like, it creases down the middle and you can like pick up the thing down the length of it so that all the toppings fall off? Yep. No. You couldn't do that. You could not do that. <laughs> it wouldn't, it didn't work. You couldn't fold the base because all of the all of the greasy meat was too thick on top of it. It just slid straight off. Right, I'm gonna throw this at these bastards. Get out of it, you pricks! Oh, here he is. Here he is. Fucking fuck knuckle. Hey, 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 hey. 
Right. That's it from you. That's absolutely it from you. Not having it. Get fucking fucked. Try and tangle me. I'll tangle you back, you prick. Okay, right. Let me throw this as well. No! Don't put me next to him. He's going to ground pound. Zavala, I was singing your praises earlier. You gotta fucking pull your weight, dickhead. You're supposed to be the fucking leader of the vanguard. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, they're all spawning over there now. Okay, right. Fuck this. I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Because if they slow me from a distance, it doesn't matter. But if they come up close and personal and do it, then I'm fucked. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that if I hit all headshots with this scout rifle, then it auto-reloads while I'm firing. By like a couple of bullets. So I end up firing a lot more. Which is very useful. I need to get rid of these bastard attendants because the attendants are the ones that are going to fuck me up. That other, that other tall guy, I don't really give a fuck about him. I'm going to easily fuck him up, but it's the, uh, it's the little bastards. The little freak. Hey you, you fucking freak. I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck you and I'll fuck your sister. I want to say get absolutely wrecked, but I don't want to. I don't want to uh, jinx myself. Look at all this fucking smoke coming out of here, isn't that cool? Look, he doesn't know how to attack me because I'm too far away. He's just stuck that way. How am I? Uh, I'm five hours into this campaign and I'm only halfway through. Because uh, I spent an hour just trying to get past one encounter. Because chat decided to vote to make me do this on legend difficulty. So I've only just finished it on my uh, hunter uh, character today. And I decided that I would stream doing it again because you have to do it. You have to do it individually for every single one of your characters if you want them to get all of the benefits of the campaign, like the new subclass and everything. Uh, well, class. Uh, no, no, yeah, subclass. So yeah, you have you have to do it. You have to do it for every one of your characters. So because I've got three characters, as that's that's the limit of characters you're allowed to have. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it again. But I'll do it on the Titan, I guess, because I've done it on my Hunter already. My playstyle is 100% Hunter. I am not a Titan whatsoever. The Titan is like a tank. Like a barbarian tank kind of a thing, you know. If you think about D&D terms. And I'm not, I'm, not that, I'm not that kind of player. I like to run around. I like to be elusive. I like to stay invisible for most of the time. And the fact that I have to just stand here and take all of this punishment... Or move very slowly is really bad. Kind of want this asshole to aggro me so that just so I can fucking kill him. Because he's not getting anywhere even close to me. It's kind of by design, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to fuck. I don't want to, uh. Well, yeah, I don't want to fuck, but also I don't want to uh, fuck around. Right, he's doing his fucking freeze ability. He's doing his freeze ability. Druid's going to face the boss alone. No, 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 don't, no, 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 no,
I got down to so little health from that fucking freeze explosion. Fuck off, you prick. Got him. Jesus Christ, that was so close. Now, I know that this is the end of this mission, but Jesus, it's fucking, it's fucking me. Nope. I noped the fuck out of there. Oh. What was that? I didn't want that. Oh, I got an overshield. That's the overshield. I didn't mean to charge it. I wanted to throw it. I wanted to throw the grenade. I didn't want to get a shield. Whatever. It's dead now. Hey, you son of a bitch. There are always more. Have that, you prick. Now, Zavala. You're a wangus. You're an absolute wangus. Why have you brought me all the way down here, you cunt? Thank you. Just... Just give me a moment. Yeah, I'll give you a moment. I need... to say goodbye. to say goodbye my house I used to think I'd give anything to bring you back but when the witness offered me an eternity here with you with our son I know you understand why I refused there are people who still need me Soon. Safi. I'm sorry. up commander it's a lie the witness shows us what it thinks we want and what has the traveler shown me we should go Bittersweet. Getting to see somebody that you cared about and lost and then having to walk away from them again anyway.
don't know how you're here. But... Uh, yeah, me too, big guy. Mm. Me too. And I thought we lost her when her ship went down. But she's tougher than that. She soldiered on. She... She... Losing Amanda was like losing you all over again. I'm done burying my friends. Life isn't about holding on forever. I mean, I was gone, mourned at peace, and now I'm here, opening old wounds, filling them with salt. Eventually, you have to let go. All that really touching, heartfelt speech, and there's me sat there in a fucking gimp suit. It's so fucking fucked. <laughs> Every time the camera turned towards my character, I was just like, oh, you, you're not reading the tone, friend. You're really not reading the tone of the room. Maybe take the helmet off at the very least so that you don't look like a fucking gimp mask. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. That was so funny to me. Fucking hell. Oh, that was the best. Oh. Okay, right. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it with this. Uh, there's not really any arms that I really want to do that on. Um, what are we here for? Yeah, that'll do. How many do I have? I've got three left. What are my priorities? Because that's only one down. Yeah, so those, there's two at least that need this. I'm, just try, I'm trying to min-max it, right? To get my power level up by the biggest margin each time. So I need to do this. I need to do this. Like by the largest numbers each time. So my helmet is nine one nine three five. So that's now the lowest of all of them. So that's where I'm gonna go next. There we go. And that's all three of them used. And now I'm one nine four four, baby! Yeah! Bra 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 gangster. The sound of a fart, apparently. Where the fuck did that even come from? Why are people talking about farts? How is Brap Brap a fucking fart? That triggered me. That really fucking triggered me. I was like, the fuck are you talking about? Like, like a crazy person. Wild eyes. I'll fucking kill you. No. I'm joking. I'm not going to kill you. I'll have a conversation with you. With knives? Listen. I've heard all kinds of farts. I'm a nurse. People fart on my hand while I'm cleaning their ass. I don't need to know what the sound of a fart sounds like. You, you dig? 
Fucking hell, step 10 of 34? Oh, I'm so dead. I'm gonna be here all fucking night, man. Coming together was hard for everyone. I thought it would feel right having the Vanguard back together, but... Tarj told me that Zavala had... This, this stream is gonna end up being a subathon, without me even meaning to be. It's just gonna end up being like a long ass stream. And it showed him what it would be like to But hey, I've got... It must have taken everything. Rich tea biscuits. That offer. Ikora has to dunk into mental state. Nutella. She's going to check in with him while the rest of us push closer to the witness's monolith. Time to do some trailblazing, Guardian. Right. So we get this. Oh. Okay. Right. Now, great. So, let's get some artwork. Mars? Oh, I get it. I get it. NB. NB. Like non-binary. Oh my fucking god. You just like imploded my brain. Oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Because it's an N... B, right? An N B, like N B, like non. But yeah, I get it. Right? Okay. Yeah. Great. I understand. I do understand. I do understand. I promise. I understand. Um. Right now, I also need to. Uh, find these clips. I guess. Eh? Where's the? No, that's not it. You fuck. I'm trying to clip, copy the fucking link, you fucking fuck. Right. Let me do it through... OBS isn't allowing me to copy that. So let me do it through this instead, through the through the Twitch browser that I've got open. God. That'll fucking do it. That'll fucking do it. Yeah, we'll feature that clip. And then, uh, what's this one? Yeah. It's pretty, uh, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty on it as well. And then hang on a minute. Let's get strung up like a kipper. <laughs> yep, yeah, that'll do it. You can't hear the clip through the stream, but you love my reaction. Oh, oh, right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, right, I I know why, I know why. Okay, right, I'm gonna need to do some, I'm gonna need to do some fuckery though. Uh, so volume mixer, and then actually change this to be media, there we go, okay. Right. 
Okay. So it would be. Hang on, let me move this onto the screen again. Get back here, you prick. There you go. Get wrecked. Get riggedy wrecked. What? How did that kill me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? How was that an immediate death? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that killed me. Oh my god. I hate this mission. <laughs> yep. 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 Yep, that did it. Yep. Yep. Ah, fuck me! Kid, you out there? Jesus fucking Christ. Look, yeah. Ignore me if you want. Yeah. I would, but you should know I'll hold it against you. Uh, come on, Zavala's supposed to be the strong, silent one. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to be, I don't know, I haven't figured you out yet, now that I think about it. What do you want, Cade? I want to talk about Amanda. Yeah, sure. She was a ray of sunshine on a cloud. I'm getting close to this radio. The biggest pain in the ass I'd ever met. A little gremlin of a kid. She tore the engine out of my sparrow when she was 12. See how, big it, see how big we can make this radio on the screen. I almost got her booted out of the tower until I noticed she disconnected everything. Clean. Yeah. She'd been stealing. Yeah. Tools, manuals, whatever she could get her hands on. She practiced how big on this fucking radio is. Junk sparrows. That says something about my ride. Yeah. Why oh, she was brilliant. Look at that radio. I told Zavala. What a magnificent radio. Job in the hangar, and I watched her grow up. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. Tell me. Just listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Amanda lived a damn good life exactly the way she wanted to. She went out being a hero. We mm -hmm. don't all get to do that. Some of us make stupid choices and die stupid deaths. Will you at least let me be sorry about that? <laughs> Life ain't about drawing out the living part. It's about making what you do while you're alive matter. Mm -hmm. So grow a spine and make her proud. Yeah. Yeah. See, so you see the radar that I've got on the top left there? Right where this arrow is now pointing to? That I'm supposed to have in every mission. But because we're doing Legend, I don't have it. So let's continue. Oh, fuck me. Let's do this. My fucking hair's moving all over the place. See, see my hair? How fucking long it's getting now? Like, look at this. like it goes into my mouth it's annoying I don't like it I like it back I like it out of the way <laughs> um, but it's not quite long enough to put into a full like ponytail yet or a, or a man bun, so I, can't, I have to deal with it. Uh, right. One of the good things about Destiny is that when you load into the mission, none of the NPCs or like recorded audio triggers until you move forwards. So that if you're like AFK for the start of the mission, then you're not going to miss any of the dialogue. So if I wait here for as long as I need to, it might eventually kick me for inactivity, but I could stand here otherwise almost forever and never hear any of the storyline, and then... Cade, you've known the commander a long time. You ever seen him like this? Worst I ever saw Zavala... I fucking know this game, man. Master. I fucking know this game. Didn't know the light could go out of an Awoken's eyes till then. 
at this. Look at the scenery as well. Uh, this is something else. He's scared. I've never seen him scared before. Not like this. I understand the fear. I feel it too, but I... I don't know what he'll do with it. Eris once told me fear is a knife. We can use it to hurt others or ourselves. But we also have the choice to sheathe it. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe when we get over this mountain, we can make sure no one gets all stabby with their feelings. <laughs> I fucking love Cade. I also like that quote, though. Fear is a knife and all that. Let me get up! Let me get up! God damn it. Fucking, I can't even fucking jump. This is why I hate Titans. If you get the wrong jump, like the wrong start to your jump, then your whole trajectory is off and you can't land it on the other side. That's why I prefer Hunters, because it's, it's just a double jump. It's just double or triple. Got some taken popping up of course I go for triple jump, because you like to have, you know, handle. you like to have two uh, backups. Hey now, who put who on their back when we threw down? <laughs> oh, come on. You caught me by surprise. Oh, well, I guess we're even then. Ah, I'm blind. No! Oh, there you go. Get wrecked. Haha! I can say it triumphantly now. Get wrecked! Nobody's here to kill me! Just explode now. Having Cade back, it's almost like he was never gone. Like the traveler knew it needed to make the fire team whole again. Uh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It's real nice to see you all again, but the traveler could have asked before yanking a guy back to life. Cade, I need to tell you something before we go any further. Meet me up ahead. Oh, ominous and cryptic, my favorites. Yes, let's. Hello. Hello. I'm beginning to think, you know, that the uh, the 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 head armor that I've put on, the helmet uh, that I've put on, isn't necessarily any better than the legs because a lot of the moves that I'm actually using are doing the stringed up thing, and that those legs, the the leg exotic armor, does actually have a better ability for that. Like my grenade strings people up, my uh, uh, transcendent grenade strings people up, and my super strings people up. So maybe I just go for the strings. Because it kind of feels like that's the way it should go, right? I'm going to have a slight boost to my light level as well. Let's try it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got one more light level. I did that. Fuck off, you bastards. Nobody likes you. Yeah, that worked out. Uh, 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 I work out. Right, volatile darkness. We have to throw this at the thing. Oh my fucking god. 
Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. No! Leave me alone! I said no! Piss off. Ay, 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 ay. There's a fucking goblin in here somewhere. Piss off, goblin, you prick. Kill the centurion. Do 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 do. Kill the centurion. Do 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 do. Is off. What was that side? I realise that side of my fucking headset was off. That works better. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'll move that over. Don't mind me just clearing up my desk space while streaming. It's only been that way for five and a half hours, and I've only just noticed now. The, the side to my headphones was completely off. Wind! I think my ghost just jizzed. Oh, I bet you did. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. I need... Right, I need to clip that. If no one else is clipping it, I fucking have... Jesus fucking Christ, that was gold. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Oh, Jesus. That was so funny. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I promise. I'm back. <laughs> I think my ghost just jizzed. Did you feel that? I bet you did. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. Girl wants to talk about how wonderful it is that the traveler brought me back. Let's get these uncomfortably close. It wasn't the traveler. It was me. I wished my way here on an ahamkara. On an Ahamkara, the dragon that twists wishes and dreams into waking nightmares. What the hell made you think that was? A Thank good you for idea? the exposition, there, Kate. We were out of options. I remember thinking that I wanted to do this because I had to make things right. And just before I took the plunge, I remember thinking about the Great Kate Six. No light, no ghost. Fearlessly staring up at me from the wrong side of his own gun. Then there you were. And there I was. I should have told you sooner. No, no, you did the right thing keeping this between us. Ikora and Zavala can't know the truth. Not right now. They need faith. Right. And I need a drink. You go on, Guardian, we'll catch up. Meh. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Mars. Thank you. Doing the God, the Lord's work today. Fucking due diligence on this shit.
I'm gonna die here. Oh god. Yeah, no, leave me alone. These things are gonna spot off for fuck's sake. What's they fucking did? <laughs> I felt that too, little guy. I bet you did. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was perfect timing. And I, I know that I've, I know that I've played this game already. Like I've played this campaign earlier today. I did not remember it being that sus <laughs> in that moment. <clears throat> that was not, that, that was not a paid actor. I promise. <laughs> oh my god. Vex are followers of the witness. So incredibly funny. It's all divisive. The same zealots from the Black Garden. I know all about the Black Garden. You sure you don't want to talk about why you're back? The why doesn't matter. Never did. Just stay focused and clear a path at the mountain. Whoop. Oh, look at them all die! That was so satisfying. Vex are great to fight against because they walk very slowly. So they it's really hard for them to, like, um, what's the word? Get around you? Like, flank you, that's the word. If, if, a, if a Vex is flanking you, it's because you didn't pay any attention. The ones that can move quick are... So this one up ahead, the Harpy, not not Harpy, sorry, the Wyvern. So the Wyvern is, um, they're all named after like fantasy creatures. So Goblin, Hobgoblin, Harpy, uh, uh, what's the word? I just said it. What is it again? Wyvern. And then there's another one. I think it's a Minotaur. So they're all Minotaur, Minotaur, whatever. They're all, uh, they're all, the, the, of this robot race, they're all named after, um, those. They're all named after fantasy characters. So, yeah, the, if you shoot their heads off them, then they can run fast. Um, they, they just lose all, like, inhibition and run straight for you. Um, if you fight a minotaur, a minotaur can, um, what's the word, can teleport. So it will get closer to you by teleportation. Uh, a wyvern will get closer to you by wyvern or wyvern, whatever you pronounce it. They're like personal choice, I don't mind. I like wyvern. But yeah, that'll get close to you by it leaps up in the air and does like a dive attack onto you. Uh, and there are there are other there are other creatures in that race, but I forget what they're called. I forget what they're called. Not important. But they're all like they're all Listen, basically like right fantasy now, I just character. Well, beasts normal. like fantasy okay, monsters. Blasting Vex feels really, really normal. Just know that the traveler hasn't abandoned you, Cade. Even if you can't use the light, the light is still part of you. I don't think my wish could have brought you back without it. The whole you could so the things you don't even realize. The law behind the Vex is that they are a hive mind. They have control of time and space, so they can like travel through time and all of that shit. Uh, and some of the some only some of them are able to, but but yeah, they they can basically do that. And they they didn't really explore it very far, but I think that basically the thing that connects them all is the radiolarian fluid. And radiolarian is like the white milky stuff that comes out of their insides. Maybe that's why my ghost jizzed. <clears throat> Who's to say? Right, so shoot that, it starts the encounter. There's a monitor, there's a monitor, there you go. So they, they fire heavy cannons uh, and then they teleport close to you and fuck you up. End your whole career. Uh, right, let's go Super Saiyan. Can we 
get around here. I can't. Move. Great stuff. Yeah, I kept when when I first started playing um, Destiny, I kept on calling them Geth. You know, G E T H. Fuck's sake. I kept calling. Uh, that's clearly not a good place to spot uh, because there's no cover. Uh, yeah, I kept calling them Geth, like in um, Mass Effect, because uh, they're a robot race as well that just walks around. But the the thing is, they're not. Uh, Vex are not canonically robots. They are organic. There's something inside of them that is organic. Um, and that's the fluid, the radiolarian fluid and all that. Uh, and they're a hive mind just because they're all connected by that fluid, but they didn't really explore it. They've had a lot of expansions that have had to do with the, the Vex, and they've never really gone into much detail about it. The problem with Destiny is, like, if you want to know lore behind something, then you have to look in the Grimoire. And the Grimoire is, like, it's like a just a bunch of like text documents inside of the game where like if you want to know more about it you can go in there but you don't it's not a necessary part of the game for you to like deal with that you know you don't have to learn it to be to know what the game is doing you can still enjoy surface level content it's just i quite like a lot of that sometimes Because some of the characters and their origins are pretty interesting. Like the Drifter is pretty cool. No, leave me alone. Yeah, the so the Drifter's like a non. DVD does that, yeah. So he's so the Drifter is like this non guardian, right? So he was never given the power of the light. He was never given a ghost. Um. He exists outside of it, but he also, uh, he gambles, and the whole thing, his whole thing is that you, he wants you to, uh, gamble against the other, he wants you to gamble against the other, uh, guardians, and go sort of PvP. So there's one of the modes that he does, uh, that's like his whole, like, NPC character is basically, like, runs that whole thing, that's the, that's the backstory to that whole game mode. And it's basically, um, uh, what do you call it? It's basically like, oh, there's the other one, Hydra. Yeah, so Hydra is another one of them. Um, so yeah, the, the whole game mode is basically two teams of four. Both need to uh, kill enough enemies. Once you've killed an enemy, they drop these like motes of darkness. You pick up those dark motes and you bank them in the center of the map. Once you've banked them, uh, when you get to, like, past 100 moats banked, uh, and if you die, then you lose all of them, like, they get dropped on the ground. Um, so if you, uh, once you've banked 100 of them, then uh, it, it unlocks your boss, and there's, like, different things that you can do to weaken the boss faster, but essentially you have to kill the boss before the other team does. Uh, but you can also invade the other team's map through a portal, and if you do that, then you can kill the enemy team. Um, which is a lot of fun. So if you kill the enemy team, then they drop all of their motes of darkness and they get put back. And if you kill one of them while their boss is out, then it heals the boss by a little amount as well. This is going to kill me. This is absolutely going to kill me. Why am I being so reckless? Have I learned nothing? Right, so I've got triangle on one of them and then wedge on the other. So triangle and wedge. Hey yo. No, no, don't touch me there. This is my no, no square.
I've got wedge and triangle, but I can't get in there to do anything about it. Right. Let's just do this. Get confused, bitch. Get confused, bitch. Why is it consuming my grenade? I don't want you to do that. I'm going to take off that thing. Because I'm, I'm not able to throw a fucking grenade down. Is this me versus people or me versus computer? I'm still versus computer at the moment. The The game mode that I'm talking about, though, you are both against the uh, computer and against people. So you're trying to kill your own uh, ads while an enemy team tries to jump in and sabotage your ability to do that. Uh, right, I need to change my thing on this because it's fucking me over. This one. Uh, yeah, that can change to that again. I think it's called Gambit. Yeah, I think that's the game mode. It's, it's Gambit. Um, and yeah, it's all to do with the Drifter and his, like, how he's involved in it and all of that. And he's got a really, like, fucked up like character design though like his he doesn't look human like his face looks sort of weird like like he's like they they did his lips weird it's like his his lips look really odd odd like it's not based on a real human being you know like why did you do that Okay, right. So it was triangle and wedge. So the two left. Triangle wedge. Right. Oh, bugger me. You know, while this might be hard doing it on, on a Titan character, if I was doing this on the Warlock, I would have pulled my hair out by now, because I'd be stuck on the first fucking mission. Warlocks are squishy, and slow, and don't have a great big health pool, and their abilities are mid. They are not good abilities. They're sort of like middle-of-the-road character. They're neither tanky, nor do they cause a lot of damage, nor do they do anything, really. They're just sort of shit. Um, and their jump is not the same as the Titan. So the Titan has got like a boost that will... Like if you start it mid-jump, then it will still send you upwards. Like that, right? So you could like leave it late and then do it and it will still keep you on the same level. Whereas if you do it with a... If you try to do that with a Warlock, it takes whatever trajectory you're on at the point that you press the second jump. So if you jump and then you start heading downwards like I was then... Then when you press the jump, it will keep you going downwards. Like, what's the point? go. That's doing better now. Wait for my health to regen. Super and then throw it. Get wrecked. 
Oh, wait. I need to get up. No, I need to get up. Dickhead, get up. Get up. There we go. Finally. Oh. One of the first things my ghost Sundance said to me was that I was capable okay. of greatness. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's you water your plants. In what way? Yeah, get You're some, you little green fucker. I bet you're thirsty, aren't you, little bitch? I bet you've been waiting for Mars to come by and water you for ages. Yeah, fuck you. Now you're getting some water. Does that, does that get you in the frame of mind to... The water plants, yes, no. Where is this one gone? Hey, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh right, okay, yeah, let's keep going then I guess. We we Okay, there we go. Right, they'll be lovely. Okay, yeah, got that. Get out of it, goblin. We don't like you. Nobody likes you. I need to record enough of me to set just like one of your like well I mean you could just like take a clip couldn't you I don't even know what to what would I even say in that oh no it's this fight oh for fuck's sake I remember this fight whatever you're doing it's pissed off everything in the wall get blasting guardian we'll cover your back yeah this isn't even just straightforward getting in and out you've got to actually like there's like there's like a platforming puzzle on the sides that you have to do before you die. This is going to be a bitch. And I've got to make sure I kill every ad in here before I even come out. Because otherwise I'm fucked. Okay, right, yeah, got that. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, got that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm No, why are you hurting me? Leave me alone. I've never done anything to you. Never done anything to you. All I ever did was shoot your friends. No! This is unreasonable. That's what that is. It's unreasonable. Oh, fuck off. Teleporting on top of me like that, you prick. You lousy prick. I'll fuck you up. You wee bastard. Oh, fuck off. Freaking teleporting on top of me like that, you asshole. Whoa. No! God damn it! This fucking guy. <clears throat> can I can I do that? Can I get to it? Hello? Oh, I can still I can hurt it. Never mind. Alright. Reload, reload. This is the reloading dance. Okay, there we go. Hey, get off me, you prick.
almost sound like you're having fun. Aren't you? <laughs> Get off me. No, leave me alone. Yeah, bitch. Guess what, Harbinger? Nobody likes you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're getting a bit close now. Don't like this. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! You fucking fuck me up! No, 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 no! How does that go around corners like that, you cunt? Fucking yeah! Just fire your fire your ability wherever on the fucking map you want, you bastard! Because it doesn't matter, because it's gonna hit me anyway. It's fucking OP, you son of a bitch! Come here, you. Right, now, uh, I need to throw this here, and it didn't work because someone was stood in the way. Love that. Thank you so much, Acolyte, you son of a cunt. Get the fuck out of here, you bastard. Stagger at least? God damn it. Okay, right. Wait for it. Wait for my health. Now go. Okay, so this I actually need to get done in a certain time frame, or I'm fucked. Don't, now's not the time. Don't be reloading. Now's not the time. Again, now's not the time for reloading, you asshole. Right, so it's a wedge. Wedge, 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 wedge. Ow! Do not with the pulling! Get fucked! Asshole. Lovely. Great stuff. I like it. Get lost, you prick. I need to stand on this, don't I? Okay. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Cleared the fucking room. So it was wedge and arrow. Wedge and arrow. I think it was wedge, right? Where is it? That's triangle. Don't want that. That's wedge. 
Anybody off the ledge? Oh yeah, is that right, you bastard? You think so? Get fucked. That's arrow. There it is right there. No! Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! I knew that some fucking bunch of ads were going to spawn. Should have cleared these bastards first. Oh, god damn it. I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. I'm dead. Alright, GG! I need to kill everybody in the room before I even go for those things. God fucking damn it, I hate those bastard attendants. All they ever do is OP me. Every fucking one of them. Just, oh, I'm going to grab you and I'm going to pull you towards me because I'm a cunt. I'm aware. I'm aware that you're a cunt. You don't need to tell me. You know what? Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. And when I look at you, I see a cunt. So, you know, makes fucking sense, right? Urgh, get away from me! Okay, great. Got him. Ah, you bastard! You can fuck alone. Boom! It's like feeding the ads to me piecemeal, bit by bit. God damn it. Okay, dead. I do not want to do this. Do that. You've made a clip for watering your plants. Okay, right. Run, 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 Yeah, it's it's auto reloading my scout rifle. If I get if I get more and more crit hits, then it uh, auto reloads my scout rifle. It's like adding three bullets to it every every foot so often. It's good. This this gun actually I think is from a raid. Um, it's one of the it's one of the guns from the uh, the Vault of Glass. I think it's called. Yeah, Vault of Glass. It was the first raid they ever put into Destiny. And I've got the gun from it. Because I'm so fucking elite. I'm so fucking elite. <laughs> fucking. Come on, you bitch. I say I'm fucking elite, and then I'm gonna die like a second later. Right, 
where to go. There we go. That's the ship. I'm gonna fucking die. Don't jump, you prick! Why are you jumping? I'm pressing spacebar to get you out of the jump and onto the floor. And you fucking stay in the air anyway, like a cunt. God. Damn it! This is one of those fucking missions, man. This is one of those fucking missions. The fact that I'm doing this solo is such a fuck as well. It's such a fuck. It's just a fuck. And then a bunch of fucking ads are going to show up and they're all going to be shit. And this takes forever to reload sometimes when you really don't need it to. Oh, piss off you bastards. Nobody likes you. Oh damn it! This fucking boss just shows up when he like unannounced and unwanted, all the fucking time. Get out of it! You lousy prick! I'll fuck you up! I'll fuck you! And I'll fuck your sister. Bastard! You bastard, man! Reload, you prick. Kill me. Why? Why are you spawning directly on top of me, you cunt? And why did that double jump me? Shot in the eye by the big evil guy, that's destiny. If you try to move to safety and he chases you down, that's destiny. If you shoot him in the head, but it's you that ends up dead, that's destiny. If you keep firing brass, but he fucks it you in the ass, that's destiny. Fucking the fuck out of me. We've been going for six and a quarter hours. Please, God, help me. Pretty sure I'm going to lose sanity. I'll probably lose a job. Maybe one of my vertebrae. 
I don't think there's any end to what I might lose. I might lose my car. My front teeth. This reminds me of a shootout I had on Venus. Wound up stuck under a cyclops for two hours. You almost sound like you're having fun. Aren't you? No, you're going to do your fucking move, and I don't want you to do your move while I'm getting fucking targeted by the big boss. Fucking shielded by his immunity shield. Are you fucking kidding me? You're a little bitch. You know that. You're a little bitch. Fuck you and your whole career, you son of a bitch. Look at him. Hiding behind the big boss's fucking shield like a little bitch. Look, he's there again. He's doing it. Look. It's not cool, bro. Hey, you, fuck it. Yeah! Get wrecked. Okay, now I need to pick up that. Destroy one of these. Go inside, kill the fucking enemies. Yeah, I'll just kill them first. Some engrams. Yeah, I get frozen, you bastard. What is it? Wedge? Great. Take a fucking wedge. Yeah, get wrecked. Is there another? Yes, there's a lance. Great. Fucking end this shit. There you go. You're dead. Okay, there we go. Right. Getting somewhere at least. Let's get this shit. Throw it into that shit. So it was Wedge, right? It was Wedge. <coughs> wedge and Triangle. Okay, Wedge and Triangle. Let's get that shit thrown. Get 
That shit thrown. Wedge and triangle. Wedge and triangle. Wedge and triangle. That shit thrown. Fuck off me. I need to kill all of these bitches or I'm gonna die again. Wedge and triangle. That's not it. And that's not it. It's both of the other side. Come on. Wedge. Triangle. No, we don't. Itchy shins. Right, I'm going to take refuge inside of here, I think. I've not had to do this before. Oh, you fucking fuck. See how he just pulls me the fuck out? Literally just got inside here in the cover. Get that fucker. Get that fucker. He's nearly dead. Oh my god, I fucking got it, finally. I'm picking up a massive new energy signature. Ghost, do you feel that? What is that I'm missing? Do. The vest must go. have been okay, obscuring whatever. it. It's this way. Yeah, I've got I've got both of I've got that in in nineteen forty. I don't need it in the other. I don't need those either. I don't need that, but I'll take the other one. Six infusion modules now. Or upgrade modules, rather. Oh, same deal. Uh, yeah, I can get rid of that. And then 1941. I'm okay with. Yeah, we'll take 141. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, wait. I'm going to put that on the sleeper simulant. No, sleeper simulant's very situational. Doesn't really work out very well most of the time for that. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's fucking go. Hey there, cowpoke. I think it's about time we had a conversation. Hey, You've not more, spoken to your conscience in a while, others. have you? I meant what I said about keeping this wish business between us. I won't betray your trust, Cade. I know, but I gotta say it out loud. 
Hey. This is it. The energy signature is coming from over there. Oh my God. The Remember this from the uh, cutscene at the start of this campaign expansion? Oh my God. Or at the start of the campaign. This is where I found your bones, Guardian. Where I brought you back for the first time. Yeah. This is where everything started. Yeah. There's an intense amount of light welling up from this fissure. Yeah. That light. That's what it used to be like here. Pure and powerful. The, the, the golden feeling you get when you're holding a winning hand. Just forever. Yep. Yeah. Void Super! Yeah! I've got a new new super. Yeah! Wait. Taken. We have taken incoming. Guardian, let's show them what the traveler gave us. I'm dead. Thankfully, this part is not a darkness zone. You can just respawn as much as you want. Also, you get supercharged super quick. So, the, the whole point is that the, they've given us new super abilities. And they want us to be able to use them. So, they give us these moments in every campaign where it's like, Oh, yeah, no, you get this super triumphant moment where you get to finally use your super and all of that shit. So it doesn't really matter if you die, uh, because you're going to end up with a bunch of shit anyway. So, like, look at all these axes, and your teammates can pick these up. Apparently, I've just read. So that's cool. So you can like throw three axes, and then each of your teammates can pick up one of those axes, including you, and you just lob them at people. Um, which is pretty sweet. But, this is not the prismatic thing, this is the light. So this is like, if you want to not have your prismatic customization, we'll give you a cool super. If you do want it, you need to find a new super. Like, look at all the damage that I did to that beast. Who gives a rat's ass when we can just live forever? Keep throwing it. Look at the axe swinging through the air. It's so cool. Throw. 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 Look at it. Look at how cool this axe is. Oh my god. Look at it. The traveler's still with us. Every step of the Whoa. way. Well, you weren't wrong, kid. You could just Whoa. lose a little tact. Because I could too, for that matter. Maybe Pretty that fucking cool. Right to try meditating. If Pretty we fucking cool. The noise, you think we can open a line of communication with the traveler? Something like that. Oh, you but can you put it in this. Yes, again. well, I'll do that then. Prismatic Titan, but then you can also do Thunder Crash. Oh yeah, I don't like Thunder Crash. No, Thunder Crash can suck a dick. It used to be a uh, ground pound, where you stood, and you could just like jump, and it would go a little bit further. But then they brought in this other version of it, where you would fly through the air like Superman and arc it down. That is so fucking just janky to control i can't be asked with it so i'm gonna go with this new one instead the new one seems cool this is a sign something's changed in the guardian new power i can feel it 
I'm gonna go and grab another drink. I will be right back. But without a plan on how to use them, we're as good as dead. Worse. But we can't overlook the fact that it is helping us directly. It gave us Cade. And it's not enough. When I was at my family's homestead, something reached out. A voice, a new voice, calling to me, trying to get my attention. That wasn't your wife. I know. It was a statue draped in a veil, a relic of the witness. What are you suggesting? You've seen the witness. You know what it wants to do to us. Maybe it's imprisoned others like that. No. It's a trick, Zavala. The witness is weaponizing your grief and desperation against you. What do you know about grief and desperation? Except how to turn it off. That's not fair. Listen, Commander. Cade thinks we still might be able to get insight from the Traveler. Commune with it, like Ikora was trying to. The Guardian received a vision before. Maybe they will again. Cade's out there right now, looking for a way. And when that fails... Then we'll think of something else. Hmm. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just trying to hotkey something to mute. Uh, to mute with. Uh, so I guess. Don't really know. F12. Let's try that. Hey, it works. <laughs> hey, lovely. Uh, all right, let's see how far we've gotten Traveler with this. Chose, you, chose us. We were led here, shown where we first met, where you rose in the light. These new powers you've been able to harness since we arrived, they're growing stronger. You have too. The Traveler is empowering us to be its champion. Zavala may be dead set on striking at the witness, but I think Ikora is right. We have to commune with the Traveler. We have to have faith. We have to have hope. We can't let the Witness pick us apart. The fire team needs you to anchor them, like we do for each other. Let's catch up with Cade and crew and find a way to make contact. not the same as he was before you. Went out in a blaze of glory? Go ahead, you can say. Wait. Did someone join our call? Guardian. We were just discussing Zavala's crisis of faith. I know you feel it too. He's wandering. Crisis? The man lives and breathes crisis, Ikora. He's having a hell of a week, but I mean, he's the commander. 
Our friend is hurting. The traveler restored our family, while the witness dangles the family he lost in front of him. He needs something valid, a reason to believe. Well, I know about that. Look, there's a good chance this bet doesn't pay out. I I'm not looking to get into the false hope business. All hope is false if we let it die. Please, Cade. We have to succeed. For me, for Zavala. Well, when you put it like that, how can I say no? Pro, Cade, if you can read us, we're coming with you. What's the plan? Those big cracks the button that I've hotkeyed to uh, out of them like mute and unmute is... Um... ...is also... ...hotkeyed to Steam. Yeah, let me give you this audio back. I couldn't figure out where it was, but maybe you'll have better luck. It's got to be tucked away somewhere deep. Keep comms open. This place is screwy. Affirmative. Good luck out there. All right. Hmm. We'll try F11 instead. Okay, doesn't look like it's not key to anything else, so we should be all right. Just needed to learn how to mute and mute and unmute my microphone for stream. Because I already have the pedal to do it to Discord, but it's different with this, isn't it? not it. I can't remember which way I went. Like, so, the point is I need to find the Lost Sector entrance. This is the symbol for Lost Sectors. I can't remember where the Lost Sector entrance is though. Is this it? No. Lost Sectors are like, um, when you go out into the world, uh, like as part of the whole MMO aspect of it, where you like, uh, you know, going in the open outside to just decide what you want to do. Um, there's like areas where you can, there's areas where you can, um, I think we found something. Uh, just Resident like enter a, a secret cave basically, and it will have a bunch We're of enemies inside. Out. Roger Dodger. So far, nothing out here. But when I close my eyes, clear my head, 
Ekora said it was like she could hear the traveler screaming. I can feel it. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the songs of Blah 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 blah. Up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Third time's a charm. Halo physics. We fucking love halo physics. Whoa. Tangled web we weave. Are you fucking kidding me? He just bounces me off the wall like a fucking squash ball and into the hole. You son of a bitch. Last one. Oh, there. Okay. Ow! Why? I'm getting tossed more than a middle aged man in a massage parlor. Chill the fuck out. I didn't ask for a tossing, so please don't give me one. Yeah, bitch. Nice little bow. Nice little bow as he came in. Nice little bow. You see the bow? The bow was really nice. Immunity. Ow, let me run, please. Let me run, please. It's 
the phalanxes. The fucking phalanxes keep fucking. Let me move. God damn it. Fuck are you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that it? You gonna scream a little and cry a bit? Is that right? Yeah, that's what I thought. You little bitch. Ow, ow! Getting real pissed off with you fucking around here now. I forgot I had this super. With the new axe. It was pretty fucking good. It did really well, considering I wasted half of it. And didn't even throw it at the bad guy, like, to begin with. Just the weapon on its own was pretty fucking awesome. I have no complaints, friend. We found one of the fissures, but the light feels like it's being strangled by something. Held back. The witness. Tightening its grip Whoa. on the traveler. Well, I ain't given up yet. I'm gonna look up the mission list the for this so we can keep track of where they are. For you, ghost. It's a bit of a backtrack, but it's a strong signal. Thanks, Glint. We'll check that one out next. Hmm. Huh? Well, this, this is, uh, quest list. Tried that instead. Don't give me just the campaign missions. The whole quest is more than just that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Google can suck a dick. The energy signature Glint detected is somewhere in this region. There's no clear path. Let's see if we can find a route. Look at this, I've got a sparrow. I can go on vehicles now. Besides how to help? Yeah, boy! Yeah! Ain't fair, I'm the only one who got a Zoid bike. Zoid bike. Oh fuck, about to fall off a cliff. Where am I supposed to be going? Is this it? Um, so the problem that I'm having with trying to look up the mission list names so that you can like keep track of which missions we're doing and when is that uh, the whole campaign is a mixture of not just missions but of there's, a mi there's missions and then there's strikes and then there's this which is more like a a quest out in the open where you go and try and find these lost sectors it's not a mission it doesn't count as a campaign story because you're in the open world you're not actually doing a closed story with linear path right it's still linear it there's still something that you have to do but it's in the open world so it doesn't quite count so the problem that i'm having is trying to find the list of like every quest objective is only bringing up campaign list and that's not helpful there's 34 steps in this quest it's only giving me seven don't about you but seven is not the same as 34 seven is not the same as 34 i might be shit at maths but seven is not the same as 34 
this is hive down here. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Hold up. You told me Sabathun's glitter bugs weren't working for the witness. They aren't. I don't know how they even got here. This is at normal difficulty as well, I think. Because it's just open world, so they're not... Uh, it's not... It's not scaled this to be... Legend difficulty as well, so this is actually just alright. This is like, as easy as it would be at normal difficulty. Which is such a fucking relief. Um, but I know the name of the last mission. The last mission's name is Iconoclasm. See, look, my gun has got 35 bullets in a revolver that should only take 9. This is the beauty of this special weapon of mine. It's got 40 now. I think the max is 40. How much easier this is now, oh my god, it's so much nicer. Oh please, if we had have just done it this way, it would have been finished already. I swear to god, we would have actually finished this campaign by now. Um, this is how much extra difficulty there is. Uh, okay. Oh, it's here. Yeah, that's, uh, so it's not Vex, but the, uh, there's a different creature here called an Ogre and then the Zacolites. So it's all very fantasy-based. All very fantasy-based. Sometimes I just like going third person, you know? And then obviously the wizard in the middle there is a... That's a big fantasy bullshit thing, you know. Ayo, ayo. Get wrecked! Oh dear, hello. Could you not? Oh, pater, 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 pater. You pathetic. Whoa. There we go. And there she goes again, going fucking invincible. God damn it! I think I would have fun doing a webcomic series about a superhero whose powers only existed in very conditional, like, very specific conditions. Like, I am invincible, but only while I'm drinking soup, right? That would be funny. Like, can you imagine running into battle, but having to stop by the microwave first and having it by, like, a straw on your hip? You know, like a camelback? Like a, like a camelback with a straw that, like, leads to your mouth, right? But instead of that, it's soup. And then, like, I don't know, at some point you have to take a breath and that's when, like, 
you get caught by a bullet and whatever, and now the the enemy is like super confused. Like, I don't get it. Why are you suddenly not invincible and then you're invincible again? That's so weird. Heard an engram, where did it go? Oh, it's gone falling down in a fucking hole, hasn't it? My loot! My loot is in the hole! And if I try and go down there for it, I will die. Oh my god. Thank god for the postmaster. It used to be that you'd just lose them. But since then they've brought in the postmaster and now you actually do get your shit. We found the source of the light <sighs> Cheers. Restrained like the others. I don't think it's what we need. Well, you know what they say. Third time's the charm. You heard him, Guardian. Glint has one more telemetric we can check. And if the witness has corrupted that. <clears throat> hey, now. No spiraling into despair. We don't have that kind of luxury. Let's rendezvous at Glint's coordinates. Figure out what to do when we get there. Oh. I'm in one of those, like, Garnier Fructus adverts, right? Yeah, where it's like a woman in a bikini with really long hair. That's me right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Under a waterfall, right? Super fucking this is the last gender one. bias. Let's get looking. Sexist, misogynist bullshit. When we first came through the portal, we received a vision. Was it the same for you, Crow? Women will only buy shampoo what if we see? make it look like they're half naked underneath a waterfall. An orchard of silver wings, darkness infecting Fucking the fucks. traveler, and light. Rawr. So much light. It shows you what you need to see. Diametric right. forces your guardian now wields in harmony. I think there's two story missions and a strike after this. Uh, and uh, from memory, the last story mission is a bitch. So yeah, I'm not not a hundred percent looking forward to that one. I forget where the entrance to this is, but it's around here somewhere. Is it here? No. See, there's the symbol, so I know that it's here somewhere, but it's just finding where the actual thing is. Because it's a real bitch. Is this it? No, I have a feeling it's like up a rock ledge. A rocky ledge? Is it here? Is this it? Oh, there it is, there it is, it's right there. We're here. Great. Super smashing great. I, I love it. Fisher, our last opportunity to commune with the traveler. Hey, yo. I think the reason that you are that that it's not doing it at like legend difficulty in the lost sector is because normally in Destiny. If you do a Lost Sector and hard mode, you have to have completed it in normal mode first. And then you get the option to do it hard mode after. So that's why it's like... Uh, it's why it's giving it to me normal first, because that's just the flow of things, right? But you must hurry. The Taken are converging on what you see. Get fucking fucked, you bastard. <laughs> Nearly fell. Nearly fell, didn't I? But I didn't fall in the end because I'm fucking elite. Even when I spin off and go in the wrong fucking direction, I don't fall. Because I'm too fucking good. Yeah, get fucking tangled, you prick. I'm gonna go and do this. And again, you asshole.
so much easier in normal mode. Hua. 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 Alright, I had two balls on the way over to me. This is how easy it is at normal mode, you just fire and forget. Yeah. Is there a light pool around anywhere? Because this guy's in red and I can't fucking... Oh, there it is, it's up there. I can't move anywhere because I'm slowed. Fuck off. Fuck off with the slowingness. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, get fucking fucked, you fucks. Yeah. You can get fucked, because I know you're going to try and blast me off the fucking edge, and you'll probably succeed. So, take that. You fucking arse candle. Alright, take a shield. Get confused. Come at me, bro. Try and get some. Can't get some. Because he's too confused. Haha. <laughs> oh, hey up. Shoe jump scare. Do you mind? So you're telling me that I don't need to focus on any of this environmental shit, or any ads. I just need to kill that fucker. Nice. I love it when they don't put in the, like, hard boundary to being able to shoot a person like that. That's pretty fucking cool. Hey, give me, them, give me my shit. This one is not your enemy. What is going on? How did you get here? Infiltrated the Black Fleet at the Witch Queen's command. God. Drawn here when the vessel passed. She moves around like a crack addict. The sky Can't keep still. Light calls to this one. The gardener's touch is here. Brimming with life. Gardener? You mean, the Traveler drew you here? Are we not all reborn for <clears throat> If this is a trick... The sky is too bright here for shadows. 
course of deception. Do the gardener's bidding. This one will not interfere with its message. Kate, Crow, we're clear for you to transmat in. This fissure hasn't been infected yet. Oh, this is a good cutscene. Uh, I'm going to shut up for this cutscene. Enjoy. I don't hear anything. Mind if I try? Oh, what is it? It's, uh, it's a child's voice. Are you serious? Yeah, no, it's whispering something. Crow. Crow. Why did you murder the handsomest hunter in Seoul? <laughs> Bastard. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. You hear that? Come on. Knock it off. No, I'm serious this time. No, I... <gasps> Devotion. Sacrifice. The guardian tenants. Hi. Santez? Is that really you? I'm what you wanted me to be. I don't understand. I know. You've been here before. You won't be here again. You just don't remember. You can't. What comes from the light returns to the light. Well, what if what I want is to stay here with you? If that's the fate you make. But you're always with me, Cade. Guardians, ghosts, the traveler. We're all connected. We're. Devotion, bravery, sacrifice. The guardian tenants. I, I, I know. I, I know. I know. I heard you the first time, but you forgot one. It's. <laughs> No, 
indicate what happened. What did you say? Don't touch me! Don't! Don't touch me! Don't! Oh. See what I mean? Amazing cutscene. Fucking amazing cutscene. I'm glad you talked to your mom. I guess I need to go? Do I go? Oh, it's gonna end anyway. Doesn't matter. I saw her. I saw my son dance. The witness kicked me out before I could get anything else. Take your time. You can tell us more when you're ready. Luzaku, thank you. What will you do now? Contemplate. Protect. Plan. This one's place is here. Defiant to the all aged lie. We all have our purposes. You're staying to protect this place? And your kin. They attacked us. We are all our own individuals. This one cannot control them. They do as they feel is right. This one does not agree. We should get back to Zavala and Ikora and tell them what we found. Mm. Walk in the sky. Guardian. Mm. Bad guy turned good. Doesn't agree with the bad guy tenets. Crazy. Couldn't, couldn't be. Couldn't be. Alright, let's have a look at the mail. See what fell in the fucking hole. Oh, just a regular Angram. Right. I don't know what to say. The message Cade relayed. Devotion. Bravery. Sacrifice. We all know the Guardian Creed, and... The last word is death. I was hoping for more. I know you were too. I've been turning it over in my head, trying to understand what it might mean. Cade's vision showed him what he needed to see, told him what he needed to hear, what we needed to hear, if we don't make it out of here. I want you to know that I don't regret any of it. I'm yours, and you're mine. We're all connected. His vision showed Cade that too. Nothing has ever felt more true except knowing you were my purpose when I found your bones. We're in this together, Guardian. Until the end. Okay, so let's have a look at the director. Uh, quests, and then we can see... We're on 20 of 34. 20 of 34. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. I mean, this was one whole thing. Liminality is a strike, so hopefully it'll get me two extra people to join me through matchmaking. So that's not so bad. And then we've got just a that's bit more nothing. story that's to go bad. through. I the and the final the, uh, the mission. The same stuff. Part of you called to a part of me. Nothing could break that. I've seen you at your lowest moment. When Hakim died. When you begged me to bring him back. You wanted to give up the light. You raised your gun. I'm sorry. I understood. I was grieving too. If we could get through that, then we can get through anything. Whatever you need to do, I'll be with you. Mm. Start to finish. Mm. That's what the traveler wants from us. You keep me steady, Tarj. When no one else can. Big radio. That's what I was made for. And it's what I want to do. Let's go. Commander. You've got a mission to lead. Taj. Hey, yo. Hello? You gonna pop up? Hello? Oh, it's up here. Oh, okay. 
So let's just have a quick look at quests. Yeah, that was a whole one. That was a whole one. So let's just have a quick look at where we're at with like collections and journey and all that shit. So, so I've got 2,500 out of 5,600 items that you can gain the game. Not bad, but also not very good because I took like a couple of years out from this game and just didn't play it. I would likely have a lot more if I'd actually bothered, but can't be asked. Uh, so that's all up to date. Uh, yeah, commendations. I got 99 commendations from other people. Cool. Don't have a clan. And then character. We'll get rid of that. Um, maybe, maybe we'll do this one just in case I want to use that gun because the sleeper simulant is pretty fucking cool. So just like have a look at this. Does that not look like the best fucking gun you've ever seen in your goddamn life? It's just basically like a charged laser, like, railgun. It, like, charges up and then fires out a straight beam. And the beam will rebound and bounce off and cause damage every time it hits. But it does precision damage, which is the best. The laser rifles are called fusion rifles. In this. The ones like this, anyway. There's other ones as well, like trace rifles and stuff, but those are shit. They imagine like a... Right, it doesn't look like a gun. But that's the thing. So, it's... Um, it's based... Uh, so, it's, it was made by... Uh, the, the whole backstory to it is... There were... In the golden age of of humanity they created these satellites that could basically control the world's arsenal for us and um the one that did that one was called rasputin and rasputin was the last of the of these what they called war minds uh, and yeah they they basically like they in one of the expansions you basically end up getting um that weapon off Rasputin. Exactly um, and Rasputin, the war mind, apparently went crazy and just stopped communicating with humanity and shut off humanity's access to its entire arsenal. So it's quite it's quite good actually. It's like quite it's it's a really good, like well padded out part of the story. Rasputin kicks ass. So, I've actually got a radar for once, and I've got teammates with me, which is nice. There's a few guns that were that came out of that expansion, and one of them's really good. It's um, uh, it like what do you call it? A guard left by the witness. We're on the right track. Uh, so yeah, it like it creates these little like nanobots that appear. Um, after you like get precision damage, and they like uh, heat seek on a t on targets like and shit, which is really cool. It's not like you, Igor, to let your own recklessness. There were other routes we could have taken, but you chose the most dangerous. Why? Isn't this the sort of risk you've always demanded I take?
Okay, there we go. So some guns will heal you if you uh, kill enemies with them. And there was one that was uh, called Red Death, uh, which was a pulse rifle, so it's like a, a three round burst rifle. Um, and that was really good, because that would uh, heal you every single time, it would like trigger health regen every time you, um, every time you got a finish uh, on an enemy. Um, and then they created a hand cannon version of it called Crimson, which kicks fucking ass. And I have it as well. Um, I had both, but uh, Crimson uh, Crimson was the only one of the two that they brought across into Destiny 2 when they transferred them over. They didn't bring Red Death for whatever reason. I fucking love Red Death. Red Death was amazing. Uh, but there's a bunch of them. There's like Suros Regime does it, and that's an, that's an auto rifle. Uh, but that's like random. It's not every single one. It's just occasionally when you hit damage. Um, just damage on an enemy will occasionally trigger health regen. But then there's other ones as well that'll do like, they'll regen your teammate's health if you kill with it. Like the Vigilance Wing I think is one. Another burst rifle but that's a five round burst so it's like long bursts. It's all very cool. Fucking go, Aaron! Oh shit! One that's more direct, fewer enemies. Oh my god, I managed to I save it. I got distracted angry, by Aaron. I was too excited. Faith in the traveler, but don't let it cloud your judgment. This isn't about the traveler. Doing the full playthrough of this uh, uh, campaign story expansion on Destiny 2, Aaron. I'm trying to explain as much of it as I can as we go, because not everybody's gonna know a lot about Destiny lore and all that. Should we be worried about the pulsing Ahamkara guts in the walls? You should always be worried when there are guts in the walls. I fucking love that Foreman, quote. Ahead. You should you always be worried, worried when there are guts in the walls. <laughs> Oh, this is the one where we have to do the puzzle thing. I'm actually going to leave this guy to it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't leave the guy to it now. He's trapped me in here with him. Son of a bitch. You don't even know what a video game is. Shut the fuck up, Perry. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, hey. These. I don't think these guys have done this before. I think this is probably their first time uh, doing this. Doing this strike. Uh, I. I have done it before, so I'll just go ahead and do it. Is you just have to get out before the time expires? Because if you don't, then you're fucked. There we go. I can't fuck. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's a very different mission when you do it as a fucking titan. 
I also wonder if it was made harder by the fact that there was some other fucker there with me. Okay. So we'll go low next time. We'll go through this one. That'll do it. There you go. Got it. Not that hard! Oh my god! Okay, there we go. Uh, now we can fuck this guy up, hopefully. Hey, up. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, he disappeared. It's on the run, but we've wounded it. It won't get far. Guardian, between you and me, I like Zavala's Moxie, but this? This ain't him. My core is right to be worried. I got a bad feeling too. Enemy signature incoming. Oh, fuck's sake. It's gone. For now. This doesn't look like any place I've ever seen. Taken signatures. They're Taken everywhere. signatures everywhere. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like we've never fought Taken before. It's always fucking Taken everywhere we go. Yeah, always good to be on the high ground. There's fucking bats in the air, I guess. I have the high ground, Anakin. You've lost. Give it up, you bitch. There's a whole town down here. Oh my god, not a town. Pyramidal, but it's different. Older. Something from the witness's past. Buried and abandoned in this mountain. Find out what it's hiding. But be careful. We still don't know enough about its origins. Yeah, yeah. We're... Can we go? Hello? Are we allowed to move? Did you hear that? It spoke to us. It wants to help. Just as I told you before. Or it could be a trap. Listen to yourself, Zavala. I've known you for hundreds of years, but right now, I don't even recognize you. You is just don't it? like it when people is that change. It? Which way is it? I don't like change that can cost lives. Which way? That isn't your decision to make. When we faced Sabathun, you took unimaginable risks. That's enough. Focus on the mission. 
Get your eyes off each other's throats and put them back on that tormentor. Hello? There we go. Got it. Nailed it. Knew exactly which way we were going. Push. There's the tournament. Rend it apart. Come on, you bitch. I'm going quiet because I'm focusing. Fucking yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, he's going in there. to get the one at the back. Oh my god. How the fuck did I die so quickly? I didn't even know what killed me. I was standing lava or something.
Whoa! Got fucking launched. And again. The key is to know when to jump. So you don't get killed. Just thrown. That's it. There you go. That's lava, please don't. Get wrecked. We did it. The way is clear. Give yourself to darkness. Only there will you find the answers you seek. This is the first concrete actionable lead we've had since we arrived. What about Cade's vision? We should follow the path the Traveler has laid for us. How are we supposed to do that when all it gives us is more riddles? Devotion look at how pretty I look. What does that even mean? Look at how pretty no, I look. Oh, I don't look pretty anymore. No, you do. That's what you want, Ikora. You once told me that to do nothing is cowardice. And now, you'd rather lose everything than to risk making the wrong move. But you aren't even thinking about that. You're just afraid to lose me like we lost Cade. Commander, you're out of line. Stay out of this. You weren't there. You don't know what happened when you died on us. You're right. I can't lose you, Zavala. I'm fishing. Someday you will. And you'll have to learn to live with that. I'm fishing. I'm striking my cock. Answers are finally within our reach. Give yourself to darkness. Zavala, this is reckless. And that's coming from me. Not just 22 of 34. No so we've got 12 more. I am 12 more steps. And you will follow my orders. And we're your friends. We can find another way. The traveler. The traveler can help us. uncomfortably large. It could never help us. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look out for a lovely skew. And it keeps taking. Stand all the way back here. You have us. You have is this is this good framing for a movie? Fired. Yeah. That's good framing. That's not enough. The big Ahamkara skull in the background. Giant dragon. Hey, yo, Crow, you a bitch. That Crow motherfucker killed Cade Six. The commanders left camp alone without his ghost. Just because Cade Six came back to life doesn't mean that he ain't a bitch. Zavala believes he'll find the witnesses weak. Motherfucker. By giving himself to darkness. We knew what the risks were when we came here. That we might not all make it back out. Zavala better than anyone. I know he's trying to protect us by going alone. It's why he left Tarj behind. 
He pretends he's dismissed Cade's vision, but we both. Hello, Shudzi the Stray. Eyes. Welcome to chat. Mala is ready to embrace his final death. Just Contemplates a, a snap. Destroy the witness. He needs us. I'm contemplating a snack right now. Ha. Huh. Descent. Right. Okay. So now we're actually getting somewhere with the names of these missions. Descent is the second to last mission. So if I finish Descent, in theory, I only have the last mission after that. I don't remember exactly the order of shit, but that sounds about right to me. Let's get some of this bullshit out of here. So yeah, you go, look, Descent. So this is all of the shit that I have to deal with. All these modifiers, they're all because I'm doing Legend difficulty. And I'm doing it solo. Oh, let's do this! <sighs> I better get a fucking, like, a reward, a proper reward, for finishing this on, uh, Legend, Solo, and all that shit, you know? Like a Triumph. They're, they're called Triumphs in this game, where it gives you, like, a, like a little, I don't know, like a button, basically, like a little medal to say... Oh, you did something slightly hard. Good for you. They're like, the thing is, like, right? The raids, the raids, the hardest part of this game, where you need six people usually, and a lot of puzzle solving and platforming, and sometimes you can't even figure out which way you're supposed to go, because the entrance is, like, tiny. Like, you have to, like, crawl through it to get through, right? The... When those come out, they don't give any instructions. You just have to try and figure it out. And I think with the one that just came out, it was six hours into its release, and only one group had managed to get past the first stage of it. That's how long it takes to figure this shit out. And then they put guides up, like people tend to put the guides up themselves... Or people will Sherpa other players through. Oh my god, it's so fucking crazy. Gotta to to make rice for it, the other is less essential, takes no work. I'm a big fan of rice, egg fried rice especially. Fucking love egg fried rice. I'm a basic bitch. Ducking black bean sauce though. Ducking black bean sauce. Oh, Kate. love a black bean. So you stand up to the commander back there, kid. That's our guts. Let's go. Ikora's not coming? No. Just you and me. You can't blame her. No. I love a good what thick black bean sauce. My ex know. tried to make black bean sauce once walk. and she was... She was... After them. So proud of it. It tasted like nothing. It was water with beans rear. in it. Take down anything that's standing between Zavala and... And I had to say, like... Yeah, it's good, but, like, because anything with black beans in will taste good, but, like, you realise that this is not a sauce, right? You don't actually have to make, like, a reduction, like, of the I've ingredients for it to become a sauce. You can't, the statue that Zavala to get himself to you can't just put something in water and call it a sauce. That's not how that works, place. right? You think people you people know that. Talk? People know that. Speak up if they have something to say. That's what I do. Come on. Let's establish a Wait, what, am I, what am I supposed to say, right? Uh, okay, right. Let me see. Let's make let's make a new prediction for people to do. Um, Uh, right. Not two, five, five to ten, eleven plus.
Right. Okay, there you go. New prediction. New prediction. For a chance to gain yourself some more channel points so that you can spend them on cool shit. Look me in the eye How many times do you think I'm going to die it? in this mission? Came this way. Your commander seeks our witness. But without you, he will become one among its many. What the hell does that mean? Did you do something to him? Those who have not yet been called from the collective will guide him. We who have been bound will lead you. You must break through. So is that an offer to help? Hello? Pointing to our doom. Did I put one of them Let's as go. 6 to 10 or 5 to 10? If I put 5 to 10, then count it as 6 to 10. It should be 6 to 10. It's been many hours. I'm not exactly... My brain is not braining. And I don't say brining. No, I do not say brining. Yeah, this is more like it. This is back to... Difficulty level legend. Fuck out of it. There you go, the yeah, bitch. This motherfucker, though. Fucking hate these bastards. Brain's running low on go go juice. Fair. That's why you need a snacko. That storm. One of my exes um, was allergic to nuts and gluten and dairy. So her favourite thing to eat was a roast dinner, roast chicken in particular. So she had uh, she had chronic fatigue syndrome. And whenever I made her a roast chicken dinner, and she'd eat like half the chicken, and I'd eat the other half of the chicken, we didn't leave scraps, she would pass out. For like two hours, she would pass out. Um, just so fucking gone. Like food coma, but chronic fatigue syndrome levels of food coma. I always took it as meaning that she really liked food. She would always just go like, oh, chicken, and just eat the chicken. Yeah. To be fair, I'm very much like that. Especially when I have a lot of carbs. If I have a lot of carbs, then I have a carb crash and I'll like... I'll just like fall asleep for like a good half hour and then wake up feeling brilliant. It sounds like those statues are prisoners of the witness. Just as Zavala believed. I hope he feels vindicated. The statue said that Zavala will become one among its many. Was that a threat or a warning? We'll need to find another. Judging by the guards, our next contact is in here. Uh, so, these are the enemies that the crow had. So when Aldrin, Aldrin Sov, before he became the crow, when he was evil, he... Uh, used these guys as his um, as his bad guys, and these are called the Forsaken. I think. I think I'm right in saying that. So this is like a, it's what one of the alien races are called the. Um, uh, what are they called again? 
they've got like the dregs and the vandals and all of that in there um but yeah they're uh Uh, the Fallen, that's it, the Fallen. So they're called the Fallen because they were once a very high noble race, um, like species. And, um, they fell. They, uh, were no longer considered nobility anymore. And they became scavengers and had to go around the system trying to find scraps to survive. And even from them, there was a faction that became uh, thrown out. That they weren't worthy of uh, they weren't worthy of being in they weren't worthy of being there with everybody else, with all of the other uh, fallen. Motherfucker. Well, that's one. So yeah, they uh, so they weren't worthy of being there. So they were they were cast out. So they found power elsewhere, and used it to their own detriment, as well as benefit. Like it gave them power, but at a cost. And so they became these twisted, gnarled things uh, called the Forsaken. And he adopted them as his own. And so he tried to rule the solar system with them when he was all to himself. Uh, and now he is the crow, and he's essentially like reincarnated in the same body. Like he's he's like he has amnesia of the time before, but he still feels bad for it because he's become a guardian while he was alive. And normally guardians are only made from um, the dead. So like a ghost will go along and find somebody that was a great warrior and will revive them, and I'm dead. And we'll revive them and. They'll, they'll become... Yeah, they'll become that. I like that you have faith in me, Mars, that I'm only going to die less than five times in this round. But I swear to fucking God, this is a bad mission and I'm probably going to die like 20 times before I'm finished. But thanks for, the, thanks for having faith in me. See, even that... Even this! I'm at the very fucking start of the fucking mission. I'm just getting meleeed by a bunch of cunts. God damn. Alright. Let's go again. They're, they're called thralls. And they're a bunch of bastards. Because they just run at you and scrape at your face. And then these bastards behind are called ogres, and they're a bunch of bastards because they beam you with lasers. One of the raids was legit, just a giant one of these fuckers. But he didn't have any uh, vulnerabilities on his front. His vulnerability was on his spine. It opened up like, um, like, a, like spider legs on his back, like that. And it had uh, it had the thing on the inside, and you just had to shoot at his weak spot once it was open. It was such a pain in the ass though to get to it. No, don't fucking do it! Don't fucking do it! I'm around a fucking corner. You shouldn't be able to hit me around a corner, you prick. It's a straight line, you beam. Blistered ogre, bastard ogre, more like. Fucking asshole. Sounds like those statues are prisoners of the witness. Just as Zavala believed. I hope he feels vindicated. The statue said that Zavala will become one among its many. One among it's many? Oh no. We'll need to find another. Get annihilated. <clears throat> Judging by the guns. <clears throat> Our next
get absolutely fucked, you chieftain prick. Gotta get rid of the ads first. Ads killed me last time, I'm not doing that again. me alone. No, no, don't let me fuck. Always with the slowing. Always with the slowing. God damn it. It's a tiny room. I'm on my own. I'm getting fucking slowed by every single fucking cunt that walks in there. Like, I don't have enough grenades to throw them around the fucking room. I'm just getting annihilated by every single cunt that arrives. Get off. Back to fucking ogres. Because this whole thing is the same encounter, apparently. No checkpoints. No, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Yeah, get fucked, ogre prick. Bad time for a reload, you asshole. Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. So I think I need to leave my super for the ads, to be honest, because they are fucking my shit up more than the bosses. Like, I can clear the ads with guns. I'll need to kill the boss with guns as well. And then once I've gotten a bit close to it, then I can get the... Get my super out and just fuck them up with that. But, like, they're, they're throwing their slow grenade at me, which makes me completely freeze up and it goes through walls and it's completely overpowered so it's like how am I supposed to do anything with this right bad time for a reload come on man Time for a reload. Please don't do that again. Run out in front of everybody and then reload real quick in their face. No, this is going to fucking hurt. No, it's going to fucking hurt and I can't move. I can't move. Great. Great. You see how I can't do anything about that? Fucking annoying, man. How am I supposed to get away from that when it's blocking my path? And if I shoot it, it will explode and do exactly the same amount of damage to me. How am I supposed to do anything in this? In Legend? Am I a Legend? Fuck no. Mm, 
Jesus Christ, man. Right, piss off, first of all. Get off me. You get away. You get away. No, fuck off! Getting so fucking aggressive with the running, man. Get fucking wrecked, you prick. Yeah, bitch. We who have been bound. God like fucking damn it. I'm gonna do this all over the again. Believed. I hope he feels vindicated. The statue said that Zavala will become one among its many. Is that a threat or a warning? We'll need to find another. Judging by the guards, our next contact is in here. Real bad timing for a reload. Yeah, let me just reload in your face real quick. So threatening. Fuck off. God damn it. You piss me off, Captain fucking Chieftain Prick. There, die. Asshole. Right, I need to get across here to throw them off. Because you see, they threw a grenade over there already. Okay, kill this guy. Guy next to him. And then that should pull them away to be on that corner. And then I can move over here again and do the same thing all over again. See that grenade over there that they've thrown? Perfect fucking baiting. I'm baiting them. Right, then he does the same thing, and I fuck off over here again. Right, sh destroy the shield. How many are there now? Is it just him? Yeah. Doing his special move. Don't do it. Don't you fucking explode on me. Okay. Some good hits on him so far. Staggered him a bit. Okay. Get their attention over that corner, move over here. Throw up a barricade. He's going to get triggered by that. He's going to throw all these out again. Move back over in the corner. Fucking straps, man. Don't you fucking do that to me, you bastard. Right, yeah, get triggered back over here so you're not in the middle again. Asshole. 
so itchy. Get over here! Get over here! What are you doing? They're fucking seeking me. For me. Don't fucking do that to me, you bastard. Reload. No. Don't fucking do it. What's he talking about? Some kind of kiosk. Get wrecked! Yes! Motherfucker! Oh, yeah! Oh, got wrecked! Oh, I fucking split you in two! Oh, you're dead! Oh! Oh! Trust them. So fucking happy. Any sign of the commander? Ikora, you came. Of course I came. It's my fire team. And a fire team's a family. No sign of Zavala yet. But he was right about the statues. They're trying to help us. Okay, yeah, I'm in. This one's another narrow fucking corridor. Look at them all waiting. Bastards, waiting to ambush me. Not okay, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, leave me alone! No, leave me alone. Get wrecked! Yeah! Get wrecked soon! Oh, I missed. Fucking missed. Missed his ass. I've had enough of this. Commander, come in. 
Commander, come in. Answer your comms now. Commander, answer your comms now. Last time I let him walk away from me. This is the last time I let him walk away from me. Come on then. Last statue said they can only speak to us in dark. Let's do the shit. They still have some connection to the witness. Eight hours in. Something that's made up of a million individuals is bound to have a few dissenting voices. We are the shame our witness could not bear to reckon with. So the first knife cut us out. Exile until we are deemed worthy. Imprisoned until we can be reintegrated into the final shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah! So I started blasting. These are called screebs. It's not fun. Getting rushed by a fucking screeb, and then the screeb explodes. It's screeb juice all over you. I'm a screebaholic myself. Can't get enough of these screebs. Oh, look at that screeb! Look at him. Yeah, it's all the blue juice on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got to bite my lip. Can't get enough of these fucking screebs. Oh, dear. Hello. Oh, and you. Oh, and you. Oh, and you. Sorry. 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 Was I a little bit uh, premature on that one? Should I maybe have given you a chance to say hello first and then... And then taking your heads off? Or... You know, check your coat in with the dressing room or the cloak room or whatever you call it. Hey, 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 hey. You. Quit hanging around! Ha! Uh, 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 uh. I'm so good. Hey, yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. You gonna hide from me, bitch? Get wrecked! You were once part of the witness. Can you just tell us how to defeat it? We are bound. There is no other way but to give yourself to darkness. Give yourself to darkness and see. The commander needs you, little light. You will set us free. You will set us all free. Oh, yeah? Why would the witness nice. prison? Glad to hear it. Yes. Unfortunately, the only part of the story that's out so far is Act 1. Act 2 comes out in like 10 days time. And then Act 3 comes out in like 50 days time. So, if I do set you free, you'll have to wait a couple of months for that, mate. True. Zavala can't be stopped by much. But he is my commander. I watch out for him. I raise him when he falls. Guardians run amok of what happens. You raised me up. Punched a hole in the traveler. Mm. So very comfortable again. Oh. 
a lot of the things in Destiny can be cheesed pretty well. You don't really need to go to the full effort of completing them. So, for instance, there was a... There was a... There was a raid... There was a raid, I think it's called the Dark Below or something like that, but it was... Uh, it was basically, it was Crota. Or oh, Crota's End, that might have been it. Crota's End. So yeah, there was, it was basically, this, this bad guy was called Crota. Right? It wasn't important. But part of it, part of that raid, was trying to get from lantern to lantern without them all exploding. And the thing was, right, each lantern would light up the moment that you got close to it but if you let it light up for too long, it would explode and you'd kill you. And you were walking in darkness and this darkness effect was like a debuff. So it would like add up over time and it would eventually get to darkness level 10. And at darkness level 10, you weren't even able to like walk at a normal pace. You were like walking at a crawling speed. So every enemy that came for you was just completely laying into you and just destroying you without any issue. Right? But so long as one of you managed to get across this whole encounter of darkness with the lanterns, then it would teleport everybody to that position. So you only needed one person to actually make it successfully. And I used to... Okay, Gia. Crack on. I used to have these, like... In Destiny 1, there was a kind of... Uh, there was an, uh, an exotic armor piece for the arms for a hunter... Where if you took a melee hit, you would turn invisible. And so I would just sit by the lanterns and then get hit by a thrall. And then run while invisible through the lanterns to get to the next place. And then sit there and wait again. And then get hit and then continue on. And I'd just make it all the way to the end and completely cheese it. And there was another one like later on. Where if you changed over your exotics to a different one... If you had a double jump, it would turn it into a triple jump. And if you had a triple jump, it would change it into a quadruple jump. And then if you added another weapon, which added to your mobility as part of its like ability thing, you got more agility, then you would jump even higher. So you could jump out of the level to the point where the game thought that you had left the map without killing you for it. And it would just undo all of the shit that you needed to figure out to cross this bridge. And the bridge would just lower by itself and that would be it. You wouldn't need to worry about like solving the puzzle of getting the bridge down because it would just deal with it by itself. It was it was great. It was that was the golden age of destiny, was knowing all the cheeses. So much cheese. We love cheese. And so many other cheeses as well. There was another one that was like... The boss... Um, would get really badly... Uh, like flinched. If you... Used one particular super on it. And the super was basically just like... Uh, Hadouken. You know like a big old... Like energy ball. Um, so yeah. If you just like got everybody to do a big old energy ball. All at the same time at its feet. Then it would stun the bad guy into falling off the ledge and would die instantly. Just would die. Um, fucking crazy, man. Fucking crazy. It was so great to have the to have the day of cheese. If you could just tell us how to free you, we're not strong enough to need you. Look at this. Your journey is close to. Oh, we are not strong enough. We're not strong enough. I don't think any of Give us are strong enough to do this. Uh, Unfortunately, Zavala uh, forgot that when he left with uh, me. But that's why I'm here. To remind him. Okay, right. We're going. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. This is going to be fun. I'm going to die a lot. I'm going to go this way this time. When I first did this, I went straight ahead. 
I'm crazy. I'm so reckless. Maybe some crazy things. Like going from straight forwards to going to right. That's mad. Oh, I'm so weird. Aren't I so weird? Oh my god. Hey, yo. Get wrecked. What? Hey, 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 hey. That's against the rules. You're not allowed to come over here. We had a contract. Get smashed. Yeah, bitch. Hello? Can you show me where the bathroom is? This place looks like a museum. I think that... I think you don't have to pay, but that it's a suggested donation. I'm really sorry, but I didn't put any money in the thing at the door. I thought I felt like it was weird that the exhibits were trying to kill me, so... Do you know what I mean? Like, if the exhibits start coming to life and trying to kill you, probably don't need to worry about uh, suggested donations, right? Probably don't. Probably alright. I think that's a free pass. Fun fact, most of the uh, museums in the UK are like that. Suggested donations. You can just go in and look at whatever you want and don't need to pay anything. Keyword need. Most people do. But it isn't required. Although some art galleries, you do need to. Like the Tate Modern, if you want to go and see anything um, like in their main exhibitions, then yes, you do need to pay because those are like ticketed entry to those floors. But otherwise, the main, the other floors are all free. Like top and bottom. Will you stop running away from me, you weak bitch? Oh shit, hello. Doing all right. Hello. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. I don't want to know. Thralls give me real big... Um, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty energy. Like, they're so persistent and they just continually run at you. It's just like... Hello, excuse me? Do you have other things that you could be doing right now? Why are you focusing so much on me? Yes, hello. Hey, 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 get the fuck off me. Get off. Okay. We're gonna spawn in the middle again. Hello. Guess hello. Time for a reload. 
Just saying, friend. No, you don't. Maybe you do. Who's to say? You can hear him on my fucking tail. He's so fucking close. Piss off. Get off me! Knew he had a fucking second thing. Get out of the sky. Why are you fucking double jumping right now? Oh fuck, that's closed. No, leave me alone, no. Why? This is the grab move. This is the grab move. I'm dead. Fucking grab move. I warned you about it, didn't I? I told you about it earlier. If you get too close, they grab you. Well, that was because one of the rooms, for some reason, unknown to me, is fucking closed. It is a fucking museum. This is the Taint Modern. They closed the middle fucking one. Why? I will never know. Because they're all another room. So what difference does it make if this one's open and so are the others? Absolute bullshit. Right. Get fucking fucked, you fucking fox. You fucking fox. Get fucking wrecked, you bitch. Why am I getting rebounded off this motherfucker? Just die already, yeah? There we go. Lovely. As if superpower doesn't fucking stun them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, fucking thralls just happen to be there with no fucking sound to warn me about it. Great. Jesus. Jesus Christi. Jesus, don't give a fuck about your fucking game of destiny. But you should. You really should. I'm sure that there's a lot of evil in the world has come about by this fucking game turning people insane. Right. Do it on legend, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Fucking eight hours later. Yeah, get wrecked! Oh, you think so, do you? Get right. Drop something good, maybe. Oh, helmet. Oh, for God's sake. I had a drink, but I drank it all. I've gotten through a few drinks. It's getting quite hot in this room because of the computer being warm. You have to wait until I uh, get to a safe spot, a safe point, and then I can go and get one. Otherwise, um,. Don't be in the sky. Why are you in the sky? Did I ask you to be in the sky? No. So chill, maybe? Yeah? Right.
Get rid of these motherfuckers. Fucking ain't shriekers. Absolute bastard, man. Time for a reload. Just you playing your favorite game. It, I mean, it works. I feel taken care of. Tats dusts off both hands. Now that's taken care of. Get wrecked! Get riggedy wrecked! Oh yeah! You think you got shit on me? Fucking kill you. Fucking kill you. See this? See these moves? I'm so fucking slick. Slick as pig shit. Curse thrall, mother bitch. Hello? Oh. For a second there, I thought there were enemies over there. See how fast he fucking regens his shield? And he hides in the corner like a bitch. Hey, asshole. No regen. You don't get regen. Here, get burned. Why can't I get why can't I do the me melee on you? Oh you fucking You dampened me with the fucking black mist. There you go, that's better. Now get burned. Ya yeah, bitch. end your whole career. Yeah, bitch! Oh, that's an exotic. Got an exotic engram. This guy immediately has a murder boner for me. No need, honestly. No need. Just fuck off. Just fuck off, dude. Just fuck off. Get the fuck away, let me move! God damn it! They spawn in, they grab you from afar, they pull you towards you, then, and then they shoot you at point blank range, where there's no cover, where you can't sprint because you're a fucking heavy ass titan, you can't go invisible, you can't hide, the, the big boss dude is as fast as you are, there's nothing that you can do! Isn't this fun? Yeah! Right. Let's just kill a bitch. I should have gone and got a drink, shouldn't I? Before I restarted the uh, the encounter. Let's, uh... I'll, I'll remember. I'll put a pin in the drink. I will put a pin in the drink. 
Bad time for a reload. Always a bad fucking time for a reload. Fuck off me, you prick. Alright. Okay, right. Okay, right. Okay, right. Hey, get the fuck off. Nope. There you go. Get wrecked, bitch. Okay, right, got this. Okay, that's reloaded, that's reloaded, that's reloaded. Great stuff. Lucky, hey, uh, I know you're probably a bot and you're probably not here, but um, get fucked, get fucked, get out, don't give a fuck. No, no, I denied it. Hey, you bot, nobody gives a fuck. Cheap viewers on here. Yeah, cheap. And uh, useless. Because you know what? They're bots. Do you know what they? Do you know what they do? They they show that your numbers are big. Do you know what they don't do? They don't pay for subs. They don't donate. They don't engage. They don't do anything but sit there. That's not engagement. That's not entertainment. If you need to pay for bots and viewers. Then you are a scrub. And you need to uh, figure out your priorities. Right. I'm just going to stand here and wait because he only triggers when I go out there. Um. And I've still got one more wizard to kill. I don't think... I don't think that there's another one. Yeah, I don't think there's a wave of enemies that comes into me here right now. So I'm going to quickly go and get that drink. I'll be right back. Okay, right. Oh, and I need to drink it, don't I? Oh. Okay. We can do this. Fucking legend difficulty. Yeah, no product placement. No product placement. I am not being sponsored by Coca-Cola. If I was, though, all the money I'd be on. I don't think Coke really needs sponsorship or advertising or anything, to be honest. Do you know what's a funny thing about, like... In the UK, they, uh, they banned... Uh, they banned cigarette advertising. So, um, 
even the packets themselves, even the cigarette packets, cannot have any kind of branding on them. They have to be plain white packets with black text. That's the law in the UK. Right? Do you know who that benefited? Benefited the companies themselves. And it didn't affect competition either. Because if nobody can advertise, then they all gain all of that budget just for profit. But if you're already addicted to cigarettes, you're, you're going to smoke them. Doesn't make a difference whether they advertise or not. And it made no difference about competition because with everybody advertising or with nobody advertising, it's the same. It makes no difference. So the only people who ever benefited from that was the tobacco industry. It's fucking dumb. It's fucking dumb. Okay. That was some good fucking damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've nearly got this bastard. Oh, I've nearly got him. Right, I just need to kite him a bit. Kill some of these bastards. Oh, he's got his fucking yellow dot. Yes, get yellow dotted, you son of a bitch. Finally fucking got the prick. Just took a lot of damage up front to get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I'm sensing a surge of energy that I can't pinpoint some other's location. It's probably more interference. Just concentrate on him. I can't. You can. Just feel for his life. Yeah. Yeah. Harsh. It, it's okay if you can't find Zavala. Yeah. We're past the storm. But oh, I don't get anything. I didn't In get anything. The case, you don't have to know your guardian by his light. And how would you feel? Were you in my shell? You scour the earth for years, hunting on being, feeling. Growing lonely, losing faith, but eventually... I am not good at this bit. Mark, this is platforming. Years more by his side. Watching him fight and die. Call him not. Lose himself to grief. You forge a bond. Seal your fates. And yet you're not sure if you can do the only thing you were made to do? For the one person you were meant for? How would you feel? Well, I... Forget it. The feeling doesn't matter. You take a closer source. I'll check the one ahead. I know what to do. We got your back, buddy. Ghost. Guardian. Keep looking. We'll catch up with Taj. Okay, we're going somewhere, we're going somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Well, that fucking flew off the edge, didn't it? Supposed to hit the ground beneath them, not fucking fly straight past them, you twat. Okay, right. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah. No 
Oh shit. Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, wait. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Right. Play there. Boom. Get wrecked. Okay. Our I signal is do remember this mission. But Zavala's not here. And Vanguard, have you found him? Not yet. I think there is a part of it that frustrated the shit out of me. Hello. Uh, and it's also quite complicated and lengthy, but we will get there together. Because that's what we do best. Uh, oh, sons of bitches. Hey, don't you do that. I don't like the fact that you came for me. Why? Why? They're already ridiculously quick. They already do a ton of damage. And their crit spot is below their head. To then have the fucking explodey thing come out of their body as well after you kill them? What the fuck? Geo, you're not just here. You are here. You know what I mean? Like, you're here. See, what the shit is this? Fucking heat-seeking bomb after I've already killed the fucker. Bullshit. Bombs that want hugs are usually bad news. I know I, I sound like I speak from experience. And I do! Because all of the, uh, all of the bombs in this game all want to hug you. Either that seeking one, or it's the fucking, um, cursed thralls that run at you, or it's the screebs that run at you. Everything fucking runs at you and they all explode. And I don't want any of the bullshit. Right. No, don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to do that? You're going to do that to me? Get wrecked. Oh, get absolutely owned with a scythe as well. Reaped your ass, you motherfucker. Right, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just need to get this Aegis. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want 
You want hugs as well? Everybody wants a fucking hug. Everyone wants a hug from Uncle Luke. Anybody think about me? Anybody think about what I want? There we go. Get out. No! For fuck's sake, the fucking ads. It's always the fucking ads. I just need to kill the fucking boss. Can you just give me one second, bomb guys? Do you really need to run at me with a fucking lantern? How many times have I died now? Has it already surpassed the prediction? I'm pretty sure I'm at 11 plus. If, if I'm not already, then I should be. Alright, come on then, you bastard. Oh, get wrecked. All of you. Every one of you get wrecked. Oh, yeah. That was that was so satisfying. Grenaded every single one of them and tethered them in. What's this guy running backwards for? Hey, stop ducking out of my bullets, dude. Fucking kung fu movie you've ever seen. Telekinesis and swords. Yes. That would be sick. Imagine a telekinetic swordsman. Okay, but why do you all have these fucking things over your heads? That's hardly fair. I haven't got a thing over my head. Just a sign that says... Shoot here, you bastards. Okay, right. Okay, get wrecked. Played it safe. Probably could have gone in for the finish. Didn't know if I would get stuck in front of them and end up getting my ass beat. Frozen in front of the enemy. Don't. Please don't. Or do. It doesn't matter. Okay, right. I've got it. Let's kill some ads first. Baby. Heal up. Thank you. Yeah, Geo, you do need to sleep at some point. If you've been awake for like 35 hours, you're going to need to sleep at some point. You can't keep going. You're going to end up burnt out. Sleep is important for health and stuff. 
Please don't feel like you have to stay here to keep my number up. Just sleep. Whoa! Please. Please. Do not. Uh, I appreciate the look. Always. Always. Uh, take care of yourself, though. Can't take care of other people if you're not taking care of yourself. So, go to sleep. Okay, look. I grabbed a drink because Tats wanted me to stay healthy. It might not be the healthiest drink, but it's better than nothing. And I love that. I love that you're doing art. And sometimes, uh, insomniac art is brilliant art. But, you know. Oh, wait. Hey, 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 get off. You try and sneak up behind me, you bastard. Love it. Bad idea. No, don't kill me. If you kill me, I have to do this whole fucking thing again. The whole thing from the beginning. Right, take refuge up here. Reload. Deal with shit in a moment. Should be a checkpoint, I hope. This place is falling apart. We gotta move. 
Oh, it's not a checkpoint yet. Lovely. Great. So glad for Amped. Thank you, Amped. I'm running so fucking fast. Oh my god, yes. Tar says a lock on the commander. Hurry. Speed boost. Speed boost. Speed boost. Oh yeah, Giddy had a Giddy had a sickness thing. I only just started today getting over it, but yeah, it was a yesterday thing. I think a lot of people have had a bug lately. It might be a bug. I mean, it could be that. It could be something else. But you never know, really, do you? Oh, this is a good cutscene. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. see what you are. What do you see? I see fear. Taj, no! We, we have done away with fear. We are not afraid. <laughs> yes, you are.
That bit at the end with the hands on the face, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. This changes nothing, Zavala. You're still our friend. You're still our commander. It changes everything. I have no light. No purpose. No ghost. Look, I know you want to blame yourself, but... Tars knew what he was getting into. Don't! Please. was prepared to pay any cost. I was. Not Taj. He was devoted. He was brave. And part of me resented him for that. Sometimes I wished he would just... Oh, God. He's so self-loathing. Well, he did what ghosts are supposed to do, right? He recruited you for a war. And he chose to sacrifice himself so you could end it. End it? How? I threw away my light for a riddle and a memory. A memory that can save us all, of the witness becoming what it is. What was made... ...can be unmade. Right, right! Oh, we, we gotta link up with those Defector Spectres again. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. The place they showed me. It's here. The witnesses' memories became manifest too. I can guide us. Yeah! Eight hundred followers. Fuck yeah. We can do that. Good job, Tats. That's big. That's really, really big. Very well deserved. We keep our momentum, and Zavala gets to focus on something that's not. You know, we ask a lot of our ghosts. And they don't get one second chance, much less the million that we do. Just wish I'd thanked my gal Sundance back when... I could. I think as of now, I have 217 know, I followers. But I'm grateful for every one of them. What are we up to? Nine hours? Okay, let's do this. Hmm. I don't want the small hand cannons and I don't like... Uh, not hand cannons. I don't want the small grenade launchers and I don't want an auto rifle. However... Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a primary. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, don't want either of them. Maybe I'll infuse this one. Wait, is that the one? Yeah. Have I had anything to eat at all? I have had um, rich tea biscuits dunked in Nutella. And this morning, I had beans on toast.
Yeah. That's it. Of course I fucking did. What do you take me for? Biscuits and beans. That's about as British as you can get. Uh, right. What do I need to do? Yeah, no, I don't need to infuse that. So, scout rifle. Do I want that? No, not really. Beans aren't in tomato sauce. Well, then you're missing out. That's the whole freaking point of it. Taj was the kind of ghost I thought I ought to be. There's no manual on how to do what we do, but Tarj always knew the right answer. He was dedicated. The thing is, the ours are a little sweet, just so that they're not like bitter or sour or too savory. They are still savory, but they've got that sweetness from the tomato sauce. Because like ketchup has sugar in it. Because without without that, it would be fucking, you know. We have to go to the memory of the um, place where the It would be very sour and bitter. So, yeah, Team, when you have beans on toast, you need to have some sweetness, because otherwise there's going to be nothing the there for you. It'll all just be bitter or shit. Now, so, it, bitter or shitter. So, so you, you need to have a little bit. But that usually comes in the tin. And to be fair, I don't normally use a lot of the sauce. The sauce is quite liquid. And I don't like too much of that liquid on my toast. I like there to be a coating, but that's it. So I tend to, because they're normally ring pull cans. The the best brand is anyway. The best brand is Heinz. But I I like take the ring pull up just a little bit, and then I'll like hold on to the top and tip it over the sink, and drain out whatever sauce I can, and then whatever's left I put into the pan. But I'll have a whole can to myself. I have a whole tin. So, like, this morning I made four pieces of toast. Thick, thick bread. Like, inch thick bread. And then, uh, butter. Real butter. And then, um, beans. And then salt and pepper. And that's it. Fucking lovely. Absolutely fucking lovely. Right, this is the final mission. This is the actual final mission. So once we've done this, that's the end of the thing. Okay? But I am warning you, this is going to be a while. Also, I think I died many times in that last one, and I need to choose the prediction outcome. I think it was 11 plus. But we can start a new prediction. Okay, there you go. So we'll try what the you refer, what I refer to as a full English. The place yeah. Where they destroyed themselves. Full English breakfast, yeah. The witness was created. Yes. So, yeah. So... Zavala thinks he can navigate us to it. A full English Great. breakfast, a lot of people include some we'll shit that, that a, lot of no a lot of other people will not light. like. But I do have my gun. Reaching the ritual site is our top priority. Do not let your focus stray. This mission is a bitch. And I needed to look up endless, uh, an endless number of web pages just so I could figure out how to finish it. Because the very end is such a bitch and nobody explains it online. No amount of, uh, no amount of websites. They all copy each other. They just... One person makes the... A, a shitty... Uh, like... Guide. And then every single other one of them just copies and pastes it. Uh, no, the beans are good. Beans are good on the plate. Right, beans are good on the plate. Okay, so... Uh, right, we need to... We need to... We need to... Go through this. Hang on, we need to go through this. We need to go through this. Hey, this is a secure line. How's the commander? Uh, let me just get Come to somewhere. In. Yeah, black pudding's a bitch. Right, okay. I need to, I need to show you this. 
Uh, okay. So. Right. Full English breakfast. Images. Uh, this is a pretty good image for it, I'd say. Is there a, yeah, there you go. Okay, right. Okay, let's go through this. Okay, so. I would do this differently. I wouldn't have half of this. But I would add different things as well. So I wouldn't have a piece of buttered bread. I would have fried bread. So shallow fried in a pan. Right, oil. Sometimes egg. So if you like soak the... If you like, uh, like fork and egg, right? Uh, it's not really whisking it, I don't really think. So you're just like whisking it with a fork. But yeah, just like break up the egg so that the yolk is mixed in and all that. And then soak the bread in that. And then fry that in a frying pan. Shallow, shallow like oil. Or just ignore the egg and do the bread on its own, right? So that's great. Okay, so whisking is fine, right? Mushrooms, I love. Sautéed mushrooms, fried mushrooms, love that. The grilled tomatoes, love a grilled tomato. Beans, yes. Sunny side up, egg, yes. Sausage, bacon, yes. Potatoes. Now this is like... This is, this is sliced cooked potatoes. This is almost potato gratin. That's French. This is not... This does not belong on a full English plate. This is... Wrong. You should have hash browns on there. You should also have more sausages than just one sausage. That's ridiculous. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, so hash browns, more sausage. Some people put on ketchup or brown sauce, right? But I'm like, well, I've got the egg yolk and I've got the beans and I've got the tomatoes. Why do I need more sauce? Because all of this is juicy and it's going to come off that. Um, some people have black pudding. Black pudding is like a big, thick blood sausage. So it's like this, this thick, right? And, um, you just ch cut off big slice chunks, like the, like an inch thick. But it's basically blood sausage, so it's pork sausage. Um, but that pork sausage isn't actually pork. It's the blood from the pig. The blood from the pig is the thing. So you're you're having a sausage that's made up of congealed blood, right? And then fried. That's not my thing. I don't want that. I never want that. Please leave that off my plate. Never let it touch my plate. And I've ordered full Englishes before and said no black pudding. And they've put it on the plate anyway. And I've said I'd, I asked for no black pudding. And they'd be like... Oh, well, then you've got it for free then. And I'm like, no, fuck you. I don't want everything else on my plate to have touched blood. Give me a new plate. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not eating a blood sausage. You can, you can, you can walk away from me. You're going to do that. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's a full English. That is a full English. Uh, and I will defend it to its to my dying day because it is a beautiful thing. That whole breakfast, that whole breakfast, start your entire day, start your whole fucking like. Never mind your day. It's start your week. It's so good. In itself, jackal is good to have at restaurant. I mean, I'm just sort of like. Like, sorry, but I asked for this. And, you know. If I've got the spoons, then I will just say, yeah, no, I didn't order this. Can you take it away? If I don't have the spoons, then I'll say, okay, it's fine. And then try and handle that. And most of the time I can't handle that. So it just, it's better for me to just speak up immediately. Of like, no, I, I can't have this. I won't have this. Please deal with this. It's absolute bastard, man. You like to take a biscuit mix and put it in a waffle iron, then fry an egg sunny side up, and then put the gravy on top of both. Right, but your gravy is like white gravy, right? It's like cream gravy. 
Like, your gravy is not brown, is what I'm getting at. Our gravy is brown. Your search for it's like it's meat continues. juices with... It's supposed to be meat Once juices more. with flour. To thicken it. What yeah, milk. No. 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 You don't put milk into gravy. In That's not gravy. That's so weird. Yeah, white gravy. White gravy? That's the problem that I have with this, is that it's white gravy. I need to do this again. I need to do this again. We need to we need to hash this out, right? Okay, you look for gravy. This is the first thing that you find. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. This is all gravy, right? Okay. So, so for one, right? Um, brown. Brown. That's gravy. Yeah, this even says vegan gravy and it's by Jamie Oliver, but it's still fucking brown. Uh, now the, the, the like, the... The country's favourite gravy is Bisto gravy, and this is granules, so it's just powder. So this is what it looks like in the tub, and you add hot water to it, and it comes out like... I can't fucking show you because that's a tiny fucking photograph. Who puts a tiny photograph like that? Asda, apparently. Arseholes. Um, there you go. It looks like that. Yeah. So that's, that's gravy. You would not have that for your breakfast. That's not a breakfast thing. And also biscuits. That's a biscuit. So this is the rich tea, rich tea biscuit. This is what I've been dunking into my uh, Nutella. A Nutella. They, the, apparently the company pronounces it Nutella. So that's the way it should be pronounced. So this is a biscuit. These are biscuits. That is what I would call a cookie. That is what I would call a cookie. Everything else here is a biscuit. Uh, maybe even that would be called a cookie. So, yeah. These are all cookies. Those are biscuits. Right? Those are biscuits. This, Oreo, biscuit. This, BN, biscuit. This is a scone. This says breakfast biscuits, savory American scones. So it is a scone. But it's savoury. This is a scone. It's a scone. It's a scone. Okay? Scone. Great. Glad that we covered that. These are all biscuits. These are biscuits. That's a biscuit. These are scones. That's a biscuit. That's a biscuit. These are delicious. Um, scone. Scone. So the, it's a scone. But it's a savoury scone is what you call a biscuit. That's what you call a biscuit is this. And I did actually, some a historian on the etymology of this like thing, they did go into detail on it on Reddit. And apparently it's because we diverged on our language on a point. So biscuit does mean what I've said it means in the past. It's a French for twice cooked. The quit part, the C-U-I-T part, that is, um, that means cooked or baked. And bis is French for twice. Uh, it's why at the end of a, at the end of a show where we would shout encore, uh, the French don't shout that. They shout bis. Uh, because they're saying twice. They want, they want whatever the act was again. They want it twice. So it's biscuit, right? So it's cooked twice. Well, biscuits used to actually be cooked twice. But they were incredibly hard and nobody liked them. And so somebody decided to start adding different ingredients to make it more tolerable. And someone else decided to start cooking it fewer times. And those two principles diverged. And the people in... Um, America, who had decided to add buttermilk to their recipe to make it softer and more more tolerable, 
um, instead of just changing how many times you baked it in England, um, they in America decided, oh well, this is still a biscuit because it's just a it's just the same thing as before, but with buttermilk added. So now that so that's what we're going to call that a biscuit still, but in England and everywhere else we still call it. We still call our thing a biscuit. Our thing is called a biscuit. And there you go. That's why they're called two different things. Uh, in this nine nine hours and twenty minutes into a Destiny stream, we're discussing the difference between biscuit. Classic. So yeah, that's that's why, basically. That's why. It used to actually be cooked twice, and it tasted like shit. Nobody liked it, so in America you decided to add buttermilk, and everywhere else we decided to just not cook it as many times, uh, and add some more sugar. So because you were weird and added butter, uh, buttermilk, and changed it into a completely different thing to what it was before, which was rock hard and very difficult to chew, um, you, you, for some reason, decided that that was exactly the same thing, and it's clearly not. You should have just come up with a new name for it. But you didn't, so here we are. And yeah, I wouldn't call anything that's white gravy in the first place. We've got a taken blockade ahead. So here we are. We're getting an influx this is this is the world that we've built for Clear ourselves. The witness knows there are descending voices within it. It'll stop at nothing to keep us from reaching the ritual site. Yeah, no. Not here. Not here. Scones are, scones are soft here. A good scone is, anyway. If you get a shit scone, then it'll be stiff. Also, there's difference of opinion of uh, what we, how we pronounce it here. Um, so if you're upper class, then you'll call it a scone. Um, and if you're not upper class and you're common as fuck like me, you'll call it a scone. But I have had people differ on their opinion of even just that. Of like, no, upper class say that it's a scone and lower class say that it's a scone. And I'm like, how does scone sound at all lower class? It's a hundred percent that is, that is just what it is, right? Okay, right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got you bastards. <clears throat> I don't like cranberries. Oh dear. They're also not good for... Um, uh, bladder health. They make you piss. That's not good. <clears throat> You probably already know this, but for anybody in the audience who doesn't know this, anyone who tells you that cranberries are good for UTIs is wrong. They're not good for UTIs at all. It's no longer recommended. And the reason being, ow, the reason being, cranberries make you piss, right? fuck's sake, I'm dead. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good thing. Just because you have a urine infection doesn't mean that forcing yourself to piss is a good thing. What you should be doing is you should be allowing your bladder to fill and then pissing because that will clean out the top parts of the bladder that if you just drink and like a tiny little bit is in your bladder and then you immediately piss, then there's no cleaning of the inside of the of like, you know, the ceiling of your bladder is not being cleaned out by all of the water, right? All the piss being in there. So you end up with the UTI lasting longer. Also, it introduces sugar into your bloodstream that will encourage infection. 
and it changes the pH level, which it's not supposed to. You're supposed to have water like piss, not acid like piss. That's bad for your bladder. It's bad for your kidneys. Having acid in your kidneys is not a good thing. Um, the fact that I even need to say that for some people to understand it is baffling. But there you go. Uh, some people still believe that cranberries are good for you. Also, if you take things like warfarin, cranberries actually thin your blood out. And they act as a... Uh, they they over-encourage the warfarin to thin your blood out even further. So if you're on warfarin, you should not be having cranberries because your blood will get so thin that you could die from a small cut. Is my game frozen? I think my game's frozen. Are you guys still here in the stream? Stream still live? Stream still going? Yeah. Uh, well, then I guess we'll just have to close out Destiny because Destiny's broken. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go to Steam and then stop. It won't. It won't. There's no. It's not responding at all. But if I, if I close it through Steam, hopefully it'll keep my progress and then I can get back to that point. But it's not very far into that mission anyway. I died once, so we'll keep that tally. I guess it's just not even trying to close, is it? Just get this. Close it this way. Better. Alright, try again. All these games that I've got and don't actually have installed because I've never bothered to play them. Cyberpunk I enjoyed actually. Days Gone was alright as well. Battlefield never really enjoyed. Battle Bit I've never played. Going Under seemed fun but I never actually played that either. The Forest was alright. God of War, I've completed that. I was trying to get 100%, but I never bothered actually finishing it. Marvel's Spider-Man was so fucking good. Love Spider-Man. I want the new one, but uh, you have to have a PlayStation for it. I think maybe I've been tabbing in and out of the game too much, and the game just couldn't handle it. That and maybe it's just overheating. Okay. Fingers crossed we're back to where we were. Nine and a half hours in with my PC chugging along this whole time. Oh, I quite like that. Uh, it was a very brief message on the screen, but it said if you're getting stressed, tired, or anxious, you should take a break. Yeah, Iconoclasm. Here we go. That's really nice that they're focusing on people's um, mental health. Alright, are we going to be back at the same checkpoint or not? Is my question. Uh, no, we're not. No, site, I have to start this from the beginning. The okay then. Where the witness Whatever. Was created. Yes. Zavala thinks he can navigate us to it. Guardian, you lead. 
will follow. Zavala no longer has his light. But I do have my gun. Reaching the ritual site is our top priority. Do not let your focus stray. This is a secure right. time. How's the commander? Yeah, same. I'm always stressed, tired, and anxious, yeah. Okay, here we go. Piss off with you replicating. How many times have I killed the same one of them? short time that I was stood there, I nearly died. This mission is not going to be fun. We've already got resistance. This won't be... Your search for purpose continues. Once more, it leads you to us. What is it you seek? Your endless pursuit of us yields you nothing. Okay. Right, so this is the point that I got to last time. So I did not get too far waylaid. got one one death in the bag already from the previous attempt so for the predictions sake we're going to add one to well we would no we would have had two wouldn't we because i died to bring me back to that checkpoint and that was where i got frozen at so we would have yeah we would have two i think clear them out the witness knows there are descending voices or was it only one it'll stop at nothing I can't remember. From reaching the ritual site. i'm losing my mind should we just say one Time for a reload, as ever. Get wrecked, wizard! Start fresh from now. We could, yeah. Count the ones that are uh, uh, on this run. Since I had to like get through the entire fucking mission just to get to this point anyway. Dude, 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 I need you to chill. Can you chill for me, please? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me.
Oh, this is gonna fucking hurt. Always hurts. Get fucked, you here. lousy prick. I'll fucking end you. And your bane. And your ma too. Yes, yes. Give me the fucking good shit. Give me the good shit. Why is there no shit? Restores, terraforms, shapes. We could use it to break the witness apart, destroy it. There's resonance no. energy coming from that doorway. No. There has to be no. some way past no. it. No. Oh, yeah, up there. It's gonna fucking kill me. It's gonna actually kill me. Jesus fucking Christ, that nearly killed me. You see, I was down to one HP because of that. Jesus fucking Christ. This is gonna be fun. I powerless when I stood before the witness, when I confronted it in that place. But guardian, your ability to wield both darkness and light gives you an advantage. You will do what I could not. All right, commiserate yourself later, dude. Quit talking about what you can't do. I'm not going to play the violin for you, you little prick. Creepy. Creepy place with giant ghosts. No, thank you. You are no longer a pawn of the light. Shut the fuck up. Ain't no pawn. Be free. I'm a god, bitch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. I see you. I see you. I witness you. I witness you. So what, the grenade did nothing? Love that. Get fucked, Phalanx. No one likes you. And Grim up here as well. 
Fucking grim. No, don't do that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Why? Can you just fucking stand in the open and not hide, you fucking coward? Yeah, bitch. Right, let's just make sure everything's reloaded. Okay, I'm down there now. Ah, uh, no, don't you fucking think about it. Leave me alone. Son of a bitch. Okay, right. I got my thing back. Let me move, please. Don't do that. Don't do that either. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Trying to get away from you, you bastard. Right, I need to reload. I've got 21 seconds left of this. Uh, no. Alright, arrow. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Where's my thing? I've got seven seconds. Okay, there we go. Right, lovely. Leave me alone! Get out of here! Okay, arrow. So when he comes back, he's gonna be aggroed to me. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Okay, right, there we go. So it's arrow and wedge. Arrow and wedge. Arrow and wedge. And there's probably going to be a bunch of enemies around there, so I'm going to reload. Okay, right, go. Arrow, wedge. Arrow, wedge. Arrow, wedge. Lovely. Okay, there's wedge. Arrow. Okay, get behind here again. Ow! Don't fucking kill me, you bastards. Throwing fucking flames at me all the fucking time. Look at that. Cheesy fucking move. Right, you lot die because you keep putting fucking turrets down and I'm sick of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Made some grilled cheese, or I think you call it a cheese toasty. Some people do. Most people call it cheese on toast. It depends. It depends if you've got two pieces of bread or one. If it's two pieces of bread, then it's cheese toasty. If it's one, then it's cheese on toast. Fuck off me. Get the fuck off.
Leave me alone! Every single fucking projectile he's firing is hitting me. God damn it. There's no cover in this fucking level. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Don't get caught on the fucking scenery, please. You're a titan, you can't clamber over things very well. You just get stuck on them like a twat. Alright, okay, here we go, 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 we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. This would be so much easier with somebody here. Like playing with me in a fire team. And I could have match made, but I have soloed the whole thing so far, so I'm feeling like, why bother now? Right, this is not the end of this mission. This is merely a checkpoint. In truth, Don't get too excited. Seek seek but endless Ambitions known to us. That what can be destroyed must be destroyed. Gotta go up here. <coughs> Staying hydrated. That's the end of that can, though. Where am I going here? Oh, here. This isn't creepy at all. All these people. Find your purpose. Be chosen. There's a lot of platforming. Okay, yeah. I think I remember this bit as well. Oh shit. These bastards. Okay. We've got to deal with this. them down. 
I don't want to rush this, so I'm just going to get this back. Don't you f oh, f how? How? How did I die that fast? How did I die that fast? Oh, this whole thing's going to kill me. This whole thing is going to kill me. I'm going to hate this whole encounter. So let's fucking do it then. Hey. Oh. Boys, lads, lads, lads. Hey. Alright, okay. I got my thing. I got my thing. Boom. Alright, okay. Get that. He can't hit me through the shield. That. Wizard can get fucked. Wizard is firing so fucking rapidly. Did you see that? That's why I fucking died so quickly. Because the fucking... Wizard's firing so fucking fast. And the health tick on that... The health tick on being inside the thing as well. Jesus Christ. Doing this on Legend is hard. It's very fucking hard. Right, let me just throw a grenade down. That'll deal with that for me. Move that at that. Put that down. Just get this up again, just in case. Okay. Oh shit, okay, another one of these. I'm stuck on something, I can't move. is it? It is dead ghost. Okay, so I've got dead ghost. Dead ghost. I need to find a shield thing. Where's the shield thing? Where's the shield thing? Wasn't paying attention. Dead ghost. Dead ghost. Dead ghost, dead ghost, dead ghost. Hey, yo. How's it going? How's it hanging me, Ocho? Triangle. Okay. Dead ghost and triangle, and I've got an exotic Ingram. Dead ghost and triangle. Dead ghost and triangle. Dead ghost and triangle. So this is wedge, and that one is triangle. Okay, right. So I can get triangle now. Great. And then uh, dead ghost is over at the front on the left as well. Had to be both the two front ones, didn't it? Jesus, fuck.
Okay, there we go. That's them dead. Now I've just got to pick this up and get my supercharged for it. Fire it and then fucking deal with the rest. Great. These bastards again. No, no, move, please, move, please, move, please, move, please. Okay, right, there we go. Motherfucker, you bastard under here. Why? Let me fucking move! Jesus. I'm gonna die because of that one fucking twat. Okay, alright. Alright, okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Don't have any ammo for that. Okay. Just knock me th the fuck off. getting somewhere. Where that is, I don't know. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta be very careful. And that guy's camping right at the very front, so I can't do anything about it. Some health. There we go. Okay, health is regen. A gift from the traveler. It's still trying to help us. Right, let me get from the side. No, don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. Run, will you? God damn it. So slow. God, if I was a hunter, I would have been out there and so, so quick. So quick. So fucking quick. You have homemade chicken curry on rice for dinner? Oh my god, I'm very jealous. I'm so incredibly jealous. Alright, I'm back in. Let's do this again. Once more with feeling. Oh, you bastards. It's these cunts. Oh, 
No, you don't. No, you don't. So many of them, all at the same time. So, so many of them. Get the fuck out of it. Get the fuck out of it. Get the fuck out of it. Fuck off me. Fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. No, you don't. No! Leave me alone. Shoot that and move. Really clear out all of these ads here. You've never had curry. You've never had curry. How have you lived? That's crazy. There are mild curries. You don't need to get the spice, right? Like, a lot of sp like spice is synonymous with it being hot. But most spices don't add heat. Most spices are literally just flavour. I don't... How can you never have had it, though? It's not... I'm not judging you. I'm just like, that's mad that you've not had it. That's wild. It's, like, delicious. And like I say, like, a lot of it is not spicy. A lot of it is just, like, mild. Like, I think butter chicken is, is technically curry, but it's literally just, like... Delicious chicken. It's so not spicy, it's crazy. Like Madras and Jalfrezi and Buna, like they are hot. That's a hot curry. Or like even a Vindaloo. Vindaloo's insanely hot. Don't need to have that. Don't need to have that. Personally, I like a biryani. Biryani's kind of like middle of the road. What I don't like about it is the that they put like fresh salad inside of it. I don't like the salad part of it. Like if you're going to add vegetables to the curry, it should be like a, a cooked part of it, not a fresh raw accompaniment like mixed in, you know what I mean? Like a sliced tomato inside of a biryani doesn't taste good to me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right, I need to see this glyph. What is it? It is triangle. Triangle, 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 triangle. Okay, triangle, 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 triangle. I was so far away from that hit, and yet it still took half of my health off. Insanity. Triangle and what's this? Okay. Triangle and arrow. Triangle and arrow. Triangle, arrow. Triangle, arrow. Triangle, arrow. Triangle, arrow. And I managed to get out in time. Good. Okay. Triangle, arrow. Okay. So that's arrow. 
And then we need triangle. That's not. That's not. That's triangle. Okay. Again, if I do these wrong, I have to go through and kill them again. Like, restart this whole fucking encounter. No, you don't. Get away. Okay, we could do this. We could do this, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this. Do this. Ten hours. Ten hours and ten minutes. That's how we have to operate. We have to do that. That risk. That level of risk taking. Just jumping over a rock so that I can pick him off bit by bit. Because otherwise I'm going to get fucked. Oh my god, I managed it. I can't believe I did this whole fucking encounter without dying. Jesus Christ. The sword logic. <sighs> it is that what cannot be destroyed it will surpass infinity. Oh my god. That was insane. That was insane. I can't believe I did that without dying. To assess the alignment of the first knife, to see the final carving. Are you not also a prisoner of this eternal chase? For all your power, you destroy to receive glorious the commendations of your peers, triumphant accolades for all to see. We offer you an escape. Embrace this truth. Be uplifted. Triumphant against entropy. Sounds like the witness thinks you're hot stuff. It flattered me too. It offered me the awoken throne. A kingdom all my own. My sister's love. 
How is your sister? On her way with the helm. Mara? You're in danger, brother. And you're supposed to be with the Coalition fleet on the other side of the portal. I know. Mara, don't be stupid. Now you know how it feels. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the... This is the annoying platforming part. Tiny little gaps that you have to find your way through. There we go. I missed that the first time I did it as a hunter. This is all on just the edge of a thing, like, that far down, and it falls into nothing. So if I fall, I am just dead forever. <clears throat> no coming back from that. Not when you fall into an endless abyss. No way. And guess what's next? A big old jump. Oh, nearly overshot that. And that was the tiniest of blasts. And now we're inside. Whew! This is such a freaky effect. And I love it. But look at all of this. Like frozen arms and people inside. Oh. Yeah, it's still glass. Uh, I guess I'm going down, am I? I'm going down? No. I'm not. Where am I going? Hello? I forget which way. Oh, it's here. God damn it. Accept all that you are owed. Be adorned. So itchy. I'm always fucking itchy. Head to toe. Every single fucking part of me, for some reason or another, will itch at some point during the day. This is so fucking freaky. Whoever devised this whole concept of it being, like, people being cubed, they, they really, like, this is terrifying. Like, look at that. Really look at this. Like the look of these rooms. Look at this. That's some Damien Hurst shit and it's terrifying. And then look like frozen in each one. It's freaky. It's freaky. Guardian, that looks like the old Vanguard war table. Light bearer, these meager pawns you allow to lead you. Look at that. Their strength. That's not okay. They hold you back. That's not okay. That you could become. We judged humanity before you made your greatness known. Your worth. Your might. You deserve power more than your traveler would ever grace you with. Join us, not as part of the final shame, but as a god. Taj was right. Silence, you insolent speck. A disciple. You wouldn't make that offer unless you were truly desperate. Terrified. Of us. Of what the Guardian can now do. You seek the place we destroyed ours. Come. And be destroyed. Hey. What the hell happened in there? The light mm. went The witness. 
Mmm. Oh. Yeah. Go for a bit of that. Thank you very much. This is the final fight of the campaign expansion so far. So. This is the end of Act 1. If I manage to defeat this, there's a short walk up a slope, and then it's over. Cutscene, thank you very much. We all go to bed. Now this whole fight, I imagine, is going to be a real bitch, and is going to test my fucking tolerances for whether I can stop myself from screaming in anger. On repeat. All fucking stream. Because, right behind me, right there, that wall is a shared wall with a neighbour. And that neighbour will probably not be very happy if I'm screaming at a quarter to two in the morning. So I'm going to try and keep things under a lid. And if I'm lucky, and if we're all happy, then I can finish this without any problems, since I've already played it and figured out all of the little mechanics that you have to figure out. This is the place of our One thing crime. is, this bit of the floor, really fucking important, doesn't get explained at any it's point stagnant. whatsoever. Stagnant. And there, at the center, the place where the witness was made. Give <clears throat> to Darkness Guardian. But stay vigilant. Stay alive. <laughs> he bopped me out of the way. No. I'm really trying to focus. This is why I've gone quiet. I don't want to fuck this up because this is such a pain in the ass if you do fuck it up. It takes forever. And why am I jumping so high? I don't want to jump so high.
Right, we're gonna clear ads. We're gonna get this bitch dead. Hey, asshole. Hello. Yes, I am still over there. Look over there. Don't look over here. I'm still back where I was. God damn it. 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 Okay, right. Got it. Don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. God damn it. Okay. Immune. Immune, 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 immune. Don't climb on that. That is dumb. Right. Okay, so now I wait for this to get all the way up. Kill a bunch of them. No, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal. I've done it. Okay, lovely. Right, now I stand here. This is not what was explained. It did not tell you to go to the crack. I've played this a few times. It did not give me a way marker to go to the crack. The crack is the key. If you're not still in the crack, then you're going to get fucked up. No, please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Let me just heal up first, please. Okay, right. Get these bastards dead. I'm not gonna fuck it. Yeah, you can get fucked. You can both get fucked. Right, I'm gonna move around this way. Assholes in the middle again. Gonna try and fuck me up with their slow moves. No, thank you. Fuck with your slow moves. Don't want to be slowed. I'm all right without it, thank you. You don't want to be back at work in 12 hours. I mean, I wouldn't want to either. To be fair, yeah, I wouldn't want to either. I think that's perfectly right and fair. Do not want to be there.
Okay. I'm certainly getting somewhere, but where that somewhere is, I'm not quite sure yet. Because it's taking forever for me to clear up all the ads just so that I can start getting damage onto the big guy. But if I don't clear the ads out, then I will be fucked. Okay, got some good damage on him then. Staggered it a bit. Can't go for it. No, can't go for it. Fucking purple brick right there and I can't go for it. Get wrecked. You can get wrecked as well. Please don't. That actually saved me. The fact that I put that barricade down actually saved me. I want that purple brick. Give me that purple brick. Great stuff. Okay. Subjugator down. Got the sword. Yet, but it's still trying to help us. We've got our opening into the darkness. We're still fighting our way through. Don't wait for us. Here we go. Woo! The darkness we saw us. Simultaneously victims and perpetrators. Condemned to fade in light, as all things do. And so we reshaped ourselves to become this purpose the universe lacked. We lost ourselves then. Destroy us. Mm. Right, so once I do this, then I come back out and the witness is angry and I have to kill another ba bunch of bastards. So we just have to hope that I'm okay. Right, here we go. 
Something's happening to the air here, Guardian. Be careful. Another subjugator. We're just outside the ritual site, but keep at it. We'll hold the line and keep everything we can. So now I have to do this while also dealing with the what was made in darkness can be these darkness little nodes. In darkness, the statues are still part of the witness. Destroying them will destroy the witness. Ghost, you two need to get back in there. No, you don't. No, thank you. No, thank you. No callers today, thanks. Bad time for a reload. Did not need that reload right then. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt real bad. Please reload faster. Got to start again. Yeah, you're right. I am shit at shooters because I just fucking died at that point. Because the gun wouldn't fucking reload. I didn't fire nine bullets, so why was it reloading twice? God fucking damn it. Oh, that's frustrating. I've got to start all over again. This is so fucking difficult. So fucking difficult. There's always so many fucking ads as well. Piss off ads. We don't want you. Get fucked. Ikora, bro, we're under attack. Ikora, hello? Come in. Coming right, too. Okay. We're trying to get to you as fast as we can. Trying not to shout because of the person that I share a wall with being asleep. Leave me the fuck alone. Why? 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 Why do I do this to myself is the real question. Why am I doing this to myself? I should never have even asked should I do it on normal or hard. I should have just done it on fucking normal. I would have been in bed by now. I've been going for 10 hours and 40 minutes. And it's probably going to be another hour before I finish this fucking mission. Because the simplest fucking thing can kill me. Every single fucking ad in here is a nuke waiting to go off. I can't do anything about it. But just tolerate them and continually, endlessly, mercilessly, mercilessly fucking kill them. So you know what? I'm going to swap guns and I'm going to go for Crimson now. Ikora, Crow, we're under attack. Ikora, hello? Come in. We've got enemies incoming too. We're trying to get to you as fast as we can. Right, 
Right, so Crimson heals me every time I get a kill. And if it's a, a crit kill, so like a headshot kill, um, then it auto reloads as well. So if I get repeated endless headshots, then my gun will continue to reload and I will continue to heal for free. So this might end up being my salvation, but we'll find out. Get fucked. I wish it would fucking regenerate a little quicker though. Just the standard health regen is so fucking slow for a Titan. again when I hit it one more time.
down. A sword? Grab it, Guardian. The Traveler's not free yet, but it's still trying to help us. We've got our okay. opening into the darkness. We're still fighting our way through. Don't wait for us. Something's happening to the air here, Guardian. Be careful. Another subjugator. We're just outside the ritual site, but keep at it. We'll hold the line and keep everything we can from spilling in. Vanguard, we figured it out. What was made in darkness can be unmade in darkness. In darkness, the statues are still part of the witness. Destroying them will destroy the witness. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't fucking slow me again. Hard rule. If I get to 12 hours and I've not finished this, it's done. Hard rule. 12 hours is the cutoff. I can't go longer than 12 hours. This is enough time for me to try and finish a whole fucking campaign. On legend mode. Solo. Thanks for that. I fucking shot you enough times to die, you should be dead. So fucking die, you prick. Hi, Cora. Hello? Come in. We've got enemies incoming too. We're trying to get to you as fast as we can. You fucking... You absolute bastard. I hate that these are infinite enemies as well. Fucking infinite ads. Constant. Constant infinite ads. Die. No, don't you fucking do it. Piss off. You're not slowing me, you bastard. Oreos and milk are a classic, uh, classic snack choice. I don't know if you saw that, but I swung. It's supposed to target whatever's in front of you. Instead of targeting them, it launched me past them. When I tried to turn around to course correct, Instead, I got one shot in the ass by the boss. That's that's what just happened. Yeah, that's what just happened. I hate this game sometimes. I really hate this game. Like, if I was going to do legend mode, I would get other people to come and join me. Right. So the other thing is, right, um, 
If I do get to 12 hours and I can't complete it on my own, then I'll get somebody else to come and join anyway. Hello? Come in. We've got enemies incoming too. We're trying to get to you as fast as we can. Assholes, assholes, assholes doing your fucking damnedest to kill me immediately. Yeah, this gun does have a like slightly better range than Thorn, and it heals and it self reloads. So it's kind of like in situations like this, I think it's probably a little bit better than Thorn. But Thorn is still my baby. It's still my favorite. That won't ever change just because this has more utility in certain situations. Get fucked. You put Oreos in a bowl and put milk in the bowl. Well, isn't there like Oreo cereal? Can't you just get like Oreo cereal? Get inside. Get inside. I'm using the light to protect myself, my dude. I got you. I got you, fam. Yeah, I mean, I so I have shreddies downstairs. Got cocoa shreddies. Um, they're really nice. No, I'm not going with you. Get fucked. Oh shit! This guy's gonna kill me. move. God damn it. So OP that move. So fucking OP. Every fucking time. Like, oh, I'm going to use this and it's going to seek you round corners. And when it hits you, it's going to slow you down so you can't run away. And when you've slowed down so you can't run away, it'll then explode. And the explosion will hit you with a one-shot kill. You don't think that's a little bit overpowered, friend? I think that might be a little bit too overpowered. That's, that's the thing that Bungie struggles with, is balancing fights for solo people. 
It punishes solo people for playing. It's a bit of a cheesy spot, isn't it? Look at that. That's a pretty cheesy spot. I'm okay with this spot. Grab it, Guardian. The traveler's not free yet, but it's still trying to help us. All right, let's go. We're still our way Get some of this heavy ammo as well. Well, I'm here. Get fucked. Kill all of you bastards, and then I'm gonna go and embrace the dots. Here we go. I just want to finish you off. Easy. Destroy us. I'm going to. Okay. Something's happening to the air here, Guardian. Be careful. Another subjugator. We're just outside the ritual site, but keep at it. We'll hold the line and keep everything we can from spilling in. Vanguard, we figured it out. What was made in darkness can be unmade in darkness. In darkness, the statues are still part of the witness. Destroying them will destroy the witness. Ghost, you two need to get back in there. Down. Why are you not dead yet? How many times do I have to shoot you and throw grenades at you, you prick?
sword. Gotta, gotta just focus right now. Don't even know why I pressed that. Right. This is the second one. Forget. The light forgives. This is the second one. In memory, we remain. But in light, we are free. The light will tear us. The light will rend mine from mine. Split what has become the vile one into the repentant many. Destroy us. <sighs> Whatever you're doing, it's working. Guardian, you must return to the dark. Now, if I'm right, there should be a sword over there that I can just go and pick up immediately and go straight back in. But the amount of adds that keep spawning means that I am terrified to do it because if they kill me just by running there, I will be fucked up. I think, though, that they're going to hold everybody's attention. And that I can probably safely get in there. Yeah, here we go. Your gardener cannot help you while in prison. Free it. It will take all you have and more to unmake that which has been made in the darkness. Destroy us. Oh, God. Please. Please don't fuck me up. Please let this be a checkpoint. It is, it is. I think it is the checkpoint. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Finally. So this was another part. I didn't know that these fissures open up as you walk. So I'm looking ahead and seeing no fissures and thinking, well, I can't walk there. And then they appear as you walk. So I was like trying to stop and shoot the things that were trying to shoot me. It didn't work out. Uh, and then eventually I figured out that you just walk and no amount of looking online for guides gave me any amount of this information. I had to figure it out for myself. Fucking useless guides. You had one job. You just had to tell me how not to die. We've managed this in 11 hours and 10 minutes, so I think we're all good. Mara. Hold on, I'm bringing you up. Here we go. Cutscene, baby! We're at the end. <sighs> we did it together. We did it, Miles. We did it. Solo legendary. Oof.
once wanted. Tell me that you don't find this creepy as fuck. All is not yet lost. The witness may have won this battle, but it is wounded. And while you've been occupied here, within the Traveler's heart, I've brought our allies to help you land the final blow. The full might of Keitel's empire stands behind us in this endeavor. Mizrax Kel rallies his House of Light to save their great machine. And I have found a guardian of great renown, Micah Tim, who comes to us with bold ideas. If you intend to subdue the Witness, we must first fight its corruption and weaken its hold on the Traveler. You will grow in strength, in power, and when the Reckoning is at last upon us, you will storm the Witness's monolith and strike where it is most vulnerable. You will shatter its hold on the Traveler. And you will end it. Okay, that's that. Oh my god. So, uh, this campaign marks the end of the Light versus Dark saga. And that has been going from the very beginning of Destiny 1. The whole point of the story was the Traveler brings the light and we fight with it against the darkness. And then expansions since have been like, actually it's not as cut and dried as darkness being bad and goodness be good you know and light be good and all that so it's gotten more complicated and if this is the end of the light versus dark then i'm guessing that they're just going to destroy the traveler by the end of it you know like uh you know like um in the matrix revolutions where if neo existed then so did smith so for one of them to die the other one had to so Neo kills himself so that he can 
ensure that uh, Smith dies. I reckon it's one of those situations where one can't exist without the other. So for us to be able to defeat the witness, we have to defeat the traveler as well. And that's why it's saying death. What has been made can be unmade. Because that's the point, right? Uh, ooh, 1965. I didn't think I'd ever be able to say those words. Oh, it was one or the other, and I picked one, and I didn't look at both. I thought I was getting both of them. Oh no, I don't know what I just got. What did I just get? Additional First, Frenzy, Blade, Charge, Banner of Wars. Banner of War grants melee energy. Not strong enough without its full power behind us. Our allies are here now. They'll help us Look at that. To strike that the looks fucked. Sever its connection to the Traveler. This is it, Guardian. I know I'm in rough shape, but I'm not afraid. This is what I was made for. Whatever... It takes. Frenzied Blade. Frenzy Blade. Oh, just that? Is that it? Okay. Gaining another one of them. Look at that. Okay, I guess that's what I got now. Um, claim reward. We need to go to the tower as well. Ooh, exotic engram. Uh, Helm of Saint Fourteen. Oh my God, I love the Helm of Saint Fourteen. And it's one nine six three as well. Oof, look. I've already got a Helm of Saint-14, and I've got the different view of it that looks like this. Look at that. That's sick that looks. The standard one looks like this. I have a special ornament that makes it look that way. Uh, Alright, I think I'll probably transfer that into this one. Because I don't really care that much about the Helm of Saint-14. If I'm going to be honest. It looks cool. It's not necessary. Oh, 1960. Holy shit. I'm getting to the good shit here. I'm guessing I've just got 1960 on everything. Yeah, I did. Alright then, let's infuse all this shit so I can be a super powered motherfucker. You mothers. This is great. Oh yeah, we could take we could take this one up. That works. Great stuff. Look at this. Ah, oh, I'm such a beefy boy. Oh wait, do I want that or that? That or that, that or that, that or that. Crimson helped me more than Thorn did, so I'm kind of feeling like maybe I go with Crimson. Definitely getting this one up though. And then that too, I suppose. One nine six seven. Look at that shit. I am a beefy boy. Beefy, beefy boy. Uh, right. So we're gonna go. Oh yeah. Actually, I did on that one. Uh, so let's have a look at quests. Twenty nine of thirty. Uh, 
which I'm fine with because that was the last mission. Uh, and then we can go tower. And once we're done in the tower, we'll be done. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that I died more than... How many times did I die in the last game? Anybody pay any attention to that? Did anyone see how many times I've died in that last game? Was it 11 plus? I think it must have been, right? It's hard to keep track sometimes. It's hard to keep track. We'll say 11 plus. Uh, right. Hmm. Yeah, I just gave it to you because I can't be bothered. Hmm. I can't think of anybody that I want to raid into. There is one person though who I think is very cool and who I, so I, I've only really gotten into dungeon mastering what cipher is this? Um, within the last year, just slightly over a year. Um, and yeah, this, this person is a very cool dungeon master, uh, and they're online and they're doing D and D stuff and talking with chat. So I guess we'll go into them. What's this grenade logic? I don't really want that, but whatever. Let me grab all of this. Checking now. Oh, fuck that. Away. Thanks, Geo. Thanks for coming. Please get some sleep, though. Please get some sleep, Geo. Are you ready? I need you to get some sleep. Please get some sleep. I need your skill more than ever. Right. Okay. <clears throat> right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's raid out then. Uh, we're gonna raid out to Robert Hartley, GM. Robert Hartley is a very talented and eloquent uh, dungeon master who does D and D and a bunch of other things. Um, he also does uh, the DMing for my one of my favorite D and D. Uh, actual play YouTube channels, which is Viva La Dirt League D&D. &D. Um, he and they deserve all of the love and support, so we're going to raid out. Um, and please have fun. Uh, I sure will. But thank you for being here and for being awesome. 
and please have an awesome rest of your day. Uh, I will leave you now. Thank you so much and goodbye.